Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good day. Um, I've not been here the last couple days. I apologize. Um, I apologize for no streams. I wanted to reset my schedule to the AM, and I had a lot of stuff to do, and I wasn't really taking care of myself very well recently, so I thought I would take a day and do all those things. Um, but I had more stuff to do than I thought, and I still wasn't feeling very well, so I took another day. Um, I still haven't really gotten that much done. I still have a lot of stuff to do. Um, so I feel like I just need to accept that there's just a lot for me to do right now. Um, and I didn't want to miss any more streams. I know I was supposed to play Eliza today, or yesterday, or the day before that. Didn't happen. I will play it. Um, but I am not going to be streaming on the 14th or the 15th, uh, because of Valentine's Day. So I did not want to play it right now. Um, but I will play it. Probably when I am back on like the 16th or maybe the 17th. I'm not sure yet. I don't even know what day those are. What days are those? Uh, the 16th is Friday. Wow. Um, maybe Tarkov then on Friday. I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, let's not, let's not think about it. Um, I will figure it out. I will let you guys know. I will play it very soon. Um, we'll get it all sorted, but today I am here to play some Tarkov. Uh, I wanted to play Lighthouse before I didn't play for a couple days, and I thought that'd be a fun thing to do over the next two days. Um, but there is some stuff to talk about Tarkov-wise. There is a new update, which, one, got rid of the snow, so we can take a look at that. Because uh, it's green again. It's kind of fun. Um, two. Uh, let me bring up the patch notes, actually. Uh, I read a lot. Battle State Games. Twitter has been, like, shit lately. Like, really slow. Um, so the patch notes are... Patch notes are... Uh, they fixed armor. So now armor does have... So they reworked the damage through layers of armor. Now when each layer is penetrated, the bullet loses some penetration power and damage depending on the characteristics of the penetrated armor. So this means that the armors that were good before are now even better. And so you basically do want all-around coverage as much as possible because anytime that there's all-around coverage, you will... It'll pen it, and then even side plates are specifically. That's kind of where this is, like, really buffed. Because, obviously, everything has plates. Um, well, actually, to be fair, um, this kind of does make, like, Karasa probably better than Untar. You know what I mean? Because now you have to go, like, it goes to the first plate, then it goes to the second plate, right? Um, well, it goes to the soft armor. So it kind of makes Karasa better than Untar, that kind of situation. Or it makes side plates more of a big deal because you have the plate and then you have the soft armor underneath. So that's just pretty much just makes the good armors great armors. Um, the only real difference and maybe like balance is like the difference between like Karasa and Untar, that kind of thing. Like the difference between these armors which have no plates versus armors that have plates. Um, so like actually those rigs that I love so much, these ones are actually worse now because... They don't have any plates so a plated rig will protect you better when shot in the front um, but they still have level 4 all protection so if you get shot anywhere that isn't a plate these things are better if you get shot somewhere that is a plate they're marginally worse than something that had a plate um, next thing is uh, fix an issue when missing blunt damage when hitting a ballistic plate so now Ballistic plates actually have blunt damage, which is actually quite nice because it means you can actually shoot at people a whole bunch and they'll still take a whole bunch of damage from it. Uh, but blunt damage now decreases when there is soft armor behind the unpenetrated component. So again, you want all-around protection. Side plates are even better. So now side plates are actually, like, quite legitimate. Uh, adjusted the head colliders. I don't really know what that means. 
Um, reduce the possibility for bullets to pierce through a character's thorax and stomach. So I think supposedly people are saying that, that uh, bullets were double tapping. Um, so if a bullet had enough penetration, it would go through you and then hit you twice because of the double-sided hitboxes. Um, and so they've removed that. So there was some 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 weird cases of bullets one tapping, which shouldn't have. Um, and people were saying it was like fragmentation and stuff like that, but people kind of deduced that it was double tapping. Uh, so it seems like they fixed that. Um, adjusted the recoil parameters for pistols, shotguns, and the SKS carbine. Apparently these things are garbage now. <clears throat> At least pistols. Apparently pistols are like really bad. Um, not sure if that's intentional or not, but that's fine. Uh, added the tenths of percentage display to achievements. 0.6% of players have killed all the goons. 0.9% of players have killed Killa. 0.3% of players have survived 300 raids. Um, I guess that means that I'm in the 0.3% in terms of playtime. Which is kind of insane. Um, so that's kind of cool. Is that my rarest achievement? Oh, wow, these guys, these ones are, like, actually 0%. Firefly is 0 0.2. Wow, I have almost one of the rarest achievements that people have actually achieved. Oh, I guess the hidden ones, too, though. Um, so that's interesting, at least. Um, oh, they actually updated the patch notes. Uh, the following plate carriers and body armor integrated components have been upgraded to class 3. Ah, so they actually added this to the patch notes. People were talking about it, and I wanted to cover it, but... Um, so the AVS plate carrier has been upgraded to tier three. So these, these ones are like, I'm only going to go over the ones that are actually legit. They're like usable. Um, because some of them just aren't usable. Like this got upgraded to tier three, but it still only covers the plate. So who the fuck cares? This is still terrible. Um, it's not even worth using. Um, you just vendor it or use it on factory or something. Um, so this got upgraded to tier three. So this is actually pretty good now. It covers your thorax. It doesn't cover the sides. So that's kind of a big thing about the AVS. It doesn't cover the sides. Um, the M2 plate carrier, which I've had quite a few of, and I really like the M2 plate carrier. Um, this thing's now legit. It can have, it has tier three all around protection. It has side protection, chest protection. It doesn't have neck or shoulder. That's where it's missing out. But other than that, this is one of the best armors in the games um, because it can have high tier plates. It has a decent amount of rig space. It can have left plates. Um, it has SR, FR plates, which is quite nice. It's all around tier three protection, side armor, all that good stuff. So this is this is actually quite good. Um, the CPC mod, I don't think this thing protects your uh, your thorax, right? Yeah. So this thing's still terrible. Um, I think that's it. Just the AVS. Oh, and the baggerly or the bag baggery. The baggery is also very good, uh, especially because it does have this plate. Um, these plates, I'd actually argue are better than fr plates because they're nice and wide like look at how wide they are you know what i mean like you got these nice wide plates and it takes the karun plates which are a lot cheaper and easier to acquire um and this armor protects your thorax your sides all that good stuff so this is actually uh pretty high tier now too i would say um so this the avs and the m2 rig all got huge buffs to be honest the avs not so much because it doesn't have side armor can't have side plates but the baggery and the uh, M2 are now, like, top-tier armor, honestly. Um, or at least, like, A-tier. I'd, I'd call them, like, A-tier armor. So that's kind of cool. Um, they are going to start selling Sash Space for microtransactions. Uh, you're going to be able to purchase Stash Space. Um, it says that purchase of additional Stash Lines will be available regardless of the game edition. So I'm not sure if there's going to be a limit on this or if you can just buy as much as you want. Um, that's unclear. They haven't really said. They just said in the near future, the in-game stash expansion uh, and access to the practice co-op mode will become available for purchase in the profile page on the... So it says the in-game stash expansion. Um, that just makes me sound like... It makes it sound like you can just buy up to tier 4. That, that's what it sounds like. So they are selling progress still. They are selling an advantage. They are... It is still like pay-to-win elements. Um, and they're adding that back in. So that's... I mean, honestly, it's what people could do already. I don't think it's going to be anything more than that based on the way they worded it, um, but they're kind of scaring a lot of people. I think you're just going to be able to, on the website, just go in and just specifically purchase level 2, level 3, and level 4 of the stash upgrade. I think that's all it's going to be. Uh, you can also purchase the practice co-op mode if you care about that for any reason. Um, they fixed some good bugs. 
um, which I mean I can go through and just point out the big ones. Uh, adjusted the damage from fire and barbed wire. So actually, we could go into shoreline uh, real quick and look at the no snow. Because I want to see if you can get into that gas station now. Because you weren't able to before. Um, yeah, we can go into a shoreline. Uh, fix the possibility of generating a scab with no equipment. That's gone. Um, There wasn't like too many big bugs. They didn't fix anything like huge. Um, fix the incorrect objective area for the capturing outpost quest. That might be a good one. I can't remember if we're having too much difficulties with that. Um, fix the error when loaded uh, when loading a double barrel shotgun with ammo from the secure container that might have been the ghost ammo bug where you shoot people and it doesn't do any damage i'm not sure um oh so fix the logic where the btr would start firing at nearby players so apparently the uh fix the possibility of taking damage from snipers while inside the btr i think that the btr has been fixed a little bit more uh, fix the ability to transfer restricted items to other players using the BTR. So yeah, it looks like they did some nice BTR things. Fix the distance to the site when shooting in the left shoulder stance at FOV 75. I want to try that, actually. Fix the lack of camera sway when aiming in the left shoulder stance. Uh, fix several bugs and vaulting mechanics that cause getting pushed out, stuck, or falling into the world. Um, fix the weapon getting stuck sideways when switching from one site to another while aiming in the left shoulder stance. Uh, fix the incorrect shifting of the aiming line on iron and hybrid sites at high FOV settings. Uh, and that's about it. Um, so, not really the biggest patch in the world, but some nice things here and there. Uh, as you can see, there's no snow. Uh, it's grassy again. The grass has returned. Um... A lot of people are very angry with the snow. I'm not really sure why. Um, I mean, the game has been grassy for seven years, and people couldn't handle two months of snow. It really makes me feel like people just want to complain. I don't understand why it was such a bad thing. It was kind of nice to have, like, something different. And now the snow's gone. And aren't we just going to get annoyed now that, the, like, uh, like... Are we not just going to get annoyed at the grass now? And if we don't get annoyed at the grass now... And I mean, like, I asked, like, oh, you know, what's annoying about the snow? And nobody really has an answer. It's like, oh, it's so loud. And it's like, not really. They turned it down, first of all. And second of all, it wasn't that loud to begin with. But fair enough if it was loud before. But they made it less loud. It's not that loud anymore. It was actually pretty fine. It's just that your footsteps in this game are just loud. Like... They're just quite loud to listen to yourself walk around. Um, I mean, some people say that the crunching was, like, unpleasant to listen to. I mean, that's just you. You know what I mean? Like, that, that that's just a you problem. That's not actually a problem with the snow. You, you just don't like it. That's fine. But that doesn't mean it should be removed. Um, and then... People were like, oh, it's too bright. And I'm like, that's just your settings. Like... You just turn down the brightness a little bit and you'll be fine. Um, some people were annoyed they couldn't hide as well in the grass and shit. I mean, I mean that's like a fair argument, I guess. But, I mean, I can't really hate on them for hiding the grass and shit. Um, so, fair enough. But I want to go check out the uh, gas station. We'll try out the pistols and the SKS. I want to see those too. And the shotguns. I want to try out all those things. Because I want to see. Because shotguns... Pistols were good. SKS was really good. Shotguns were decent. I'm curious what all those things look like now. Because people are saying pistols are like god awful now. And I haven't seen anybody talking about the shotgun or the SKS. So I'm kind of curious. Nice and grassy, though. It'll be interesting to, uh, to play some.
I want to see if I can get inside this uh, gas station. That's why I want to come over here, because they reduced the fire. This is immediately what I thought of when they reduced the fire and the barbed wire damage. Still does some decent damage. I mean, it took off 40 health. That's not too bad, though. Okay. Let's see how quickly you die. So you used to be able to get in here to loot this place. If you hug the corner. Let's see. <sighs> I mean, it's possible again. It was like instant death when we started the uh, white. You're not supposed to stop there. I stopped that way, which is kind of my bad. Can I get back up? Loot. <laughs> I think I needed to uh, run around the edge. I ran a little bit too much into the fire. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, I think it's possible, though. Especially if you heal. I probably died from a headshot. If you heal your head, you'll probably be fine. Oh, I lost all the health on my head. Um, let us try out the SKS, the pistol, and uh, I'll try out a Glock and a SKS and a shotgun real quick. Because I'm curious... How bad they are. Ooh, are. Potentially good? I think they probably nerfed them all, though. Which is kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I, it makes me have mixed feelings. Because the SKS was really good. And so maybe that deserves a bit of a nerf. Shotguns were also pretty, really good. Especially for so cheap. So maybe they deserve a nerf. Pistols, though... I don't know. I don't know if I think pistols deserve it. Let's just grab like a shoddy. I don't have an SKS in my insurance, I don't think. So I'll just buy one. collect all the things we need. Let's make a Glock. We'll use it on our first raid too, even if it's bad. A little preset real quick. So I know what this Glock felt like before. Only. I don't want to buy nothing. I don't want to buy nothing from nobody else. And then I need a Glock 19. <laughs> if I want the tan barrel. For fun. Because it looks nice. Can it go on? What the fuck? They removed it? Did they actually remove it in this update? You can't... You can't put this on anymore? What the fuck? But my gun still built. <laughs> That's some bullshit. 
<laughs> Wait, am I not allowed to build this Glock anymore? Yo, that's fucking bullshit. This weapon has been built. It can't fucking go on anymore. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up, BSG. What the fuck? Oh, I wish I still had one. I wonder if it would have disassembled. Oh, that's so lame. I loved it. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Oh, that's so disappointing. Yeah, the Glock 19 slide isn't there anymore. Oh, that's a shame. That's a fucking shame. But the, I still have the preset, though. I still have the preset. That's kind of funny. I still have the preset. Aw, oh, shit, look at how cool it looked. Oh, that's such a shame. That's such a shame. Yeah, it's not on the list. Aw, oh, that sucks. Alright, well, we'll just put on the normal one then. Alright, we've got ourselves a little guac. Um, let's get a mag real quick. Let's give it a try. Okay, well that sucks that you can't do that anymore, but that's okay. Uh, let's just get some PST. And we'll give these things a try. I'm pretty sure this doesn't reduce the recoil, yeah. So, I mean, does this slide reduce the recoil? Any chance? No. Okay, so it'll be basically exactly the same. Uh, a little bit of difference in ergonomics, but that's fine. Alright, let's try all these things out in the shooting range and see how different they feel. Um, it'll be hard to remember exactly because I haven't used a Glock in a long while, but I remember pretty, like, pretty fairly, I think, how it worked. Um, I've used shotguns in SKS a little bit, so I, I do remember how those work, I'm pretty sure. So, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so, shoddy. Feels about the same, to be honest. Maybe better, to be honest. Yeah, this doesn't feel any different, I don't think. Feels about the same, I'd say. SKS? A little bit more camera kick, I think, with the SKS, if I had to say. I feel like there's a bit more camera kick. But, still feels alright. And the Glock? Okay, so I think I see what's happening. I think it's a bug. I don't think it's on purpose. Because I was selling it in posts. And... The bullets just aren't shooting where you're aiming. Okay. I think, I think pistols are just bugs. I think that's what it probably is. I think pistols are just bugs. Because if the shotgun and the SKS had both also had that similar thing happen... Then I'd be like, okay, maybe it was, you know, intentional. But since it's just the pistols and they were all grouped together in the same change, and it does not seem like intentional, I would say that pistols are just bugged right now, which is a bit of a shame. So pistols are, I mean, that's kind of unusable. Um, other pistols are the same too. So I'd say pistols are just a hard avoid for right now. Um, I'm not even going to use that on a run because it's that bad under it for now. Um, it sucks that they removed that preset, though. That's that's a bit unfortunate. Um, but yeah, that's, that's interesting. Interesting. Um, I think that's probably just a bug, to be honest. I think that's probably just a bug. Um, but I think that's about it in this update, really. It wasn't, like, the biggest update or anything. Mostly small stuff. But um, but the snow's gone, so... I mean, that's, that's a big thing. But um, a couple things here and there, but nothing crazy. So... But I think that's about it. Um, I did want to talk about, I did fight the goons, and I did kill the goons. Very fun, actually. I, I really like the goons. Um, I really like the goons. I wish I had got it on camera, that I could, like, me, like, fighting them and stuff. Um, I will tell you a bit of a story, though. I will tell you a bit of a story. And there, there's a moral to this story. Um, I'll go into an offline, uh, woods raid as I tell this story. There's a bit of a moral to the story, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a a statement that is gonna piss a lot of people who play Tarkov off. 
Um, but I don't think the cheating problem is as bad as everybody says it is. And I know, I know, that's going to piss a lot of people off. But I really don't think it is. Um, I think that it's, I'm definitely getting probably a better end of it. And there is probably a problem. I don't deny that. But everything I've seen is really telling. And I had an experience that really made me feel like I have a strong opinion on this. And I'll explain. I might not be right, but it's just my my thoughts. Um, why the fuck is it so dark? Didn't I pick like... I guess I picked like 5 a.m. Um... So, I spawned near... I'm not gonna go straight there. I'm gonna go over here. I spawned near Yusek camp. And it was a raid right after I run into the, the goons. So I knew where they spawned on woods for the first time. And I knew... Um... What they sounded like, because I didn't know that before. Um, I knew that um, Bird Eye has an RSAS, which actually sounds exactly like an SVD. So I knew that if I heard the the like boom boom boom, that I would know that you know the goons are there. And so I spawned in near Yusek camp, and I was like, okay, you know, let's see if the goons are there again. You know what I mean? Because they're there last raid, so this is the map that they're currently spawning on. So I went over there, and the goons were up, and they were fucking some shit up. And so I ended up killing them. Um, I killed two of them, rushed me. I killed them, and then Big Pipe was laying some other people out. And I killed him while he was shooting other people. Um, because he was shooting other people, the guy that he was shooting at started chucking some grenades towards where Bug Big Pipe was. And I was like, okay, I need to wait a little bit. Loot the other two because they were in safer positions. And I left Bird Eye till, or Big Pipe to last because I was like, okay, let's see if this guy pushes or whatever. He doesn't push. He gets into a fight with somebody else. I can hear their gunshots, and they're on the radio tower, right, where the uh, where the goons spawn. I loot up all the loot, and I'm heavy as fuck, but I'm able to get out. I weigh, like, 55 at this point, because I dumped all my gear, but it took me quite a long time. By the time I had dumped my gear and reassorted my inventory, because I was, like, 65 kilograms, I was about 55 kilograms, and by that time, whoever had been fighting moved on to the swamp, and they were fighting stuff in the swamp. And this is relevant, because... It ties into my story. And this ties into the cheating thing. Trust me. Now, I really wanted to get out. I was super happy that I killed all the goons. But I was still like, oh, I really want to extract with their gear. Because that's part of the success for me. Right? That's part of the success. And I was like, oh, you know, it's my first time killing all three of them. I really want to get out with the stuff. And so, I started making my way through the middle of the map. And I was walking. Right? I was taking it quite slow. Because I was overweight. I couldn't really regain stamina. And I don't have any stims. So, I was just walking. And I was taking my time. Um, I was obviously cutting through the middle of the map, and so I was going a little bit faster, but still, and the other guy that was at the swamp, um, in the, like, ruined village, was fighting scavs, because you could hear him shooting, and he was going around the more of the edge of the map. Now, at this point, the guy around the edge of the map obviously had got into a fight, obviously had killed some scavs, obviously had looted some stuff. Now, when we were both heading the same way, and vehicle exit was gone. Um, somebody had already taken vehicle exit. So I was heading towards the roadblock. And so was he. Right? Obviously. And I was over here, slowly walking my fat ass to the extra. So that was like 55. I was walking. I was running out of energy as well. Um, but I had enough to get, to get there. Um, and I was planning to sprint a little bit when I got a little bit closer. Um, I'm almost to where I was, and I can kind of reenact what happened a little bit. Um, so this guy was shooting over there a while ago at the swamp. And I was probably... I was around here. I was around here. Uh, it's hard to remember exactly because of the snow, but... I was probably, like, down here. And I was walking. I was just walking. Yeah, this, this is exactly where I was, I remember. I was walking down here at super slow speeds because I was super fat. And I got to about this point, and I got shot at, right? Suppressed shots, 
I couldn't even hear where they were coming from. And I got hit quite a few times. My stomach got popped and I used what remaining stamina I had to run away. Um, ran into this dip. I tried to drop my backpack. I popped a morphine and then I um, ran out of energy. And so I was like, okay, I can't drop my backpack. So I started just walking up this hill, right? And so in the, all of that would have happened in like maybe like six seconds because i realized that i couldn't do anything and so i started walking up the hill and then the guy shot at me again right the guy shot at me again and he easily like as soon as i was out in the open he shot at me again and killed me right and i was pretty frustrated because i wanted to extract with the goon stuff right and it did feel a little bit sus at the time right it just felt like he had perfect eyes on me and killed me and I wasn't really thinking clearly, right? I was emotional about the fact that I died. I was upset. I was a little bit frustrated because I really wanted to get out with the stuff. Even if it's not about the gear, I just wanted to extract knowing that I had killed all of them. You know what I mean? Like, because it's that good, good, happy feeling, right? And it might've been more over here, actually. No, 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 it was, it was around the hill. Because I knew that if I got over the hill, I was like, okay, I'll probably be pretty safe. Um, I think he shot at me like way back there and then I ran. Um, and... I looked at his stats, and he was a good player, but nothing out of the ordinary, right? Nothing that would be suspicious. Um, I think he had, like, 60% survival rating, and maybe, like, a thousand-something hours, <clears throat> and a pretty normal KD. But I was like, oh, you know, it's kind of suspicious how he was able to spot me so easily, and, you know, just randomly had eyes on me from so far away, because he was probably, like, way over there. And the thing is... Is that in the moment it felt suspicious but I didn't report him because I realized when I stopped and I thought about it legitimately um, I thought about it legitimately and I thought why is this guy suspicious like what about just happened makes this guy suspicious and the reality of the situation is nothing nothing about that was suspicious he spotted me he knew roughly where I was going it was pretty obvious that I was heading towards extract and so he knew I would go in this direction. Um, the fact that he spotted me again so easily, not that unreasonable. He knew which direction I was heading. He was looking my way. He saw me again easily. And the fact he randomly came up behind me and saw me is, again, not that suspicious because, not suspicious at all, he was heading the same way as I was. And I was moving slower than him. So the fact he came up behind me is perfectly reasonable. And it's actually my fault. I should have thought about that. I should have kept track of where he was heading based on the shots. And known that he was coming. It was very obvious that he was going to come that way. And bridge exit was down. So, of course, he's going to come the same direction as I am. And I'm moving slow as a fucking snail. So I should have taken a more safe path up in the mountains. Because he's probably not going to head that way. And if he is up in the mountains, then he's going to have to get close. And I'm going to hear him before he sees me. And I kill people like he does all the time. You know what I mean? Like, you spot them out in the distance, and you shoot them, and then you regain eyes on them because you know where they're heading and stuff like that. So the reality of the situation is, what actually made him feel suspicious is the fact that I was emotional about the fact that I died. And because everybody says there's so many cheaters. So your mind is like, okay, that was slightly suspicious. Because you're, you're jumping to conclusions, right? Which is something normal that people do. And the fact that even I which honestly I've encountered maybe a handful of cheaters this way, jump to those conclusions when it is an emotional situation. It makes me feel like a lot of other people do too. Um, and all of the Tarkov stuff that I've consumed recently on the Reddit and on streams has shown me though that these people who claim cheats usually have no idea what they're talking about um i've seen so many examples of people claiming cheats and then when pressed for information they reveal that they're basing it off of things that aren't even true right um i i can list off examples um people claiming that they don't have nvgs meaning that they're cheating even though they don't realize that the moon is very bright with the snow right now, and you don't really need NVGs, um, depending on what time frame it is. Um, people thinking that when they die and they go into the um, thing, they 
get killed by somebody and they see the gear they're wearing and they're like, oh, that doesn't match what gear they had on. They must be cheating. It's based on what you load into the raid with. Um, people getting killed and not realizing is it that it was somebody else that killed them, not the person that they were actively fighting. People not realizing the sounds they make actually make audio sounds and they were giving away audio cues the entire time that they were there. Um, people not realizing that people coming up behind them is pretty normal, like in the situation where I died. Like, if you think about it and keep track of people, it's quite easy to guess where people are going to come from. Uh, people not understanding that the binaural audio thing is a thing right now. So people randomly holding a direction that you're in that you're in after you've been sprinting is pretty normal right now because of the binaural audio thing. That's pretty normal. People not understanding a slew of statistics in here, um, which is that the survival raids in a row includes PMCs and scavs right now, which means it can be pretty high for no reason. Uh, people not understanding that account lifetime is based on the current wipe and just when you reset your account. People not understanding that survival rating is also tied to both scav and PMC. People not understanding that average lifespan is bugged. People not understanding that KD is not on specific raids. I legitimately saw somebody say in a Twitch chat, oh my fucking god, people are so stupid. They need to realize that 19 KD means 19 kills in each raid. That is impossible. And it's like, holy fuck. You couldn't be more wrong, um, but congratulations, you're an idiot. Um, <laughs> but people not understanding that kills include scav kills as well. It's just, I've seen so many examples of people just not understanding what the fuck they're talking about and claiming cheats. And then it's so obvious that they don't know what they're talking about when you press them for information. And... I really feel like that uh, also people saying that they're like certain amounts of survival rating is just impossible and it blows my mind because people don't understand that this game can be played so many different ways like this is why this game cannot be taken seriously motherfuckers can go onto a server with five fucking people queuing at the moment and play nighttime fucking woods and just walk around the map they can get a hundred survives in a row it's not that hard like it's it's it blows my mind they could fucking run t7 thermo goggles and just try and survive like it, it, it's like you can play this game in so many different ways. I've talked about this, but there is no one stat in this game that can determine how good somebody is because everything has to be looked at in a vacuum. You have to say, oh, well, I have 55% survival rating, but I play for PvP. Oh, I have 55 survival rating, but I play a lot of factory. I have 55 survival rating, but I play a lot of labs. You know what I mean? Oh, I have this much value in my stash, but I, I like don't really, I like to loot guns more than I like to loot loot. Like it, it's, it's, it's like, oh, I like to run pistols or like it's so much shit that you can do. It's like, oh, I have a lot of raids, but I just play factory a lot. You know what I mean? Like it's there's so everything has to be looked at in such a silly way that it just means that none of it's important. Like it really isn't. And it's what makes Tarkov great. There's no there's no way to look at how good somebody is at Tarkov. You can look at KD. It's like motherfucker could just be shooting scavs all fucking day. They could play in a five man on factory and just farm scavs. It's like it's it's. There's no way to know how somebody good is how good somebody is at this game realistically just from statistics. You have to kind of know how they play and see how they play as well because and like the server thing is a huge deal. You could play on certain servers. You could always run Comtact fours. You could always run the biggest gear. You know what I mean? You could always run meta guns. You know, like you could have an alpha container. Like stuff like that will reduce your survival rating. It will reduce your like all this stuff. It's so silly how much value people put into statistics in this game um and the what was i gonna say as well oh it, it's like also so telling to me because people um or like people might not realize that their lasers glow at night and they might think that's a cheater you know what i mean like because it's just they keep finding you over and over again you know what i mean it's they might not realize that thermals exist and get fucking thermal. Like, there's so much shit that means people can claim. It's like, this is just how Tarkov is. Like, Tarkov is suspicious. When I used to play four years ago, people claimed cheats. And this is before the cheating problem got bad, which I admit it did because of the way that Tarkov is. Tarkov has the fucking trifecta of cheats. It's an FPS game. Things are at stake. 
and it's a hard well that's actually four fucking things it's an fps game which are usually riddled with cheaters more than any other game on the market things are at stake which means that cheaters a lot of the time cheaters have more things to gain um and benefit from from cheating they make other people mad which some people just cheat to make people mad um they can feel more successful because they're not losing you know what i mean when everybody else is losing because they have stuff at stake there's just multitudes of values that go into it um with stuff at stake three it's a hardcore ass game that doesn't give you very much information and is difficult right like it has a steep learning curve which means that cheating is more prevalent because people don't like to struggle it's just a natural thing so the weak-minded people will turn to cheats because they're weak-minded and they're struggling and they don't want to struggle and they pathetically find some way to avoid actually being good at the game they just just suck and continue to keep sucking um, and the fourth thing is it has an economy. It has real items that people can have value. So RMT is a big deal. It has the fucking quad quadfecta of cheats. Like it, it, it has all these elements. Cheating will always be a problem in this game. Always. Forever. You will always die to a cheater. The only thing that they can do is minimize it. And it makes me wonder. Because... People, like, even people who have played FPS games basically their entire lives and stream for a living don't understand sometimes when it's just not cheats and they just, it's just Tarkov, right? Like, and they claim cheats. And it makes me wonder if the cheating problem is not as bad as people say it is. What can BSG do? What can BSG realist realistically do? They're damned if they do and damned if they don't. They can't come out and say, oh, you know, guys, we think we're doing a pretty good job. You know what I mean? Because everybody would just fucking lose their shit. And they can't do anything about it because the problem might not be as bad as everybody says it is. So they're just stuck in this situation where it's like, well, everybody thinks there's cheaters, but I mean, we don't really have any proof of this. <laughs> so it's like and we can't tell everybody oh you're just bad so it's like what are they realistically supposed to do like what do you want from them you know what i mean what do you want them to do and i don't know i don't know the only thing i can think of is they need to add more things that let people discern if it was a cheater um stuff like i wouldn't say kill cams because, i mean maybe maybe they should add kill cams because maybe that would help solve the problem um Maybe like the last 30 seconds before you died or something. That would help a little bit. But the thing is, is that some people just want to have something to blame. Like legitimately. They want to have something to blame, especially when they're emotional. And it's easy to just jump to that conclusion. Like even, even for me in that situation, when I was feeling very frustrated because I really just wanted to extract. And I jumped to that conclusion. And I was able to be like, okay, he wasn't cheating within like a minute. But in that moment, I jumped to that conclusion. And I had to ask myself why. And it's literally because of two things. One, I was emotional. And two, everybody claims there's tons of cheaters. So in my mind, it just was a natural conclusion to jump to. But in reality, it wasn't. There was nothing that indicated he was cheating. Not a single thing. And I thought about it and I was like, there was nothing weird about that death. I was just frustrated. Like, I was just frustrated. And I still am frustrated. I really wish I hadn't have died on that because I really would have liked to extract. Not because of the gear, but just because of the satisfaction of it. You know what I mean? Um, but there was nothing sus about that guy. He got a good kill. He's probably really happy with the gear he got from me. And fucking props to him. You know what I mean? I made a mistake. I uh, made two mistakes, actually. I should have walked in the mountains. I should have expected that guy to come behind me. Mountains would have been a lot safer because of that. And uh, two, I popped morphine, which I didn't realize drained your energy. So I learned two things from that situation. And... That's what I need to take away from it. Not that that guy was cheating because he wasn't. There was nothing sus that happened. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about it about my rant. Um, it just, it just, it really, it really is curious to me. I do know that I will have some aspects. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've run into a handful of cheaters this wipe. A handful compared to people who say that they get cheated on the daily, like every day multiple raids a day they die to a cheater like an obvious cheater and i've run into a handful this entire wipe and i've played 700 raids i just don't see how that's possible 
Um, I just don't see how that's possible. But there is some aspects. There could be the fact that I stream. Um, I sometimes avoid the weekends because I play a wheel game. Not on purpose avoid the weekends, but I play a wheel game every weekend. Um, it could be that I stream and my Twitch account is linked. They might be able to see that you're streaming and avoid streamers specifically. Um, uh, but I've seen even streamers get killed by cheaters, but that might be stream sniping. You know what I mean? Those might be like rage hacking stream sniping cheaters, which are just like, haha, I'm going to kill this guy on stream with cheats. So I feel that's a fair, um, if they can see your inventory value and I don't have a gamma, then potentially, even if I have a really big bag of loot, then I might not be as high value as some other people on the map. So they might just avoid me potential um i mean they, they might see that i have 4,000 hours and be like okay avoid that guy because he'll be more inclined to report me maybe but i mean i'm not more inclined to report them so that doesn't really add up but maybe that's a thing but i would assume also low hour players would report so I, I doubt that's it but i'm just throwing out ideas here spitballing um it also could be um what's another thing oh I play on NA servers, which I know are going to be better than other servers. But I have specifically heard people say that NA servers are really bad, too. Like, specifically. People have said, like, oh, NA is, you know, riddled with cheaters. Um, and people who even play on all servers say, like, oh, you know, NA is bad, too. I just don't see it, man. I just really don't see it. I really don't see it at all. Um, which I feel like there must be some reason for it. There must be some reason for it. And I'm just curious what the reason might be. That's all. But rant, rant over. Rant over. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> um, What's up, by the way, Gabby and Anima? Hello. Hello. Sorry. I wanted to get my thoughts out before I... Because I, I jump around way too much. So if I ever don't respond to something, usually it's because I just want to finish what I'm saying. Um, What is up, though, Anima and Gabby? Hopefully you guys are good. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Sorry for the no streams past few days. Um, But I'm here. Oh, do you guys lose your stream streaks? You don't, right? You just have to show up to every stream that I do, right? I don't think you guys lose your stream streaks. Uh, tell me you die in every raid without telling me you die in every raid. Honestly, genuinely, some people are like, oh, 70% survival rating isn't possible. Or like, oh, I don't have, I, I like 16 survivals in a row is impossible. The highest I've ever gotten is like nine. I've genuinely seen somebody say that. Like I've genuinely seen somebody say the fact Oh, it must be cheating because their stat is higher than mine. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, can we can we stop and can we talk about this for a second? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you can't you can't say that. Like, that's not that's not how it works. We need to stop and talk about this for a second. Um, yeah, it's, it's, oh, man, I don't know, man. It's a shit show sometimes, dude. It's a shit show. Um, but any hiding higher than 10 is incomprehensible, literally impossible. What's up, Fluffkins? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, people can't conceive the idea that they aren't the best player, so if they can't achieve it, it's impossible. Like, I really feel like there should be a kappa in that message, but the thing is, is that there, there isn't. And I know there isn't. I know there's not a kappa, because people legitimately are that fucking stupid. And I'm not afraid to say it, man. They're legitimately that fucking stupid. And it blows my mind. Like, I don't know how, man. I really don't know how. Like, how, how, how can you think that, how can you think that somebody's cheating just because have better stats than you like you not realize how stupid that is like legitimately i don't know man it blows my mind a little bit there really should be a cap on that message but there, there's not there's not a cap up people genuinely genuinely think that way and it's it's baffling it's baffling um i don't know man um but regardless of that we're gonna move on um, I don't want to just complain about people being stupid. Um, so we're going to do other stuff. Um, I'm going to kit out this SKS. We're going to do something pretty cheap, though. We're not going to do nothing. I can do nothing crazy. Just a little, little cheap SKS to start us off. 
couple cheap SKS. A little cheap SKS, nothing crazy. I should probably take a scope, to be fair. Maybe I'll keep that as just like a secondary. So we're gonna be playing Lighthouse all day today. Because I want to relearn the map. Because I'm gonna need to do it for Punisher. Um, so I'm going to play Lighthouse all day long. And we're gonna see how it goes. Um I think a little something 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 like this ain't ain't too bad. Well, something, something. I could do suppressor. Should I do a suppressor? What's the uh, 21 ergonomics? But gross. Okay. We'll go with this. A little simple SKS. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Just a little simple SKS. I did clear out my entire insurance of all the stuff that I can purchase. Because it's a bit of a waste. I can't buy that revolver now, actually. I don't know what level scare it's at, but buy this revolver. Uh, this does have the ghost sights on it, so it might be a little bit better. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll try this out at some point. Um, could be all right. Could be all right. But pistols, you seem kind of bad. Oh yeah, maybe the revolver's bad too. Okay, we're gonna avoid pistols for now because pistols are kind of nerfed. Oh, the snow is gone, by the way, Fluffkins. I'm I'm sorry to, sorry to inform you in this way, but the snow has vacated the premises. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I also want to see if this bug is gone. So I'm gonna buy some. Um, I'm gonna buy a mag. I have 20 bucks left. I'm gonna see if this bug is still here. It's not. They fixed it. That's good. Fix that bug. Golf clap. Uh, that wasn't really a golf clap, but it was close enough. Close enough. Why would they do this? Uh, cause everybody really wanted it gone. Like, immensely wanted it gone. So. I need some money. I need some money. I have some choice words. Yeah, that's right. Uh, there is a car extract on Lighthouse, so I should take 2,000 rubles. How's my fence rep, by the way, actually? Pretty decent. I have dailies. Uh, I have to kill 14 scabs with a headshot. I, I remember I, I accepted that daily. I also have to bring in a Cordura fabric. I need a sewing kit. If I can get a sewing kit, I can complete that too, which would be kind of nice. Uh, I'm just gonna bring some cheap ass ammo. Nothing crazy. Actually, I do have a fuck ton of PS. Let's not be fucking stupid. Let's take some PS. Um, so I want to make it very clear. I'm probably gonna die a lot today. Just FYI, um, I'm probably gonna die a lot because Lighthouse is apparently got a lot of cheaters, <laughs> as we just talked about. Um, apparently, a lot of cheaters and. Also, it's a bit of a harder map, for sure. Um, the extracts on it aren't super easy, either. And there's a fuck ton of player scavs. And I haven't played it in a while. Um, and people do tend to bring bigger gear and stuff on Lighthouse. So, I'll probably die a lot today, just FYI. Um, I want to make that abundantly clear. Death will probably happen quite a bit. There's also a fuck ton of player scabs. So, with that in mind, we will probably struggle. But that's okay, because I want to relearn the map a little bit. Um, I don't think it's been changed. So, I should have most of my knowledge from the past. Um, I just need to, obviously, kind of rekindle that part of my brain a little bit. Um... But I should have most of my knowledge because I did play a shit ton of this map when it first released. So let's give it, give it a go. Let's give it a go.
one sec. We will probably fight the rogues a little bit. I don't want to like immediately just start trying to fight the rogues though. We're, we're just going to chill a little bit. And um, as soon as I fight the rogues, to be fair, it's after that, they will be hostile for the next couple raids. I think it's like four raids or something. Um, I should also check the goon tracker to see if the goons are on lighthouse. Because if they are, I should be prepared. Because <laughs> I don't want to fucking get gooned. But um, I'll check. mute my microphone Waiting for players. I'm a little bit scared, honestly, because uh, this map is supposedly pretty difficult. Shit, here we go. Here we go again. Um, apparently there's a lot of cheaters on this map too, but <laughs> we'll see how true that is. Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh, okay, this is a bad spawn. So, can't get up on that rock. Um, so, I'm right next to the thing. Somebody should come. Somebody might come right here. So, we're going to sit and wait. Because there's a spawn off to my right on the top of the hill. And I could peek them, but why not just wait for them to push to me? And then catch them out when they're in a dead zone. Let's see. Um, I don't really want to go fight the goons immediately. We're just going to wait a little bit. Or not the goons, the rogues. Because the rogues are behind me. I could go behind the rogues, actually. Do they get mad? I don't know. We can find out. I can't remember if they get mad. I'm not hearing anything. I'm so sorry that the snow is gone, Fluffins. So sorry. No more snow. Creepo snow is no more. Okay, so that spawn, I guess, did not come over here. I'll give it a little bit longer, just to make sure. It looks so empty. Edge.
So unfestive. Put my hands. Um, supposedly people are saying there might be random snow. I'm not sure if that's true, though. We'll give it 30 more seconds. Eh, maybe a minute. I'm gonna give it another minute, because they could just be taking their time. And I don't want them to come up behind me. I think there is mines behind me, but I'm not sure exactly where the mines are. The rogues won't be angry at me, because I'm a USEC. So if I can avoid the mines, I should be able to get back to the train yard, which would be kind of fun. Um, is there any extracts I don't recognize? I know vehicle exit, uh, past the shoreline, southern road. Southern road. Uh, okay, I know southern road. Uh, mountain pass. Yeah, that's Red Rebel though, right? I assume. Side tunnel, armor train. I'm pretty sure the mountain pass. I know where the mountain pass is. I'll check that out later. Okay. You can go now. So I'm pretty sure if you stay to the left, you can avoid the mines here. There's almost certain mines, though. You can't go over there. That's death. I'm pretty sure you can avoid the mines if you hug the side. I don't know. Can I get up here? I didn't think you could. No, yeah. Yeah, okay. I am where I think I am. Kind of a bit of a rough spawn from that first raid. I can't get up there. I don't know where the mines are. This is kind of a problem. I may be testing an offline raid to be sure. Okay, so people could be down there in front of me. That's usually a pretty common sniping point for the rogues. But it's a little bit close. Can I get down there? I don't know if I can. I don't know where the mines on this map are. If we die, I kind of want to do a little mine exploring adventure next raid on an offline one. To kind of familiarize myself with the mines. I know there's mines around here. I just don't know where they are. Well, there's one of them. That might be goons. I should check the goon tracker. Is the goons on lighthouse? They are on lighthouse. I think that's the goons. Let's go see. I want to take part if it's the goons. Okay. I'm going to try and get to where the goons are. Yeah, I think that's the goons. That's Bird Eye's gun. And lots of grenades. And it's coming from the area where they spawn. Try and get down there. Usually people don't hang out in this area too much past the start of the raid. We need to watch out for scavs. Oh god, the player scavs. Forgot. But I don't remember where people can be exactly. Oh god, there's a guy there. I think I got him. I literally looked up there because I thought, that's a good sniping position. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not happy. Pretty sure I killed him. You any friends? I think so. I want to go up there to loot him? I guess I kind of do. There might not be any goons, so looting him would be nice. In case I don't find anything else good this raid. 
At the shoreline should be around here somewhere. Right up here, actually, yeah. Can I go? Okay. Can you not cross here? Yeah, you can't cross there. There's a little granny box. There's gonna be player scabs sooner rather than later. A little bit concerning. And there's gonna be a lot of them. remember how this map works. It's a bit of a weird map, to be honest. It's very different from the other maps in the game, I feel like. This is Path of Shoreline. I guess you can go around the edges? Go up in the hills. I don't think I ever did this, to be honest. I think usually if I just spawned in the hills, I just stayed in the hills and went water treatment. If I didn't spawn in the hills, I didn't come up here. <laughs> it felt like a bit of a long pathway to get up. It also felt like there could easily be people camping in the hills. SKS still feels pretty good, though. I'd say. I'd say it's mostly the, um, the pistols got, like, super fucking destroyed in this update. Pistols are not really very good anymore. I think it's a bug, though. I think they'll fix it. I don't remember exactly where he was. Oh, there could be people up in these hills everywhere. This is awful. I hate this. So much grass. Bring back the snow. So much grass everywhere. Map's gonna be a little bit more action packed because people are being goon hunting too. So, because the goons are here. So that's where I spawned. To there. This is the guy that spawned that I was waiting for. He didn't come to me, obviously, because he stayed up here. I think he was waiting for people that spawn over there to cross to the water treatment. I still want to go towards the goons if I can. This guy uh, obviously didn't get the memo that uh, 
pistols not so good no more. Pistols not so good no more. I've ever really been up here to be honest i know this isn't new i just don't think i've ever really been up here is there um mines up here i think so this is at least a shoreline i spent 16 hours hunting cultists Man, there's so much of this area, it's just dead space. I don't know why all this exists, to be honest. Like, kind of strange. It makes the map so much bigger for no reason. It's just all dead air. Kind of strange. Forgot about all that. Whereas the rest of the map is so claustrophobic, I feel like. But this part of the map is like so big and has nothing in it. If they added some loot, it wouldn't be too bad, but there's just nothing over here. Kind of strange. Lighthouse was never my favorite map. I haven't really missed playing it this wipe so far. Going through those hills is going to be pain, though. To the goons. Can you go up this way? I didn't think you could. Pretty sure you can't. Unless they added this as like a new route? So I'm, I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. I'm almost certainly going to die to a lot of player scabs today. And I'm going to try and mentally prepare myself. Because I don't want to get too frustrated about it. But I fucking hate player scabs. And I'm probably going to avoid this map like the plague most of the time. But... For today and tomorrow, I'm probably going to play it all day, because I just want to get used to it again. God, fuck me, dude. <laughs> oh, he didn't kill me. Yeah, so that was a dead end. The only way through the mountains here to where I want to go is through a very claustrophobic little bush path that people can camp very easily. <clears throat> Yeah, this map is a bit rough. Rough around the edges. Okay, you can't climb this wall. You can go up here, but... A bit exposed. To be fair, everybody's gonna go to water treatment. That's kind of like the play right now, is player scav, supposedly. So... Need to watch out above me. God, the map design of this map is so kind of bad. Maybe you can't get up there? Pretty sure you can, though. Yeah. I mean, like, why? Why, why does this exist? <laughs> Why can you sit up here? <laughs> Why does this spot exist? <laughs> I would like this spot not to exist, please. <laughs> I don't know which building it is that the uh, goons can spawn in. Don't tell me. 
was a man. I have to go through here. I'm pretty sure this is where Mountain Pass is. But we can double check. There's a building to my right. I have to go through these bushes, which somebody could easily be camping. This is hell. This should be mountain pass. Fresh shotgun guy, real close. I remember there being as many trees around this area before. PMC. Okay, is this mountain pass? No. Is mountain pass. Maybe it's up here. I want to find that before we loot him or anything. Yeah, there we go. Mountain pass. It's paracord extract. Okay. It's here. Good to know. I mean, I already kind of knew, but I wanted to refamiliarizing myself with this map. I haven't played it in two years. I played it a decent amount two years ago, but. That's when it first came out. Man, it's kind of crazy that this map came out two years ago and then Streets came out like one year ago. I mean, the, those are some pretty big expansions. And then Ground Zero came out. They are increasing their development. Like, genuinely. It's definitely getting a bit, a bit faster, a bit better. I think that guy was alone. I'm going to try and loop back around and loot him. And we're going to go check out the... I always called it the Usag House, um, but I guess it's called Chalet. Um, pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, Chalet. Um, that's where everybody always says the goons can spawn on this map, the Chalet. And it doesn't look like they were here. This is obviously a really good map for sniping. A lot of people bring bolties to this map because they're trying to do their late game quests. Based on how that guy react, I assume he was alone. So what is this place called then? This map does have some cool vibes. Wish there wasn't so many fucking player scabs. Uh, do I want a shotgun? 50 BMG, to be fair. I think I'd rather have his shotgun than um, this. Uh... Gun. All right, we'll go check on the goons. And then if they're not there, we're just going to fucking leave.
God, the suppressor always looks so wacky at the end. We might just die to the goons here, but I'm down, honestly. I don't give a fuck. If the goons aren't there, we're just gonna try and get out. I gotta kill two PMCs on our first raid. Not fucking bad. Not fucking bad. I mean, if we die, I'll take that as a victory. One kill for each year I haven't played the map. Man, my footsteps are so much quieter now. I feel like I can hear people so much better. I actually kind of dislike it. I might just fucking walk into fucking Big Pipe. Big Pipe? Anybody home? I'm just gonna throw a grenade. Let's just get close up on the gate and then I'm gonna throw a grenade. We'll know if they're here or not. No voice lines. I think honestly we just did. We'll lose some houses on like the near the way out. But I don't really want to go in there if I can avoid it. If the goons aren't there, the goons aren't there. It might not have been the goons at all, or it might have they might be dead. But either way, they're not there at that house. They might be somewhere else too, because they do follow people pretty far with their aggro. Um they can be in some wacky places sometimes. They're kinda like killa. I think they have a little bit of killa AI for sure. It's like edited kill AI. We'll loot up this house a little bit. I don't have that much space. I kind of need a bigger rig. Maybe get one off the scav. I can hit him from here. bigger rig but this is kind of risky we have player scabs in the house fuck I wanted to loot him not the other guy fuck he's got an armored rig they've got no rigs okay we're leaving I'm gonna chill out here for a second. Let's free up a little bit of inventory space. Drop some of this other garbage we don't need. I 
or something. We got a bit of space. Lit up some houses and then go past the shoreline. Nothing crazy. Chill little raid. Board a bit of the map. Nothing nuts. A little chill experience. Go to PMC, so that's a W. Encountered no player scan, so that's a W. Didn't find the goons. Not so much of a W, but maybe a W. Depends on how you see it, because I probably would have died. <laughs> Probably just a regular scab, I think. Here's something else, though. Remember this place being fucking Scavville in the past. Player scavs and regular scavs. Just fucking infested with them. Like fucking termites. I guess the uh, hillside, hillside key. Get the player scan. I'm just gonna regular scan. Let's get that. Call it a W. Man, I forgot how much people can camp here. Might uh, use this shotgun in the next one, I think. Let's drop that. Okay, successful raid. Nothing crazy. Got in. Got some loot. Killed two people. That's a W. First raid. First success. Can't complain. Can't complain. Right. We were in there for a long time. Killed some people though. Well, 39. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm surprised I didn't headshot the first guy. Only a shock distance, 105 meters. That really wasn't that far away. SKS doesn't feel bad. I don't hate the SKS. SKS feels pretty good still. The pistols are pretty much the only thing that got like absolutely destroyed, I feel like. Pistols are like not even usable right now, I don't think. I don't think the pistols are even usable. I'm going to just sell that Glock. And we'll use the, um, we'll use the shotgun. I'm going to stick a little bit of something better on it, though, for ergonomics. And we'll stick a two-time scope on it. 
And I'll get a fresh stack of 50 BMG. Morning, what's up, Arbiter? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. Good to see you. Uh, I'll keep that. That can go, though. That can also go. Can I repair this? I can indeed. That can all go. M80, at, I don't really want two F1s. One F1 is fine. Alright, cool. Take that off. Get a little two time scope going. Hmm, I could do the three times. We've been tired from last night's uh, Super Bowl party and got to go to class soon. Hell yeah. Hopefully it was a good time. I'm not a big fan of football myself, but hopefully it was an enjoyable experience. Hopefully it was a good one. Zero ergonomics, by the way. A grand total of zero ergonomics. Get a little something going here. We're up to 15 ergonomics. <laughs> A grand total of 15 ergonomics. Great. Do I have um, any spruts lying around? I do. Blast and lighthouse quest today. I'm not doing any quests. I'm just uh, just checking out the map, trying to remember how to play it because I've not played it in two years. I like to when I'm learning a map again, just like kind of play it passively, not really like have any goals specifically, so I can kind of just wander around where I want to. You know what I mean? Instead of like trying to like do something specific, just kind of like. Check out, check out where I'm going, trying to remember that kind of stuff. Can't believe it's been out that long. Yeah, it's been out a long time. Streets has been out like a year as well, and then Ground Zero got added. It's kind of crazy how many uh, how many maps they're adding. Got a little weird shotgun. I need an X400. This is a weird shotgun. I mean, let's try it on the hideout real quick. I can't believe it's been two years either. I played it a shit ton when it released, but obviously I haven't played it since then because I stopped playing the game. Um, and when I did release it, I don't know. Hey, man. Long time no see. What's your opinion on insurance? Um, My opinion on it overall? Or like, do you have something specific? I mean, it's very, very good. Did you shoot a bit high? See if they shoot a bit high. It's good to see you though. Welcome. Welcome to stream. You're basically the insurance man, yeah. I mean, that's usable. A bit rough, but. We are shooting slugs, so. Not supposed to be shooting that fast, anyways. I mean, insurance is very, very strong. Um, you don't have to use it to the extent that I use it. And there's certain things you shouldn't do that I do. <laughs> um, I'm a relatively new player, never really purchased it, and didn't know it would be helpful. Ah, okay. Okay. See, now I can answer a little bit better. Um, yeah, insurance is... So the thing is with insurance is that you are going to burn through your cash if you're doing it at the start. Um, especially if you're a newer player, 
um, I tried to answer a question for somebody recently about this. I think your best bet is probably probably wait to level 15 before you start doing insurance if you're a new player um, because that's when you're actually going to start getting like copious amounts of cash a lot of the time um, because of the flea market. Um, before that, you're not going to have very much cash going around. You're going to be losing money a lot of the time. You're going to be dying on your PMC a lot. And insurance is very worth it, but when you're burning through your cash that quickly, it can be really rough, especially like when you're just starting out the wipe because you don't have very much of a cash supply. Um, it is absolutely worth it in the long run, but in the short term, it can burn through all your cash. So I would probably wait until level 15 if you're a newer player because you're not going to have the money to support insurance until you unlock the flea market and are able to sell stuff on it. But after you, after you have enough money, always hit insure all. Like, always. There's never a reason not to, in my opinion. Um, I, I I really can't think of a reason not to hit insure all. So. Also, just insure with proper, honestly. Well, therapist is, like, a, a, a consideration for some people because she holds your items for longer. Uh, but it actually doesn't end up being that much longer because proper returns them in, like, 24 to 36 hours usually about 24 and therapist returns them in 12 so you get 12 hours less duration but you do get four days more holding time um so for some people if you can't play super regularly therapist is worth it but it costs a lot more um if you're not playing that many raids anyways usually you can just retrieve all your items from prepper just launch the game like you know once a day and just retrieve everything instead of actually like having to use it if that makes sense um but even if you insure something if you get it back and you sell it, it's worth it's worth it. So it's like, even if you don't plan on using that item again, just getting the item back and selling it. The only time when insurance is not worth it is you insure something and then you don't get it back. But the thing is that a lot of the time you do, especially if you're not using very good gear or you started the wipe, uh, wipe late, a lot of the time people will leave your stuff behind. And you can also dump your own stuff, that's the thing. Um which is very strong and should be done on occasion. So usually I end up logging in for at least a scav rate so I can make that happen. Hell yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, insurance is very nice. Uh, some people don't insure and it, it blows my mind really. It, it's like, like, there's no reason not to, other than you just don't want to. You know what I mean? Like, it is 100% worth it. But some people just don't want to do it. Alright. Second raid. We'll give it a try. But, welcome to Tarkov. I hope that your experience is... Oh god, this one is not very good, from my knowledge. Uh, we might get into a fight immediately. From my knowledge, this spawn is very bad. I'm gonna run up this hill, hopefully. Can't vault this, really? Should have done the wall. I don't know if this is the right path to take with this spawn, but we're going to give it a try. There's treasure spawns in that chair up there. I don't know how he didn't see me. very much in danger now. Problem is, there's probably somebody back here, too. Just chill out for a second. 
Problem is, he can now hold down that house. Kind of hold the angles, because it's kind of choke pointy. I could loop around and go down the bottom, but I can get shot from the other side of the map. Which is kind of rough. There could be somebody behind me here, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't have any more grenades. There's a grenade box of this down chopper, though. Let's just go over there, I guess. Eh, but then I'm down in the pit. We can check this uh, chair, though. I don't know how he didn't see me. I thought he looked straight at me. Lion. Little flower looked like a person. probably head back up there now. I kind of assumed he would get into a fight, because it's usual that somebody else comes from the other side of that location. Got a VOG? Alright. Get back up in there. See what's happening. Or not the goons, since he didn't get into a fight immediately. actually might not have been this house. Bush swipes. I did see somebody run into the building. I don't think that would have been the person who bush swiped. Bush swipe sounded a lot closer than that. I heard him. I don't know why he'd be running me down so hard, though. Unless he needs PMC kills on this map for some reason.
Everything looks so strange without snow, yeah. Bitch. He was looking for me hardcore, man. He wanted the smoke. Fuck. Is that it me? Or stop that. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird going to no snow now. Alright, well. Job done on that guy. Pretty sure he was alone. He just really wanted to fight me. Oh god. Why do you have to die in such a fucking exposed position, bro? High gear. God damn. God damn. Hey, bear. Ah, you sick. Good. Little MDR. Why do people put a fucking voodoo on fucking assault rifles, bro? Blows my mind every time. Shit fucking sucks. I hate it. Alright, let's um let's take a little look towards the Lightkeeper Island, because that has changed. In theory. Um, and I have not seen that. He reacted fast to me jumping behind him, though. The guy wasn't bad. Definitely not. I knew what he was doing. He reacted to me jumping up. But I had to make that jump because there was a gap in the rock. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to creep up on him silently. So I was like, fuck it. I have to go for the hop. And then just try and blast him. And with the three times and the slow ergonomics, I didn't really want to go for the aim down sights. So it made it a little bit rough. But um, there's not really much loot on this side of the map. There is some stashes up top. Um, Dump my armor. Go with that weight a little bit. A 60 round? Here it is, yeah. Just get a full 30. So I can be sure how much ammo I have. Be a stash up here. Somewhere. Although the stashes are random now, right? I'm not sure if the ones on Lighthouse are also random. You can get up there. You can make a hop, I think. Cross. God, this looks incredibly dangerous. Think I can make this? Oh, my leg. <laughs> I did make it, though. 
I did make it. You gotta admit I made it. You can get up here without doing that, I think. <laughs> but... Aha! I really thought that was gonna go so much worse. Yeah, it looked like it. Hey, there's a stash I was thinking of. Can you get up there? Can't remember. Ooh, we can take a good peek at the lightkeeper island though. Can't get up there. Pretty sure. Pretty sure dash him invisible wall shit. Yeah. Now let's get rid of the shotgun real quick. I want the shell so. I don't need this anymore. It's good work against that guy though. Shells! Oh, they're there. How'd they come out the left side of the gun? That white bug. How much do I weigh now? 36. A little bit heavy with the lion and the protection kit. I assume he has good plates in this thing. Ooh, tier 5 front plate. God damn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good gaming. And a cat statue. God damn. I can get a full ass fucking document case. That is fucking nice. Hey, I'll take it. That's real nice. Okay, I really want to leave now. I want to take a look at the Lightkeeper Island first, though. Ah, you can go around here. You can get up on a little bit of a sniper position. The dead guy. Why is there a dead guy? That's concerning. A lot of free gear, bro. There's a lot of free gear. Might be coming here. To be a little bit careful. Damn, that's a lot of free gear, bro. Okay, I am now very heavy. I can check when he killed him, actually. That's smart. I could check that. 1826. He killed him 15 minutes ago. We're probably chilling. He probably died. Extract's right down there. Oh, shit. I might not have that extract. No, I do. Okay. Oh, yeah. This one you always have. It's You don't have Northern Checkpoint if you spawn too close to it. Last time I didn't have Northern Checkpoint. That's how this map works. Northern checkpoint is the only non-potential extract. And that's if you spawn too close to the water treatment.
two years ago, this spot up here used to be like the best way to get your TP 200 bricks. I remember. Right there on that stack of uh, cinder blocks. Two years ago, it was a new item that they added and had like no spawn points other than like a super rare, like duffel bags, stashes, that kind of thing. And then, uh, but they always spawned on this cinder blocks right here for some reason. Oh, the six year rounder. Even fucking tube? Yeah, there is military tubes, right, that you need? I don't think those existed two years ago, though, did they? Maybe they did. Might have just been very rare. I never upgraded my hideout before. Just didn't care enough. This extract can be camped, which is a bit of a sh shitty situation if somebody's up there. I don't know what you mean by you when you play a hoarder game, by the way. I took some time to try and figure it out. That's why I didn't, I, that's why I didn't reply to it. But I'm not really sure what you meant. Good world of pain getting that hideout upgrade, that's fair. Yeah, I never went for the hideout upgrade. That scared me. That was a person bush swiping, but it's the waves. Successful raid. I mean, killed one guy. You said something about, oh, a dead body, that's concerning, yeah, true, true. Nice. Successful raid, can't complain. Can't complain. Two survives, back to back? That's honestly better than I expected this to go. That guy really wanted to kill me for some reason. Um, I wonder why. He just felt like it maybe or maybe he had a task where he needed to kill pmcs or bears or something and so he tried to kill me hit him with a stomach shot i hit him quite a few times count five dude look at that damage absorbed holy fuck yeah i hit him in the plates and shit for sure soaked it soaked it 546 damage absorbed that's pretty fucking that's a lot that is a lot I mean, I guess we're going in bigger gear now, though. I mean, honestly, I was just going to run some shit gear, but I think we're just going to go in bigger gear, to be honest, because I kind of have to. I mean, what can I do? I got all this fucking gear. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I got a lion and a cat. I can get a dock case with that. That's actually really nice. Got a second docks case now. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Mm, got another RFB. We can just sell that RFB. Sell the serve kit. Let's keep that. Sell that. Oh. Take this. Take some of these. Use the MDR. Actually, we could use the HK. How good is this HK? I like the TAC 30 on it. How good is this HK?
sorry. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Is that good? I I can't tell. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like it's having a seizure. What a weird recoil. It just looks like it's like jittering, like it's just like shaking. That's so strange. I mean, I mean, I guess it's pretty good. It's hard to tell if it's good or not. I mean, I guess it's pretty good. It's just so shaky. Like, it's just so jittery. Can you get better? Oh my god, the stats on this are pretty bad. Um, can I get better? This is a Gen 3, so that's, yeah, for good recoil. It's got terrible ergonomics. Can I get... A longer barrel? That's pretty much all I can think of that would help it, is a longer barrel. But I don't think I can buy the barrels. Yeah, I can only buy the 14.5 inch. Is it a 14.5 already? I assume it is, yeah. Added <laughs> recoil to the HK, yeah. That's a bit all over the place, man. That's pretty, that's pretty all over the place. I'm not sure how good that is. Oh, did I hit him in the helmet? The 50 BMG? Because his helmet's damaged. I did. Oh, did they fix a uh, wrapper and mechanic being terrible at repairing helmets? I don't know. Fuck, I've got too much insurance. Um, I think I need to do something some people might find a problem. I think I need to buy another items case. <laughs> I think I need to buy another items case. Because my insurance is going to run out today. I can always sell it later. <laughs> I said that about the last one, though. <laughs> and it filled up as well. <sighs> I just... I wish that I would, like, lose gear more often, you know? That's the thing. I wish I would lose gear more often. It's like... I don't know, I hate selling things. <laughs> I hate selling things. Chat, do you hear this, man? I... I don't know, man. It's just like... Can you, um... Can you do the pillbox trick still? I don't know how much of an ex... Like, is this an exploit? Okay, you can't do it. Um, can't do that. It's unfortunate. Get some more pillboxes. Because, like, technically it would be the same as what I'm doing with putting a pillbox into a rig, right? Or a rig into a pillbox. This has side plates. Yeah. If I don't have side plates, I'm going to, um, do something a little funky. I'm gonna do something a little, a little funky in the future. Which is, uh, I'm gonna stick it in a... Okay, look, there's a good amount of space now. Okay. Sell all this shit. Boom, 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 boom. Sell the RFB, I can just buy RFBs now. Alright. Should I bring this rig? I don't really want to. Bring this rig. want to do anything to this? I can't really do anything to it. I guess we're just going to run it as it is. I mean, to be fair, if I don't put the drum mag in it, it's not that bad. Maybe we just say fuck the drum mag. 
I say we just say fuck the drum mag with this gun specifically. I don't think a drum mag is the play. Let's just get some more mags. Some more 30 rounders. I mean, 55A1, dude, that shit's fucking M995. Holy shit, these guys. These guys are the sweaty, sweaty nerds. That's what we just, that's what we just ran into. Sweaty nerds. Sweaty motherfucking nerds. <laughs> um, he got killed by a little shotgun. <laughs> to be fair, that shotgun was not very little. We'll bring a bit more gear, obviously. Looking good. I'd like a couple nades. There we go. I think we're all looking good, except I do need a splint. Other than a splint, we're good to go. I do have tasks for fence now. Huh. That's kind of cool. I like quests like this. I wish that we had more quests like that for other... Other, like PMC. I'm at 516 fence rep. I'm getting there, dude. Fucking getting there. Almost at... Almost at, um, six fence rep without playing a single scav raid. Sorry, I had to think. I think for a second. I mean, I guess we're good to go with this. I mean, like, kind of ugly. I mean, it's not ugly. It's just weird. I think we're good to go, though. Nothing too crazy. Let's see, ergo now, 36. Not terrible. Buy some crackers real quick, because I'm getting hungry. Bring a water bottle. A lot of bottle. All right. I do have to get that insurance. I don't know how much insurance is running out. Hopefully it's not much. I did try and clear my insurance as much as I could. Black rock rig. And an armored rig. Uh, there's a decent chunk of insurance. I've got way too much shit. That's the problem. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll probably die in the next two hours, let's be honest. Alright. So. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I'm just typing to somebody real quick. Typing to somebody. Honestly, those first two raids went way better than I ever expected. <laughs> um, I honestly expected to die immediately. But, that actually went pretty well. So, can't complain. Can't complain. Oh, I guess tan ulax are terrible now, right? Tan ulax are fucking trashed here. What time can you use tan ulex? 
When is a good time to use a tan you lack? I don't think there is one, right? Like, what map can you use a tan you lock on? I mean, like, factory is the only thing I can think of. But, like, then you don't have a face cover. I mean... I mean, I guess light. I don't know. It's it's like it's not that bad the tan, like the tanness, because it's like you don't spot people, but you do spot people sometimes because of their helmets. Like the blueberry helmet does stand out. So it's like I don't feel like the tan U-Lock's ever really worth wearing. I might just sell all the tan U-Locks that I have. Are they that bad? Are they worth selling? Because now that the snow is gone, I just feel like the brightness of the helmet is just going to stand out so much like it used to. I think it's probably just worth selling them. The thing is, you can't buy, as far as I can tell, as far as I'm aware, you can't buy the, um, the Fast MT anymore. The, the black fast MT. You can only buy the tan fast MT. Which is interesting. I mean, in that case, what they're saying is that there is a disadvantage to the tan one. And they're also kind of making it seem like the fast MT is the best helmet in the game. Right? Or like, it's peak helmet, at least. You know what I mean? Because I'm pretty sure it's the only helmet you can't just buy or barter you know what i mean it's just not available at all it's just kind of strange i mean like they're at least saying it's like a top tier helmet which i mean is mostly true i think the bastion the one i'm wearing now is actually really good though like that plate it has the 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 forehead plate that like goes all the way around that's insane like that's tier six protection around the entire ring of your head like, that will stop pretty much every round in the game. Like, you're barely ever going to get penned through that. Like, especially with how rare some of the good ammo is now. Like, it's just, it, that's just like a crazy ring of protection. Weird lag spike. Okay, where are we going to spawn? Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm here. Let's go, go, go. Okay, we'll probably almost certainly get into a fight and die here. Watch the goons be. That'd be funny. Get gooned. Somebody just got killed by these fucking rogues. All thing will make this area less bad now, though. I guess I can try and stick some treasure in my container. Boy, I don't know what he said though. <laughs> I 
I got arena last. He was probably at some kind of task, maybe. I don't know. I just fucking killed him. <laughs> I don't care about your fucking task, bro. Bring some gear next time. Goddamn. You want to get your task done? You might want to bring some motherfucking gear. That's all I'm saying. How do you expect to get your task done without any fucking weapons? There's somebody else outside, though. Good luck on the raids today. Time to pop over to class. Hey, I hope it goes well, man. Thank you for the good luck on the raids. Thank you for popping in as well. I appreciate that. Always good to see you. Hopefully you're doing well. Good luck with the clay. So hopefully it's not too bad. Not too bad. There's somebody outside. Being in here is kind of pain and suffering. Because people can creep around a lot. Like, this is one of the most, like, easily creepable buildings, I feel like, in the game. witchcraft going on here. <laughs> I'll let you get that one, fuckins. One's all you. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this guy? I saw him in that tent for a second. There's a guy over on my left. I don't know if this is the same guy. I think he's down there, though, in the, in the court. People can come from behind me too, I'm a little bit worried. I think I have a pretty good spot here though. Worried about other people showing up. Let's see if I spot him from here. I wonder if the iron sights on the HK are any good. I'd be super down to run like an iron sight HK. I like iron sights, honestly.
One bullet bounced off his helmet. I don't know if you guys saw that. Level 4 helmets, man. Very strong. Why you wear them? game is definitely not running amazingly on this map. There's a tank battery spawn in this garage. Oh my god, please help me. Stutters. dropping right there dude that is gonna be player scav city man good spawns up here, or at least there used to be. I don't know if there still is. They like to just change stuff for fun, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> to keep people on their toes a little bit. Man, I almost got that guy. I should have honestly probably just tapped a little bit more. Players guys are already fighting over it. Somebody's trying to get up to my building. Somebody's shooting him from across the way. I honestly want to kill you more when you say that. Like, I honestly want to kill you more. <laughs> like, does that make me a bad person? Maybe. Do I care? No, not a single fuck. <laughs> I fucking hate that shit, man. It's like, I'm not your friend. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not here to just help you quest. Like, I, no. I'm not here to specifically stop you to questing, but I'm not here to fucking help you quest either. Like, no, earn that shit, bitch. Stop asking for handouts. So silly. I don't really care about an M-Mac. Just here for his quest, dude. I don't know, man. Call me an asshole all you want, but I ain't ever going to give somebody a quest like that. Unless it's, like, a new player. But, like, that's these aren't new quests, you know what I mean? Like, these aren't, like, low-level quests that, you know what I mean, like... Like, if somebody's trying to do Jaeger, and they voice line to me, like, Oh, come on, bro, you know, I'm a new player, just trying to do my quest. Then I'll be like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Like, you're a new player, it's, you know, like, two months into the wipe, you're trying to get Jaeger, fair enough. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna kill you specifically because of that. But, I mean, you're on fucking Lighthouse, you're level, like, 40... Like, nah, go fuck yourself, dude. Like, I don't care. Not a chance in hell. And if that makes me a bad person, then fair. I accept it. He's all 45. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck, man? There's somebody outside, and there's also somebody, um... Sniping from across the way. Somebody's sniping from the hills across. If 
if I can spot him. Fuck. Really? Boing. Feel like I'm blind, I can't see shit? Yeah, you're just gonna have to get used to it. What's up, Patty? It's uh it's it's a whole different ball game now. It really is like you get used to spotting people in a certain way, right? It's like a big thing of spotting people is just getting used to the terrain you're looking at. So when it changes so drastically with the snow, you're gonna feel pretty blind. It's pretty rough. Like I'm I'm definitely gonna feel it too. I use so much ammo on. I use it on that guy coming up the hill. I really need to get out of here by now. Um, because this house is not where you want to be. Not where you want to be. So light, even with an MAC in my backpack. Is the MAC quite light? Still nine. Why am I so light? Run, I guess. It's still nine point eight. I don't know. I feel like it should be much heavier. Getting out of here is terrifying. Doing quests or hunting something on lighthouse? Nope. I am just uh, trying to relearn the map because I haven't played it in two years. I usually like to just chill when I replay a map or when I haven't really played a map or don't know where I'm going. I feel like it's easier to learn when you're not doing a quest in my opinion. Just trying to familiarize myself with the map again. Uh, but there is a lot of lighthouse quests that I'm going to have to do so that's why I'm doing it. And there is also some stuff you have to hunt down specifically on lighthouse. So, just trying to familiarize myself with the map again. I played it a lot when it released two years ago, but I haven't played it since. Just want to remember what the fuck I'm doing. Air package was over here. Be nice to have a red rebel to be able to extract right here. First time I've used an HK this wipe. Feels pretty good for close quarters, absolutely. Feels really nice. But I don't know how I feel. I, I feel like I'm not really like packing a punch when I shoot at range. Same thing with the M4 though, to be fair. Or has the same feeling. It's like you're shooting like little needles instead of actual like bullets to put people down. They still do if you hit a headshot, but they're not going to do much if you don't hit one. I feel like. Should I go around the bush passage, do you think? I don't really know if I like this bush passage. Especially if like there's a chance somebody's on the other side. Oh, let's try going around it. I want to see what that feels like, like what the path looks like. Go around it instead. I mean, I'm exposed to that. There was a guy over there. If you sprint though, you're a pretty hard target on this sloped surface. Can you go up here? I think you have to go down here. Can you get up here? You can. Okay, that's not too bad. And this is just on the other side. Okay. Not terrible. Boom, <laughs> somebody's killing players, Gavs.
think I was just chilling. What's that guy doing there? Somebody inside the house. <laughs> Wrap it up, buddy. Wrap it up. Apparently, it's a quote from a movie. He's mad the snow is gone, yeah. It's a quote from some kind of movie or something. Like a long extended quote. So that guy standing next to the care package kind of looked like he was covering his friend. That's the thing, right? That's kind of what it felt like. But nobody got up from the care package after I killed him. That's kind of what I was expecting to happen. I was expecting somebody to stand up. But nobody stood up. I don't know that voice line. That's weird. That might have been him saying I'm throwing a grenade. There's a box in here. I just got probably looted everything up a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want a loot care package guy. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. That sounds kind of fucking risky. Fight the water guys? Yeah, they're crazy. No, I have not. I'm not. I plan to eventually, but not right away. Recognize all these voice lines they're saying. Another airdrop. this one drop? Sounds like he's dropping right here too. Looks 
anti-water treatment. So many scabs. <laughs> Guess that's why all the player scabs like to hang out here because it's pretty safe because all the other scabs. Pretty low on ammo. We only got two mags. Have those oat plates. Have a little snack. A little snack. I don't think I want to go and loot those guys in the road. I mean, the longer I wait, the worse it gets. But I don't know. I kind of like thought like, oh, I'm not going to loot them. And then I was like, eh, maybe I should loot them. But player scabs, man. I almost fucked that up. Fucker. The problem is I've just made a fucking silent shot. Player scabs love that shit. Did he pick up a weapon? Nice grenade. Should be okay. It's a PMC. Okay, now I'm interested. I'm down to fight a PMC. That was almost certainly a player scab. God, those hills are awful. 
Fucking hills have eyes, man. Was he that close? Are you crossing? Yeah. Well, you could. You can't sprint though. Come back towards you, yeah. Nades can do some funky things in this game, to be fair. Did I see him? Look, I saw a figure run across. Oh. I head to the extract. Always a possibility I got him with the nade. But I don't think it's that high. Maybe try and sneak in there and grab some loots before I leave. Fuck okay, it, let's do it. We've got enough gear. Lose some stuff, potentially.
player scout. We good? I don't know what he was doing there. He started panicking, I think. How much ammo do I have? Fucking 15 bullets. Is there anybody in here? Did I get him with the nade? Maybe I should just grab somebody else's gun. Yeah. Just need another gun. I got no ammo. I was wondering if I could repack, but not today. So much potential loots. There's gotta be some good stuff here. There's gotta be some good stuff. The wallet. T45M. I already have too much. Welcome to Tarkov. <laughs> you can't just leave potential loot. The fuck is wrong with you? along the side here? Does this work? Oh, I'm totally gonna get stuck. I am absolutely gonna get stuck. That does not do that. Take loot. Yeah, well, you can't just stop taking loot. That'd be insane. You gotta pick and shit up. I should be fine. I can go over here. Then climb up and run. So I guess maybe it wasn't a player scare or it wasn't a PMC, it was somebody who just um just he maybe he killed a scab, or maybe he just has really low scab karma. Exit located. Okay, it's nothing. We got out. We got some stuff. We got some stuff. Not too shabby. We actually survived it. Killed two PMCs, three PMCs actually. Fuck man, lighthouse is going well so far. Lighthouse is going well. Look at that. I've mean, only done three raids in three hours, but that's fine. <laughs> Try and, uh, try and do more. To be fair, the first, like, 30 minutes was just me, like, talking about shit. Cool. Three PMCs. A little 44 bear, dude. I might honestly go in the fucking, uh... I might go in the Hall of Fame, man! I might go in the Hall of Fame.
44? That seems pretty high level. I can't remember what levels I have in there. I have like a level 50 something. Oh no, let's see. That was a use that I killed. I don't know. I'll check. That might, that might go in the Hall of Fame. I need to level up my Hall of Fame, but so much stuff to do. Obviously, playing Lighthouse right now with no goals doesn't actually like speed up my progression in any way. Uh, but I don't actually care. There's so many, so much stuff that I have to refamiliarize myself with, like map wise, that I like taking these days to like do it. And then once it's done, it's done. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think this map has actually changed at all, though. I think in the last two years they haven't actually changed anything. Just the Lightkeeper stuff, which um, I obviously you can't interact with until you do Lightkeeper stuff. So. It does mean that the map might not feel as much as packed with PMCs because occasionally they might go to Lightkeeper Island. I need to restart my game because it was stuttering really bad. All right, we got to sell the shields. Some of the stuff I am not going to sell. I want that. Isn't this just for the HK? That enhanced tube? Doesn't mine already have that? Yeah. That's pointless to keep them. Sell that. Um, what that? This can be sold. That can be sold. I don't think I'm ever gonna use um, annulox. Honestly, they're a sell for me. The downside doesn't seem worth it. Five seven can just be sold. Does it have good ammo at least? SS one hundred and ninety. Have some SS one hundred and ninety. The PS ammo. Get the BMG. Bog. Turn that in. Um, meds is kind of weak, but that's fine. Keep the cheese. Um, am I, is there any chance I finish that weekly, by the way? I got three days left. I would have to finish it in the next two days. I really want that dorm room 204 key, though. But I need ten car first aid kits. Nine more. I don't think there's any way I do that. I have to finish it, like, in the next, either today or tomorrow. Because I'm not going to be streaming on the 14th. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Genuinely. I don't think that's possible. I need nine first aid kits. I mean, if I loot, like, a fuck ton of medical bags, maybe. But, like... It's a bit extreme. I need. I'll wear an XL. Um, I need a grenade or two. Honestly, these like three second vogs, I really don't see that much of a difference with them. It's the two second vogs that really feel like a big difference. Did I come out of that with only one mag left? Damn. Kind of concerning. <laughs> Do I have my mags in here somewhere? I came out of it with one mag left. One gas. Oh, 
All right, all right, all right. Um, I mean, honestly, I should load up some more good ammo because we're rocking high gear and we're going to be running into high gear people. So I guess some MA55. Fuck it. There's times to use it and that time is now. Oh, wow, that durability burn, though. Look at that. My gun was down to fucking 94 just off one raid. Oof, goddamn. This thing kind of burns through ammo, man. <laughs> Maybe take a 60 stack. This thing kind of burns through ammo. Kind of fucking burns it, man. It's pretty extreme. I need 2,000. Take a water. And... Can I put that in my Hall of Fame? Let's see. I need to restart the game as well. Hey, today has gone super successful so far. Four, like, three raids survived in a row? Game of time went away taking a water. Well, I'm taking a water for my PMP, not for me. I wouldn't take a water. I'd take a Gatorade into my raids. <laughs> I probably wouldn't survive very long as a PMC. <laughs> One sprint and I'd collapse. I do have 44s already. I have a 49, 45, and a 44. Um, but... I can take out one of these and replace it with a 44. Have ever seen you sprint before? Yeah. Yeah, you have. All right, good to go. Oh, oh reset again. Uh, can I weight lift? It'll be pretty soon. I have to restart the game though, because it was dying on that last raid. I don't know why specifically. Kind of want to encounter the goons. I don't know which building is considered the chalet though. I assume it's the one that has the big USEC printed all over it. Supposedly, Big Pipe and uh, Knight are. Oh, I have the Knight's helmet actually. I have Knight's Helmet, I can show you guys. It's kind of wicked. Kind of wicked. You can wear contacts with it, too, so it's actually kind of fucking... But it is only Tier 1 armor, but it's Tier 1 over, all over your face. So, potentially good. I mean, people wear the Shattered Face Mask, and that's Tier 2 face protection. You know what I mean? Um. So, I mean, people probably would wear the Knight Helmet. And it leaves you bald, whereas the Knight Helmet doesn't leave you bald. So it's kind of nice. I can run pretty fast, actually. Like, surprisingly, I can run pretty fast, but I get winded very easily. Like, I have really bad lungs, and I don't exercise very much. So, when I... When I exercise, like... I'm like, I start like... <gasps> <laughs> My chest starts to hurt, too. I guess from breathing or exercising, I don't know. I'm not an exerciser. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> um, Where do I have the night helmet? Is it in here? Yeah, look at that. Death knight. It's pretty cool. wicked i wonder if it's actually made of skulls right. unique mask of the commander of the goon squad former usec operations who decided to not to flee tarkov to but create their own order pretty cool it's tier one protection all around actually it says head top and eyes so i guess it might not this actually might not count as protection it might just be this 
It might just be the skull. That might be why people don't wear it. It would make sense. Alright. Let's rock and roll. It would be a very short workout stream. It would. It would. <laughs> it would be very short. If we spawn near the water treatment, I kind of want to go to, like, behind it. And check out the goons are still on this map. Nope, back on shoreline now. I don't know if they change, like, super frequently, or if, like, people are just putting in bad reports. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I think they just change really, change really frequently. I think it's just random when they change. When they change, excuse me. I think it'd be pretty funny to, pretty fun to uh, hunt the goons actually, because it's like you get a variety of different maps and stuff. So I think it'd be very fun to do like some goon hunting days for sure. Probably will end up being a lot more successful than the cultist hunting days because those went pretty bad. It was 16 hours, man. 16 hours of hunting cultists, not a single one. Not even a sign that they were alive, like not even like a body. Be dedicated day to it, whatever it goes like the cultist hunting stream, yeah. That's always a chance, always a chance. The goons are 20% though, so if you know what map they're on, they're not too hard to encounter. They're about as hard as any other boss. So I mean, in a day, I would be able to encounter them multiple times, I think. I mean, you can still get unlucky, but... My mouse's, like, grip pad on the side is, like, coming off, which is really annoying. It's just old. Like, not as, uh, not as stuck. My mouse moves. Fights back. I mean, we're just chilling, honestly. Just trying to check out the map. I think I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. Um, today's stream will be about like 10 hours. And then tomorrow will probably be about the same thing. Uh, but then I'm not going to stream the two days after that. And then I'll probably come back and... Ooh, what's the plan? Maybe come back and do like a chill day of Tarkov and then do Eliza. Just like some assorted tasks or something. Might be a good idea. Sort of tasks and hideout upgrades, and then we'll do uh, Eliza the day after, and then do Punisher after that. Oh, I just spin the wheel though. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Okay, maybe I'm falling behind. I will have fallen behind this week. That's fine. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. We'll catch up. After. Okay, we're here. Let's go down to this house. Loot it up a little bit. Let's loot it up a little bit. Free loots. I'll figure it out. After the 14th and the 15th, it'll be back to uh, pretty long, consistent streams again, though. It's just, uh, this week's been a bit of a... Bit of a mess for me, and I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, but after that, we'll be back to some more consistent streams. Do not, do not worry. Do not fret. So it's okay if we fall a little bit behind. I'll, I'll catch up. With the wheel games and stuff. So I'm not gonna sweat it too much. I'm gonna try not to, uh, 
try not to stress out about it. Because at the end of the day, we're here to have a good time. But, I mean, I, I do need to stress a little bit. Because it's my job to... My job to run a good stream, right? But I'll try not to stress too much. I assume vodka can spawn in there. I know there's some crates upstairs. Oh, there's safes. There's safes up here. That require keys. Those uh, those can have like military spawns and shit. Nine nine three, goddamn. Where I heard too. I swear I heard two of them. Safe. Any bear. Dead as hell. I ain't going out there just yet. We chilling. Chilling. Loot in this place seems kind of meh, to be honest. Gunpowder. Take that because I can give you more ammo cases. Which save a lot of space. The player scav brigade will show up soon, though. We must prepare for reckoning. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Honestly, it might be fun to just play PMC. And just like hold down a house on this map until like the last fucking minutes of the fucking timer. Just like bring like an SMG, play PMC, and just like fucking hold down a house fighting off the hordes. You know what I mean? That could be a good time. Like bring like some shit gear, you know what I mean? Just like have a good time. That could be kind of fun. We might do that today. At least try to. In that situation, I don't really mind dying to the fucking player scabs, you know what I mean? Just having some fun with it. Like, when I'm trying to, like, actually play the game, it just gets a bit frustrating when there's player scab bullshit happening all the time. But, I mean, if I'm going in to specifically fight player scabs, then it can be some fun. Be a bit of fun.
How am I not overweight wearing Karun? It like kind of blows my mind. Hey, how heavy am I? 29. I guess I don't have much loot. But... Could be anywhere watching his buddy's body though. close. I got fucking shredded. <laughs> That's not good. that happen? I don't want to hear is some guy going Ugh, in my fucking ear. <laughs> Please fix PSG. Cool it looks. Holy shit. Big flare. I am super low on meds. If I get shot, I'm toast.
You think you went inside the house? I think probably, right? There's an open door right on that side where he was. I think he probably went in. Just lay down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Was he just accepting death there? Or like, I mean, I, I don't understand. <laughs> just going to lay here. <laughs> you expected me to push him, I guess? I mean, I guess a lot of people would push there. But I'm not a lot of people, I guess. I play in a bit of a strange way. I think the way I play makes sense, though, if you're a... ...person who plays games like this or Daisy. It's kind of committing to the long-range fight. It's funny, actually, because I watched a stream recently. And they were really having trouble with the, um, the test drive quest. And I, I was watching them, and they were really struggling with it. Um, and it's you have to kill PMCs from more than 60 meters with an M1A with a specific scope and a specific silencer. It used to be that you had to kill PMCs, it was any range, but you had to use a thermal. Um... I think they might have increased that. That might be test drive part two now. And um, you only have to do part one for the Kappa, apparently. But let me clear this area first before I talk more. He could have a teammate inside. It feels pretty good up close. This shape feels pretty good up close. But far away, not so much. And he was bleeding out. He barely moved. Was he just accepting his fate? Player scabs are coming, man! The player scabs are coming! Get me the fuck out of here! <laughs> I'm fucking out! Um, so anyways, they were struggling with the quest. They were struggling with the quest pretty bad. And it's funny because I was like, ah, this doesn't seem that bad, you know what I mean? But at some point, they said something. Um, well, one, they don't play woods. And that quest is fucking easy on woods. I mean, like, 
That's just a weapon you would bring to woods, and that's just a range that you kill everybody at on woods. Um, but they said something at some point where like, they were like, oh, if I get into an engagement and it's far away, the first thing I'm trying to do is trying to close the distance, you know what I mean? And it's funny because that's just not how I play, you know what I mean? Like, I, if, if somebody shoots at me up close, the first thing I try and do is try and get distance, you know what I mean? Like, which is funny, but it's just like, there's so many different ways to play Tarkov that it, it's pretty cool, though. Because it means everybody's got their own little play style, right? Got some meds. I don't know if he looted that guy I killed, but I think at this point, we're, uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. Because I don't think we can get that loot now. I'm going to try and get across the road, I think. And I am shredded. I have 316 max health. I'm going to try and run across the road. But it was just an interesting thing because I mean like I realized that that's how I play but like it was just funny to hear it out loud and kind of have more of a realization like man you know like I really try and avoid those close range fights whereas you know other people really try and close the distance you know what I mean well I mean I already did know that but I have like no meds. <laughs> I've got heavy bleed stoppers. I've got cats and Esmarks. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> what up, some mags? I've used all my good ammo too. It's okay though. We should probably leave. Honestly. We have a long way to go to get out of here, though. I don't think I can actually put the, uh... I can. Put a BP. God damn. Ugly ass sight, but does the job, I guess. Let's loot some stuff on our way uh, to Southern Road. Let's hit up some houses and shit. That might be goons, actually. I'm pretty sure that is one of the goon guns. I can't remember which one. It might be the spear. I'm getting a little bit more. I think the goons can spawn inside the water treatment. Actually, no. People don't really care about key spawns anymore. It's kind of sad. Key spawns used to be a big deal. But with the flea market, nobody gives a shit. It's just, oh, make money and then just buy the keys off people. Selling them. And the people that sell them get them off of scavs and stuff. 
to like key spawn locations, which I think are a really cool mechanic because they create little hot spots that you want to check on your way through areas. Or basically like people just don't give a shit about them anymore. Or like even know them. Because they don't feel like there's a reason to know them, which is really sad. With no flea market, I still need to visit them pretty often. If they're like quest keys. But I need them. That's like little spots you can check. I think the game is so much better without the flea market. I understand why it exists though, because it means the people who can't play very much can still progress. I feel like if they just like built the game around not having the flea market, the flea market isn't needed though, if that makes sense. Like I don't feel like it was that bad in the past. It's just now the game is like, the flea market is like built into the game. It's built into the progression, you know what I mean? So, it's like feels pretty rough without it, and like you need a lot of time to play without it. But if they just built the game around not using the flea market, I don't think it'd be that bad. And I don't think it'd be that needed for people to use it. I think the game would be a lot better off for it, so. But, that is my opinion. I don't know if I'm right about that. But it's my opinion. I think I'm right about the fact that players' gaps are a problem and need to be changed, though. I think that's just objective. We're just gonna go around the outside of the map. Ooh. Man, the fact you can get out there is actually so cool. Can I see Zarachi from here? Is that how you pronounce his name, Zarachi? Put it into Google Translate. I don't think we have anybody who speaks Russian in chat, sadly. It'd be cool to hear how it's pronounced. Gabby, Gabby does not speak Russian. <laughs> That's so cool. Actually being able to see, like, the island. And like that building, you can go in there too. That's so sick. Need to finish all the quests to be able to get out there though. There's a dome. Oh man, I want to go out there so bad. I have no idea what's out on that island. I've never been out there. I've never even seen videos. Of course, I've never been out there. I haven't played the game in two years, but I haven't even seen videos of what it's like out there. Yeah, but she's our translator. I'm sure if you can translate a language you don't speak. <laughs> Man. It'd be so cool to have a streamer item. Not that I would ever get one. I'm not cool enough for that, but... Man, like, just having something in a video game... That is, like, a reference to you or something that you created or something... That's so cool, man. That's so cool. It's like you're being immortalized, you know what I mean? I feel like that's such like a huge honor. <laughs> I 
Yo, you know what? I want to ask uh, Lackey next time he's in here. He used to not be able to run this map. Whenever he would load in, the game would, like, freeze. <laughs> I think he upgraded his PC since then, though. He used to load in his map and, like, get stuck. <laughs> so we couldn't play it when we were playing with him. <laughs> Which is funny, because I think his PC is better than mine. He would, like, load in, like, ten minutes late to everybody else. Classic lackey L. Wow, that's toxic. He wouldn't mind, though. Knowing him, he wouldn't mind. <laughs> really much loot out here. There is a bit of food if you need it, though. One little treasure spawn. Nothing good this time, but you never know. There's another staircase, isn't there? Yeah, here we go. Oh no. I swear there's another way up. I guess not. Yeah, this is it. Normally there used to be a Christmas tree out here. What the fuck? Bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is a problem. Who said it before me? <sighs> Look at how much damage I take. Holy <sighs> fuck. Because I don't have very much leg health. We gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we gotta go. I thought that was a snowman. <laughs> I thought it was a little snowman. Evidently not a snowman. Probably just walk a lot of this way, to be honest. Still 80 seconds can get me to the extract. We are struggling. Can't believe that broke my legs, Bran. Like, how does that break my legs? I guess it's because I'm overweight. 80 seconds is not going to get me far enough, that's the thing. Jumping off a roof. I didn't. It was barely a roof, man. It was barely a roof. Like, it was like an awning. Like, the building was sunken into the ground. How much do I weigh? 43? I guess that's kind of heavy. I didn't land like belly first. I landed on my fucking legs. And so they just cracked <laughs> under the weight. Kind of horrific. <laughs> Would 80 seconds get me all the way down there? <laughs> I don't think so. Especially since I had to stop to heal. 
I can't just run the entire way. I'm just gonna keep walking. Well, limping. More like we're not really walking, let's be honest. This isn't really a walk that we're doing right now. More of a more of a casual limp. <laughs> HK has done me good though. I'm actually finding PMCs as well. When I used to play this map two years ago, rarely ever found PMCs on this map. It was all players' gaps. So I'm actually enjoying it. And we're actually able to have like some some like longer raids. I'm having fun so far. More than I thought I would. I thought this was gonna be kind of a shit show. Can you extract down here? I think you can. Or do you have to climb up? Yeah, you can extract. This is the way to do it. Where you're not exposed to the up top. Oh, we made it out. Honestly, that Vepper Hunter guy fucked me up. He dro I mean, he took 100 health off my max health. I need to stop using a CMS kit, but I really need to do Punisher to do that so I can get my Epsilon. Um, I will do Punisher at some point, though. Just this week's, uh, I got stuff to do. Valentine's Day. Evidently. Evidently. I don't know if he looted this guy. He had the AK on him, so I assume so. I assume so. I don't think that guy had a teammate either. I thought he did, but I don't think he did. Help me with that BCP FMJ. Fucks me up. Fucks me up good. Pop my legs and my stomach and I was double bleeding, double heavy bleed and single light bleed. Like, I mean, I was, all he had to do was just hold W at me and I was fucked. Like legitimately, even if I kill him, I think I bleed out. He would have had to land one shot on me and I would have died. He really should have held W at that point, but he might not have known how fucked up I was. Like he might not have known how many shots he landed. He might not have known, you know, he might've thought, oh, he's got big, big armor. You know what I mean? Like I hit him in the chest. He's going to be fine. You don't know. And I mean, if I was fine and he pushes me, he absolutely loses. I mean, he's got a Vepper Hunter. That's probably why he didn't push, actually, is because he had a Vepper Hunter. He probably uh, did not feel super confident in that situation, which is probably fair. Vepper Hunter in that situation is probably not the play in the world. Okay. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit the fuck out of here. Okay, medwise, we are struggling. What do we got in here? So many IFACs. I'm just gonna fucking take them all, dude. Fuck it. Hey, how much meds is this? 250, 350? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. I used a full CMS kit. Oof. I would have gotten a lot of med XP there, though. <laughs> How many meds I have? Old meds. Didn't really get anything too great out of that raid. But we survived. W. The W. What do I have? Ooh, I used all of my good ammo. Shit. Okay. What do I have? I have no M95 SSAP. I have some 856A1. I guess we'll use that. Use that up. I have a decent chunk of that stuff. Use that up. loaded 15 bullets in the same mag. Oops.
Cool. Good to go there. I do need some fresh ammo. That's yeah, fine. Honestly, take a six stack. I can buy this stuff. It's not a big deal. Vepper Hunter. Can I buy Vepper Hunters? <laughs> what I meant to do, but that's fine. I don't think I can, right? It's a fresh Vepper Hunter. I kind of want to keep it. Can I buy the stock? Is there any way for me to make it smaller? <laughs> no. Right, I'm gonna hover on the ground then. I don't have the space for that. Uh, AKM can probably just be bent. I have a nice AKM though. I would use it on the next run if I save it. I just don't have any space. I just don't have any fucking space. Got a lot of my tri-zips back from the cultist hunting, which is nice. This thing does burn through the durability, man. It does burn through the motherfucking durability. What is expiring? Is it an armor? They sell for so cheap. Just like such a ripoff. 35k? Man, that's fucking cheap as shit. Go 17. Does 17 get dark? I don't know if it does or not. I like the Corund with the Bastion, it's a good look. The double black. We're looking pretty sick. This HK isn't too bad, actually. It's not very good at long ranges, though. That's the thing. It shoots too fast. Maybe I should switch it to single. I actually think switching it to single is actually a good idea in this game. Usually, I'd say in most games, you don't need to. But... Like, some of the guns just shoot too fast. That when you're shooting at a distance, like M4s... M4s, I can definitely feel it. And sometimes AKs too. Like, it just feels like you're shooting and then sometimes it shoots two bullets and it just like goes boom, boom and then your your aim is just all off, you know what I mean? I feel like with single, when I know it's on single, I can just go pop, 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 pop. And it works really well. But when it's on full auto, I feel like it just feels awkward. So I really, I feel like at longer ranges, I'm gonna try with assault rifles to switch it to semi a little bit more often. I feel like it really does help. I feel like it really does help. I should put on some glasses. Like some condors or something. If I remember next raid, I'll do it. We're getting a lot of care packages, by the way. I guess red flares. That's probably why. That's probably why I don't see as many care packages. Is because all the scavs are on streets. Or... it only ma The glasses only matter if I survive, so it's not a big deal. Um... I just have so many pairs of glasses, I should use them when I do higher gear runs. Um, because all the player scavs are on streets and lighthouse and like reserve. That's where they're using all their red flares, you know what I mean? Because a lot of the time, those scavs aren't going to like want to bring those into a PMC raid. They're going to want to just use them right as they get them, you know what I mean? Because they're like, okay, you know, I'm already in a raid. Chances are this raid has already gone on long enough. Whereas if I take it onto a PMC, I'm going to have to camp for a while and then call the flare in, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So it actually makes sense that they would just call it in immediately. Well, I can maybe try and see how you pronounce that guy's name. Mr. Lightkeeper. Let's see. 
empty wiki lightkeeper. Uh, the lightkeeper is the traitor, but um, Zarachi is the sniper on the island. Let's see how you pronounce it. Uh, it translates to sighted, as in, like, I guess, like, spotted. You know what I mean? Able to see. Okay. So it's like, I guess it's like all seeing, kind of. That's, like, kind of what it means. Oh, I have, uh. Shit. <laughs> shit, we're gonna load in. Fuck. Okay, I'll, I'll check it next time. Actually, wait. Uh, I can give it to you, Fluffkins. Well, it's better if we can all hear it, actually. So never mind. I won't, I won't do that. I'll do it before the next raid. You remind me. Where the fuck am I? Should we go water treatment? Let's do it. Let's go water treatment. Let's go water treatment. I'm 26 kilograms. Kind of wild. I have my brightness all the way up now, by the way. And it really doesn't look that bright. Like right now, I'm in like the full blast of the sun, you know, next to a beach. And it really doesn't feel that bright. Like right now, it feels a bit bright because of the rock. But like throughout the raids today, it hasn't felt that bright. I think it's just the snow just makes it really too bright. But I think I'm going to keep my brightness on 100 from now on. Because my monitor is just too dark without it. So it makes like interchange and dark rooms and shit like unplayable, honestly. Dude, I saw some shit on the fucking forums. There's some really dumb shit you can apply to your screen now to make you basically have night vision. Unfortunate. I did think there might be a spawn above me. You basically have, like, night vision in dark areas. And everybody in the fucking comments is like, Oh, you can't blame anybody for using this shit because BSG should just make you able to see. Like, it's BSG's fault. It's like, oh my god, I want to be able to see in the video game. It's like, motherfucker. You're complaining about not being able to see in a dark area. Like, uh, are you fucking stupid? Like, it actually baffles me. It's like, oh, I can't see anybody in this dark room. It's like, yeah, that's the fucking point, dipshit. Like... It's supposed to be dark. It like there's no light in the room. Like it it actually baffles me how stupid some motherfuckers are. Like it it actually blows my mind. It's like they're they're not complaining about outside. Not a single one of them was complaining about outside. They were complaining about interchange and fucking like dark rooms and stuff on certain maps. It's like motherfucker. That's the point. Like, I don't understand. It actually baffles me. It's like they just want, like, perfect vision everywhere they go. It's like... It... Is this the rogues? Is this the goon squad? I should be able to see everyone at all times. Yeah, it's like, it's definitely my hands are sweaty. I don't know. That felt like the goon squad, but they didn't say any voice lines when I threw my nades. 
I didn't throw one towards the guy who was shooting at me, to be fair. It could have been a player and the goon squad. That felt like goons, man. The way he was just, like, lighting me up like that. Tracer rounds, just spraying the side of the mountain. Like, that felt goon squad. But... Would they really have come from, like, the chalet down to here? I mean, I shot, so maybe they spotted me? And they, like, came to push me? But, like... I don't know, it feels weird. I doubt their AI really lets them climb up the mountain super efficiently. So if it is the goons. Okay, well there's definitely still something going on. listening I would have had him. That timing was terrible. My fault, though. Almost fucked that up. Did he say I want to die or I'm gonna die? <laughs> it sounded like he said I want to die. <laughs>
Not the goon squad, though. Just a guy with tracer rounds who decided to unload a full mag on me. <laughs> and shot, like, all around my face. Garbage. Okay. I almost whiffed that fucking kill though. That was almost bad. He hit me too. Hands are sweaty today. I blame the sweaty hands. Legs. I killed another guy here. The M3 Super 90. God, it sounds so hardcore. The M3 Super 90. God, they need to get meant to that. Some Magnum and some 50. What the fuck? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Let's take a step back real quick. <laughs> I didn't notice this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> 13 round back. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this for a second. <laughs> I've got a jousting stick. <laughs> what the fuck? A fucking 13 round mag. <laughs> okay. Zero tremor kills. Guess he's trying for his tremor kills. water treatment. I have a uh, northern checkpoint, which I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We can go water treatment and leave over there then. This uh, banshee sucks. Terrible armor. Still four plates, but terrible armor. I'll probably just sell it when I get back to my stash. I would take it to factory, but. In lighthouse. So if I don't plan to use it today, I'm just gonna sell it. What I'm gonna do real quick is um switch this into somebody is pretty close to me. Six rounders. Fuck yeah, I'll take a six rounder. Cool, cool, cool. We'll actually go, we'll go train yard. Not water treatment. We'll go train yard. I'm not gonna fight the rogues this raid. Ooh, somebody opened up Merlin key. Or Marin key, sorry. Not Merlin. I always think it's called Merlin, but it's not. No point in checking it, because I would have grabbed anything good. Dark Souls reference? We'll say it is. I think it might be. Hard to tell.
It shouldn't shoot me. Let me use sec. Should be able to cross the water. Also, one thing about me and my KD is that I don't try to kill people, like try and kill entities as much as possible. The only thing I actually care about killing is PMCs. Like everything else, I honestly couldn't give a fuck about. Like, if I see a scab walking, I usually leave it alive because it provides info. Killing it usually feels like a detriment to myself rather than like a benefit. So it's like, that's another thing about the stats is that you can't really compare them to other people because you don't know what kind of play style that person has. Like, I mean, I specifically don't kill scavs a lot of the time. Because if you compare me with somebody who kills scavs, they'll look like a much better player, even if they're not. I'm not saying that I'm a great player or anything. But I'm just using myself as an example because you can see my play style. You know what I mean? So you guys know what my, like, play style looks like. So you can know that I'm telling the truth, if that makes sense. And my point can be kind of half proven. We're just gonna avoid the rogues. We'll go to the train yard. The train yard has some decent loot from what I remember. If you're a bear, it's literally almost impossible to go back there to loot. It's kind of stupid. He's fighting the rogues. I don't want to fight the rogues just yet. I want to give it uh, a little bit of chill, chill time. So that's an AUG, I'm pretty sure. That noise is an AUG. And you know how I always said, like, oh, I don't know what that gun is? It always sounds like it's supposed to go full auto, but nobody ever does. I think it's an AUG. I'm pretty sure that's what the AUG sounds like. From a distance. I kind of, like, sussed it out the other day. I was like, AUG kind of sounds like that when it's not suppressed. And it would make sense because people are tapping with the AUG to, like, headshot scabs and stuff. Like, with an SMG, honestly, a lot of the time you just full auto anyways on scabs. Because you're not shooting very expensive ammo or anything. But with an AUG, it makes sense. This is the um, Scav Grotto extract. Hide out at the grotto or whatever the fuck. It's like around here. Honestly, I feel like I remember this map pretty well. The only thing I don't know about is the, the Lightkeeper Island. But obviously, I can't get over there. So it doesn't matter. And the majority, vast, vast majority of the player base can't either. I think the achievement is 0 0.2%. Like, and... People are saying that a good chunk of those are hackers as well, which, well, cheaters, I should say, uh, which I think is true because, I mean, I've seen some, like, there's some stats which are blatantly cheaters, you know what I mean? It's, like, not even a question, um, and they have Lightkeeper achievements, so I think a good chunk of those 0.2% uh, are probably cheating as well, so I wonder how many of them actually have it legit. I mean, it's probably somewhere in the low thousands, I would assume. Like, the amount of people that have reached Lightkeeper at this point. I mean, it's been like a month and a half, two months almost, but... Actually, no, two months would be the end of February, so yeah, it's not even close to two months. I've got like 20 more days. Um, but... The quests are quite hard. Like, there's a lot of quests you gotta do. It's quite a long progression. And you have to be quite high level as well. I don't even know all the requirements, but I know some of the quests that are required, and they require a lot of other quests, which are quite annoying, difficult, and then they also requires a very high level, so it's just a lot of commitment. And uh, not very many people will be at that point yet. I don't even know if, like, the super hardcore streamers are really, like, all the way there yet. I know they have Kappa, but we got Kappa a while ago. I'm not sure about um, Lightkeeper. So I can extract right over there. But I kind of want to check out the uh, train yard. You're allowed to go into the train yard. 
as you say. It's just that big chunk of water treatment that's not accessible. As long as you don't go inside their walls, they don't care. It's funny, this map is like so big and yet so empty. Like, there's stuff. It's just like... The chance of people accessing it is so low that you rarely see people anywhere except like... The houses. Like, you rarely see people go back here. And I mean, that's because... You know, as many people are bears, they can't go out here. Like, this place must be so deserted on the Russian servers. Like, holy fuck. Like, you probably never see someone out here that isn't a scav on the Russian servers. Because on the Russian servers, the majority of people are bears. Like, genuinely. Like, it, it's kind of funny. Because people, like, people post, like, stats on it and stuff. And the majority are bears. Which is funny, because on the American servers, the majority are sex so it's pretty cool that's kind of fun no it is it is I mean bears have better outfits like hands down bears have better outfits and I think their voice lines sound better as well it's just I don't know what they're saying that's the problem like I like the bear voice lines, but I just don't know what they're saying. So, I, like, there's a bit of a disconnect, you know what I mean? The train's here. Can that train bring raiders? Um, I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> I don't know if that train can bring raiders or not. I know the one in reserve can. They about to fucking pile out? That seems fine. I need a sewing kit for a daily. Be a good place to find it. I guess the loop back here isn't amazing or anything, but nobody usually comes out here, so you get it all to yourself, at the very least. I have to fight a player scab or two occasionally, though. That's a lot of WD-40. I could take the train, but I don't need to. I have an extract past the train. I'll leave whenever I want. Kind of like really OP to have that northern uh, checkpoint extract. But it does mean you spawn further away from the water treatment. So that's that was something. What the fuck was that? It was some kind of AI. What AI was it? It couldn't have been a rogue. Rogues, I mean, rogues do I, rogues aggro at that point? Let's see. Valiok, it could have been a raider? Is there raiders? Got thorax shot. It wasn't a player, it was an AI. That's not a rogue. So is there... Let me look up the name Tarkov.
It says that it's the name of some of Glucar's goons. Can Glucar spawn on that map? The fuck? Glucar's follower names can be. Uh, no, it's not on there. Yeah, I don't think you can spawn on this map. I think it was just a raider, potentially. Yeah, location reserved. I think it was just... Let me check. So can you get raidered on that map? It doesn't even say that there's raiders. What the fuck just killed me, then? It had to have been a raider. Like, that was, that was raider AI right there. 7.6239 SP. I mean, I got fucking melted. Couldn't have been a rogue, because... I think it was just... I mean, supposedly rogues, they can spawn with AKMs. Oh, that AKM that I looted off that guy was a rogue AKM. Makes sense. Or, well, very similar to a rogue AKM. Yeah, rogues have, like, American names, and they're, like, one word. Like, stuff like Ribeye, Rambo, Rage, Raccoon, Quebec, One-Eye, Ocean, Noisy, Nine-Hole, Nevada, Mortal, Mike, Michigan. Like, stuff like that. I, I guess it was a raider. But the wiki doesn't say that you can actually get raiders on that map. But evidently, I guess you can. Um, I mean, I was a little bit worried about it, but I wasn't too worried because they didn't show up on the train. But I do know that sometimes they don't actually show up on the train. They just spawn somewhere nearby when the train rolls in. Um, so I think it was a rogue. That's that's kind of what I gathered from that. It wasn't a player. It, it couldn't have been a player because it shows player names when a scab kills you now. So it was definitely some kind of AI. I don't think that's a normal scav. That he gunned me around way too fast. Um, raiders can now be scavs. They can like speak like scav scav voice lines and be um, scavs, but um, raider or rogues cannot. I'm pretty sure rogues are just usex. Um, but so I guess it was a raider. I guess it was a raider. Interesting. Interesting. Bit of a rough one, bit of a rough one, but that's okay. I just didn't know. Didn't know that uh, there would be raiders there. I wasn't, like, I was a little bit aware, but, like, obviously not super aware. Um, I was just chilling, kind of. Um, but you learn. You learn something new. That is what we're trying to do today. Trying to learn the map a little bit more. Trying to get used to it again. So... That's a really weird visual <laughs> like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, we learned something. Can't complain. Learn something new, can't complain. I do have a spear, which I got from uh, the goons. The goon squad. Oh, the goons. The goons. Um, as they are formerly known. They do have a really weird backpack. Wait, I want to see the backpack. I didn't take it because it's fucking shit. But it's a really weird backpack. This thing. Mystery Ranch Nice Calm 3 BVS Frame System Coyote. So it's got a little, like, radio antenna. Um, and it's used by... Used by Bird Eye. It's a cool little backpack. But the slots in it are not, not great. They are not great. Um... It's got 14 slots. And if you open it up... <laughs> so what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Um, I didn't even check how much space it takes up in your backpack, though. Oh, maybe it was actually a good thing to take. I'm not sure. Can I get the banana mags? I think I can get the banana mags, right? I can't buy the banana mags? What the fuck? Wait, do they remove the banana mags from the traders? 
Or I guess maybe I have to loot them. Those are minus seven, man. Oof, that's gross. All right, let's make ourselves a little AK here. Let's make ourselves a little AK, a little AK loadout. Kinda do want to do. Yeah, let's do. Let's do something like loud ergonomics. I mean, we've got 58 ergo. We can definitely go for some 60, 60, 40 rounders. I want some motherfucking 40 rounders. I want them. 7% or 7 and okay. We'll buy these because they're cheaper. <laughs> Look at those bad boys. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll do some T45M. We're gonna go loud because I don't give a flying fuck. We're gonna go loud. Uh, let's do a striker helmet. It's pretty good. Let's do that. Honestly, we're not running into that many player scabs. I expected way more, but to be fair, I'm staying away from the, um, the water treatment, which is where most of the player scabs are going to be hanging out. So I guess I got rogues there. Interesting. Very interesting. I just got gunned down by a rogue. I didn't know, man. Fuck, I wish I had known. I wanted to uh, fight them a little bit. Let's get a, um, I really want like a takedown. Takedown, okay, I've actually realized the takedown is legitimately such a good backpack because it can hold two things like this. The only other thing that can hold two things like this is like once you get up to like tri-zip territory. And this by itself gives you so much space. This is 20 slots here. This is 20 slots here. If you get two rigs like this, say you get some armor as well. There's no other rig that can hold two big items like this. Other than a tricep. Because it's the only it's the only other backpack that's like six plus slots long. Like up and down. Um So the try the takedown is like legitimately fills such a role as like an early backpack like i'm actually gonna start running takedowns more they're like legitimately very good like legitimately and you can stick them inside like a pilgrim too and they save space they save three slots they have 24 spaces by themselves and they're actually quite cheap um the tan one i also don't think really gets you spotted i've never really noticed somebody specifically because of their takedown Unless you're like a bush camper, I, I don't think you're ever gonna fucking get spotted just because you have a tan takedown. Um, tan U locks, 100% I've spotted people because of tan U locks, but I've never spotted somebody because of a tan takedown. Like, it, it's pretty unlikely, I feel like. But 30,000 bucks for this takedown, 24 slots, and then you can put in two of these, which both give you eight extra slots. That becomes a 40 slot backpack. Like, if you have, if you find these things, that becomes a 40 slot backpack. I mean, a tri-zip is, a second, a tri-zip is 30 slots. So, I mean, it, it's, it's actually so fucking good. Like, legitimately, the takedown is really good. And it doesn't have, like, a super big profile either. It is quite noticeable when you're wearing one. Like, when I see somebody with a takedown, I'm like, oh, they have a takedown. You know what I mean? Like, it looks very specific. But it, it's really not that noticeable. This backpack is legitimately very good. Like, very, very good. I didn't realize how good it was until now. Um, or until recently. I was like, I used one. And I thought about it. And I was like, man, this is actually really efficient. Like, this just really does work. My favorite backpack. Yeah, I've never really never really been that big of a fan of it. But honestly, I'm, I'm definitely planning to use it more now. Like, if I want, like, a um, long gun, it's true, yeah. This is true. There's a lot of, a lot of good elements to it. Legitimately very good. Uh, I want to get a Bastion. Can I buy like a PDC or anything now? Um, I like how it says this is vital, but it's really not actually. Um, those are 1.5. 
That's one B33, but B33 still requires a B10, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So Bastion's still the still the goat. Um, I want. What I also realized is that this scope is very cheap. We wanted like a cheap scope. This thing is so cheap. The Elcan, 279 bucks for an Elcan. That shit's legit, man. Like that thing doesn't fuck around for 279 bucks. That lady's out of stock, so we're gonna go hammer instead, but. Oh. Good to go. I need some food. Uh, I can just drink the hot rod. Take this and eat a cracker. I really, um... I really like the take, honestly. I know how good it is. Like, I don't know. I didn't really pay it much mind before, but genuinely, pretty good backpack. Oh, let's, um, while I load in here, let's see how we pronounce that name. I'm real curious. I want to say it's like Zarachi. That's probably wrong. Let's see. Zrechi. 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 You have to roll that. You have to roll that R so much. Zrechi. 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 Right. Got that rolling R. It really does. Yeah. It really does. Zrechi. The sniper boss. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. On the island. You have to do so many tasks to get out there. I would love to get out there. I'm not sure. I'm really feeling like this wipe. Like, it is very fun. It is very fun. And I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I'm curious if it will get stale at some point. Because Tarkov usually does. But until that point, I'm going to keep playing. I would love to get Kappa without using the flea market. I feel like that would be really fun. The thing is that I'm just progressing really slow. Um, because I'm choosing to and a lot of other factors as well like i play a different game every like there's so many factors of why i'm progressing slowly um main reason being that i just don't care but i mean like i played ground zero only i don't do all my tasks like immediately like i do them when i feel like it i play a different game every saturday and i um i'm gonna have like probably like a week where i haven't played um so, I mean, that's out of the last six weeks, I've only actually played five of them. You know what I mean? So, it's like, it kind of makes sense why I'm as far behind. I'm not using the flea market. I'm not using scav, all that good stuff, right? So, um, it's a question of will I get, like, far enough for that stuff before the wipe becomes stale is really the question. Um, I'm not sweating it, but I would, I would like to. You know, I mean, it'll make me sad if the wipe does get a little stale, but, I mean, it's inevitable, right? Um... If I do play the next wipe, the thing is that I don't like to play wipes of Tarkov if they don't add anything new. That's kind of the, that's kind of the annoying thing. Um, and they usually do one big wipe with like a lot of content, and they do like the next wipe is like no content. So, um, so if it does wipe again, because I'm doing these things that I wouldn't have to do if I played the game all the time, like, um like relearning stuff or like learning new maps and stuff like that like i wouldn't be spending time doing this stuff if i just like played the next wipe as well like the next wipe i would just you know just have the normal progression to go through not like relearning stuff um but i don't really think i want to play the next wipe because it's just going to be same shit um i mean maybe not maybe they'll increase like add some new stuff but i doubt it they usually never do especially with how big this one was i mean there was like actually there wasn't very many new guns to be fair um, there was only the spear, right? I don't think they added anything else new. Um, they have sped up their content for sure, though. They really have. What was it? Zarachi? No. Zarachi. Zarachi? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember now. 
Zrechi. Might have been Zrechi. It was different than I thought it would sound. Zrachi. Something like that. I know I'm not saying like Gluhar correctly or anything like that. Those, those are like the Americanized versions of their names. Like Gluhar, Sanitar. I mean, maybe Sanitar is correct. Or Shala. Like, I'm pretty sure these are like Americanized versions of their names. But as long as I'm getting like the main point across, that's fine. You know what I mean? I don't want to call them something like horribly wrong. But as long as I'm calling them something like mostly correct, so that's good enough with me. Because... <laughs> I know it's a crazy, crazy revelation, but I don't speak Russian, so I don't know how to pronounce these things correctly. So, I'm doing the best I can. I'd like to go back to that train yard if we can. Makes me kind of sad to die there, but um, I just didn't know, didn't know rogues could spawn there. I will be more ready next time. I assume it's just when the train shows up. So next time when the train shows up, I'll be be prepared. I mean, that's what we're here doing, right? We're here learning the map a little bit more, learning stuff about it. I might want to do an offline raid where I test out the mines in the top right uh, mountains because I don't know what those mines are like. We can go back to the train yard. I'm down. Let's do it. Can somebody spawn in front of me? Hmm, guess I think they can. Evidently, yes. I kind of thought about the next update kind of testing myself and using the flea market and seeing how fast I can, you know, progress and shit. But, um, I remember the last time I streamed and did that, I got bored very quickly. It was like the first week of wipe and I just stopped playing. I was like, yeah, I'm not interested. Um, but the next time it wipes, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see how into Tarkov I am at the time. Obviously, I don't need to think that far ahead, but I really shouldn't think that far ahead. It just depresses me, <laughs> but um, I don't know. It's just the way my brain works. I just like to plan and also like to keep you guys informed. I don't often stick to my plans, to be fair, but I like to make plans. <laughs> My footsteps sound so quiet now without the fucking snow. Like, I feel like the game's broken with how quiet my footsteps sound. I wonder if they just reduced footstep noises, like, all across the board. And it wasn't anything to do with snow in specific. And now they have to turn it back up again. That act actually might have been the case. my footsteps sound so quiet now. Like, they sound so much quieter than they should be. Like, compared to normal Tarkov. Next time I die, if you could remind me, Fluffkins, I want to test the mines. This map. Test mines. I really should do it on woods as well.
I know there's mines here. Not go up on the beach. With the duck and weave, duck and weave, duck and weave. Not actually angry at me, is it? Oh. Ow, there's a fucking scab. Underneath him shooting me. Fucker. Is that me? I don't know. If Somebody else is fighting. Oh, Are they mad at me? Bro, I can't fucking tell. No, it can't be at me. Oh, he's shooting at the scab. Gotcha. Okay. The raider's shooting at the scab. That's what's happening. It's just a regular scab, but the raider's fucking lighting him up. He can't get him because he's on the tower. It took me a while to figure out what the fuck was happening there because it was a bit weird. Server, come on. You can do it. You can do it, server. Somebody vacuuming? Might be vacuuming. Because during this, they can walk around, right? You can't see it in the console anymore that they removed it. What button is my console? I don't know. I can't remember. I unbound it. Okay, we're good. So, might have gotten vacuumed? I don't really care, though, to be honest. I'm gonna go to the train yard. So yeah, that rogue was definitely not angry at me. It was uh, the scab that shot at me. And it did sound like a pistol, but I was like, okay, maybe it's a gun I don't recognize, and it kind of sounds like a pistol, and maybe I'm getting lit up by rogues. But then he tried to shoot at the scab and hit the rocks near me, so it kind of felt like he was shooting me through the wall, kind of rogue style, so. That was just a confusing situation, honestly. I was wondering if maybe they expanded it so you're not able to get to the train yard safely and it was a rogue the last raid that killed me as well, but no, I think we're all good. I think all of my info is correct. That situation was just kind of weird and wacky. This is a good rock to take out the rogues from, actually, if you can get here safely. They're usually on your, like, first USEC run. Or, yeah, first USEC run, you can do it from here. Been a bad idea. Although they've changed them now, so how you actually fight them is pretty different from what I know. This is usually a pretty good spot. Take out the ones on that roof if you need to. Cars down there. Do I have northern checkpoint? Shooting to MG.
I remember this is where I hit level 51 um, metabolism a few years ago when I played that wipe. I hit it out here by those cars. I remember actually. It's kind of funny. It would have been like a couple weeks into the wipe. Around the same time I hit 51 metabolism on this wipe. I did it in kind of the same way. Just eat everything you find. The door is open, which feels a tad suspicious. Might still be trying to kill this cab. <laughs> My frames are so bad. That's fine. I don't think there will be any raiders out here until the train shows up. Which won't be for a while. Because we, uh... How goes it? What's up, Mr. Chef? How you doing? Oh. Goes pretty well. Pretty well so far. I'm pretty sure it was just raiders from the train last time, to be honest. It goes pretty well, though. Hopefully it's going well for you. Hopefully... Doing good here, too? Hell yeah, man. Good to hear. Good to hear. I don't think they care if you shoot a scab. It's if you shoot any of them. They get angry. Rightfully so. <laughs> be pretty angry if somebody shot my comrades. Decently. The train will come in eventually. I could stay until the train shows up. I don't think I will, though. But there is potential for rogues, apparently, as we learned last time. I haven't really explored this place, like, fully. Never really came back here when I played this map. I knew you could, I just never really did it. Are these for the Taws? They are, right? Yeah. Another 20 gauge. Yeah, 20 gauge. Not 12 gauge. 
for the toss. I mean, I guess I'll keep it. That was okay. I just remember being overrun by cheaters. Um, seems fine to me. Um, I haven't run into any cheaters. To be fair, though, I feel like everybody thinks every map is overrun by cheaters. And, uh, I don't really run into any, so. I don't know. I don't know. This raid might have gotten vacuumed, though, to be fair, but... I mean... Not really an easy way to actually tell if that's true or not. Hey, I needed that. I can finish my daily now. It's kind of nice. The raids have been pretty good so far, though. The raids have been pretty good. I died last raid, but I learned something, so I don't really mind. This raid has... Uh, this map has so much empty space. Like, it really is wild to me how much empty space this map has. It's like, there's nothing back here either. It's just a whole bunch of bushes you can just, like, chill in. There's a hidden cache back here, okay. <laughs> Random ass hidden cache. Hey, GP coin, I'll take it. Ragman probably wants you to mark all these fuel tanks, I assume. Fucking Ragman and his fuel, dude. Man loves fuel. He's a fuel addict. Addicted to the fuel. I'd be able to find fuel conditioner around here sitting on the barrels or some shit. Seems likely if they put thought into it. like the rogues are dead. I think it's how quiet it's gotten. That does seem a bit weird. <laughs> I wouldn't think anything of it other than the lag earlier. I wonder if we can find any other crates with shit missing. But what would you even take out of a ration supply crate? Like, let's say, let's say you are a cheater. What do you take out of a ration supply crate that's actually that valuable? You know what I mean? Like, what does a ration supply crate have that you're, like, desperate for? You know what I mean? Like, to take up one of the slots in your backpack. Moonshine? No. Mm, I mean, maybe. Like there's not that much that's like super high value in the ration supply crate. I mean, some condensed milk, I guess, but I mean, what? It's like 19k a slot? I guess they use the flea market though, right? This one hasn't been used. As far as I can tell. People can get up on those roofs. Not all of them, I don't think, but some of them. Maybe all of them nowadays, actually. Maybe we could always get on all of them, I'm not sure. I mean, water filters are pretty high value. I feel like a cheater would take a water filter, but maybe not. Especially if you're selling them on the flea market. EP200 brick? I mean, that's pretty high value, too. But, I mean, I guess Bitcoins and GPUs are pretty high value as well, right?
Oh. What is this? They're growing weed. They're growing the marijuana. Oh shit. God damn. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> It's smoky in here. The just mel melanin that spawns here. These are other stems too. God damn. I didn't even know this existed. Kind of cool. Like inside all the containers. That's kind of sick, actually. That's super cool. Man, BSG has some cool map design. I really can't wait to play streets and like take a look around. It'd be a really good time. BSG can make some cool maps. For sure. Not really good gameplay maps a lot of the time, but they're cool to explore. For sure. I think that's just another bit of like the disconnect where like what they want the game to be versus what it's actually become. Which is a bit of a shame. I mean, I kind of want the game to be like that too, but I know the majority of the player base doesn't seem to, so. A kind of the slow paced survival shooter with a raid system would be like my ideal game, I feel like, for Tarkov. American snack. Yeah, I know somebody who eats mayo sandwiches. They just mayo between two pieces of bread. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> are they American? Yes, they are American. <laughs> see anybody out here that's the thing like it's so quiet out on this side of the map because nobody ever gets past the water treatment i mean you can just get past it super safely if you're a usec but a lot of people shoot the rogues because that's what they like come to this map for but you don't have to you can just leave the rogues alone i would never eat a mayo sandwich i'm sorry I don't even like mayonnaise that much. Like, I'll lick the knife after I'm done making a sandwich. That's the extent for me. You know what I mean? Like, I'll lick the knife after I'm done making a sandwich, but that's it. That's, like, too much mayo already. I'm like, oof, that's a lot of mayo. You know what I mean? Like, I do not want a mouthful of mayo. Like, it's just not a tasty substance by itself. You know what I mean? Like, it needs other things to kind of, like... It, it, it's like a compliment, you know what I mean? It's a compliment. Like, burgers, it's great on burgers. You need some on a sandwich with, like, turkey. Absolutely. Right? Other things, I mean, maybe like a hot dog. You can put some mayo on it. I'm not a big fan, but I can I can understand that. Um, egg salad. Chicken salad, you know what I mean? That stuff. Mayo. Needed, pretty much. I mean, it's like a main component. But not by itself. Mayo goes good in things. Yeah, absolutely. Not by itself. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. Um, okay. What is this? I almost used it. Strength, endurance, 10, 20, stamina recovery. Nice. Tuna salad. I hate fish, personally. I would never, ever eat tuna salad. <laughs> Uh, 
I unload this real quick? Drop that, takes a space. Got a new key. Quite nice. I'm just gonna sell that. I need that sewing kit. I can finish my daily with that though, which is real nice. One bullet of BCP. Super high quality albacore tuna. Make tuna salad, no fishy taste, just super good. Hell yeah. No, I mean, absolutely. If you like it, you like it. I mean, lots of people like fish. Personally, I think it's gross, but. Not gross that other people eat it, but just personally. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I don't mind sushi, actually. Sushi's not bad. Alright, I need to buy two sling backpacks. Very quickly. I need to buy two sling backpacks. In here. I need to make a Cordura. For uh, quest. I don't like fish as the weird fishy taste. Why is it weird? <laughs> Isn't that just what they taste like? <laughs> Not really a weird fishy taste, they're just fish. Right. That will take. How long is that gonna take? 47 minutes, cool. We'll probably be done after this raid then. It'll be a nice little daily completed. Sushi is top tier, hell yeah. Hawaiian made poke bowls are hella good. What's a poke bowl? Is a poke bowl. All right, so we should be good to go. Nothing crazy. That was a pretty chill little raid. Basically, sushi in a bowl. Gotcha, gotcha. I'd be down for a poke bowl. Kind of tasty. I don't know. I've tried a lot of different sushi. I, I, I'm not sure which one I really like the best. I don't know. The one I had with the um. I don't know. I don't know which one I like the best. Some fish taste like fish smells. I was doing it the fishy taste and just tastes good. Yeah, but I don't think it's weird. It's just that's just how they taste. I mean, some some animals taste a certain way and some animals taste a certain way. I mean, maybe it's the quality of it, but I'm not I'm not sure about that. I mean, I understand that some of them don't taste that way, but quality gotcha okay fair enough fair enough i don't know fish just like grosses me out i've never liked the idea of eating fish ever i like like fish don't gross me out to like look at well up close they kind of do they're kind of like they're like facial features are a bit gross they're kind of like blobbery they're blubbery i guess like i don't know but it makes sense because they're under the water you know what i mean like if, if you put a human under the water like you just absorb so much water that you kind of get like a bit bloated you know what i mean you get a bit like bloated a bit blubbery so it makes sense that they look like that but i don't know it's just like they always look kind of kind of funky first of the fish the less fish you taste fair enough i like the way this ak looks I like this Ford shift grip, actually. I'm sacrificing so much recoil, though, for... Well, actually, that's not true. I'm not really sacrificing recoil. I'm sacrificing a suppressor, though, for 10 extra rounds in my mags, which is a bit lame. You know what I mean? Because, like, I'd rather have the suppressor. But to be fair, I guess that's just my play style. I mean, if I was going for like a more aggressive in your face play style, then maybe a suppressor would be a worthy trade off of 10 extra rounds in my mag. You know what I mean? Especially as a solo player. 
I mean, maybe 40 round mags are fine. I don't know. I feel like they, um, they could reduce the, reduce the ergonomic penalty. Like, a couple ergonomics fair, but, like, the thing is, is that 60 rounders are so good because they don't have to have a special rig for it. You know what I mean? It's still convenient sizes. It's, like, it doesn't make your gun any larger. It, it's just convenient. But 40 rounders are inconvenient. So I feel like 10 extra rounds for that inconvenience and a little bit more expensive is, like, a fair trade-off. But right now, they have a huge ergonomic penalty. And they're inconvenient. And they're a little bit more expensive. And you unlock them later than 30 round mags. It's just like, it's like a... They have nothing going for them, really. Except you get 10 extra bullets. And they make your weapon larger, which is kind of a pain. But, I mean, I guess it makes it harder for other people to steal. But they can just take the mag out. <laughs> so... I don't know. 40 rounders are like fun in theory, but in reality, I just don't feel like they're worth it. I want to know. Oh, fuck. I was supposed to test out the, um, the mines. To be fair, I said next time I die, but I could just do it when I'm alive. Doesn't matter. All right, next raid. Try and remind me next raid, Fluffins. That's my fault, not yours. And also, it's not your fault even if you don't remind me. It's just I forget very easily. Okay. Bed of rice with seasoned fresh cube tuna on top. Like spicy tuna with this special sauce called... I feel like I've heard of that before. Great taste of <laughs> That emo is so cute. It's so cute. Yeah, Fluff knows what she's talking about when it comes to fish. I trust, I trust her knowledge. Why are we waiting for so long? I guess somebody's loading in. This can also be waiting for people to play the map, but since it's like the game is still pretty popping right now, I, I don't think that's the case. But later on in the wipe, it can be that you're waiting for enough people to queue in. But for right now, I think it's probably just waiting for people to load. There is a point where it, it uh, just goes in without people. Dude, you know what's crazy to me? Is... There is a, there's a limit. It's like five minutes, apparently, where you wait for players. And if somebody doesn't load in, then you just go into the raid without them. And people are fucking complaining. They're like, oh my god, these people with their fucking hard drives. And it's like, it takes so long to load in. And like, people genuinely say like, oh, you shouldn't be allowed to play Tarkov if you don't have an SSD. Which is like, what the fuck? And then, and then other people have the audacity to say like, oh... The raid should just start, you know, if you haven't loaded it, and then all the hard drive players can just load in later. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, talk about privilege. My fucking god. <laughs> like, it's like, it's actually baffling. Somebody might run across. dead pretty sure he doesn't have a teammate
you put a takedown inside a takedown? And my man had some gear though, god damn. I'm not really sure what he was hoping to accomplish. Is tier 5 plates? Ooh. Hell yeah. I want to hide my backpack full of stuff somewhere, but I don't want to throw it in the water because I find that shit fucking stupid. He did throw a grenade at me, but um, I think they've made it so that grenades don't explode. Uh, after, if you die after you throw them. This is a funky SKS. It's got a lot of rails on this thing. <laughs> I mean, you could probably ask for them not to add all that stuff, right? I would assume. And I mean, it's not that strange for different places to make things differently. I think that's pretty normal. Um, what we got in here? What's the ergonomics on this thing? 38? Wow, that's actually not too bad. it a lot worse. I kind of want to keep my gun for close range. Actually, to be fair, I could just take my hammer. I think I'll do that, actually. But honestly, once you put the hammer on, the SKS is pretty fucking decent at close range, too. Just that three times has no close range capacity. I don't know if there's mines here. It might be about to explode. Just FYI. Yeah, there's definitely mines around here somewhere. <laughs> I think it's up that... Oh yeah, look. Somebody blew up. <laughs> I don't know if this is too close. Might be too close. The rogues might fucking hate me. We're gonna find out. This feels way too fucking close, dude. I feel like they're gonna fucking blast me. I'm gonna about to get blasted. <laughs> There's no way they're okay with this. I mean, cause... If I enter through that window, I'm like in their territory. Should I do it? Should we go in? Fuck it, we're going in. We got we're... a bandit. Okay. 
I think he's, they're mad now. There's good loot in here, though. Fuck it. We are ta we are tagged. <laughs> oh shit! Goddamn. Oh, don't mind if I fucking do. We're definitely uh, <laughs> threat level maximum right now. I'm gonna be happy with us. Fair enough, fair enough. Unload these mags while I search. Can I open this? And I don't know this place very well. I know there's I know where the good loot is because I've seen somebody explore this place before. But I am in the danger zone at this point. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, oh fuck. Oh god, oh fuck, oh no. Player scabs love to fucking walk into this building too, so gotta be a little bit careful. There's the player scabs cometh. Killed one. They ain't happy. They ain't fucking happy. They mad. My hands are so sweaty. Today. I hate it. Just a scav. Just like a scav. A scav. More ammo. I might need it. Might be a lot of baddies coming my way.
You can take him? I don't know about that. Let's not get too excited. Wait until... That's a fucking war zone in here, dude. It's a war zone. <laughs> the fuck is happening? baddies I killed one player scav there was two more there. they might have just they might have just killed each other I don't think they were communicating and they thought it was me they needed him Player scab on the roof. Potentially an enemy in the room. Ugh, God, player scabs on this map are so stupid. They just have like no punishment for doing anything like risky. But because like the rogues, you have to take risks, right? It's usually a bad idea because then you die. You got killed. By a rogue. Okay. Guy on roof is dead. Try to get down from the roof. He failed. <laughs> you have to take a risk to get the rogues. But as a PMC, you get punished because you lose everything. It's a player's cab, not really. So you can just like immediately run in here and do some risky, stupid shit and see if it pays off. You can see if I wall banged him. There's a dead guy in the corner.
Did I wallbang? Dude, I think I wallbanged him. Oh, he 100% called cheats, bro. <laughs> he 100% called cheats. <laughs> Oh, yo, 100% thought I was cheating. He's like, yo, bro, he fucking shot me through a wall, dude. He fucking shot me through a wall. Yeah, I fucking did. Get owned, nerd. You fucking owned. Yeah, I don't think they had much. Oh, I say that. Oh, 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 this guy been looting. This guy been motherfucking looting. God damn, why were you still in the raid, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Why were you still chilling? Why didn't you dip? Crazy shit is happening. <laughs> I think I had nothing. They might have met though. They might not have been friends. They might have met like along the way. You know what I mean? That could be true. The other guy had like nothing on him. All right, we should probably get the fuck out. Oh. Yeah, we should probably get the fuck out of here. Do you have the money? I don't know if the rogues are going to shoot me. That's the thing. I don't know if the rogues are going to shoot me or not. I'm kind of not certain about that. I can loot up a bit more, actually. Because all I've killed is scavs so far. I am in rogue territory. They're very mad. It's like, I'm not sure if I should shoot the rogues or not. That's the thing. Like, should I just go guns blazing or should I chill? I mean, I'm in their territory, so I assume they're hostile. room I don't have the key I'm gonna go off the assumption that they're hostile means I need to be very careful check the guns I could leave through the car on that gun. Fucking close the door, bitch. I am disconnected from Twitch chat. FYI. We're just reconnecting. Chat, it's back. It's back. I don't know if all of these are key rooms. It's not. Anything good in here? I haven't really been in here before. PC? A little PC just chilling. Graphics card? No graphics card. 
just wait for things to die down a little bit. Maybe wait for somebody else to kill the rogues for me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, freaky card, yo. Pretty good run so far, goddamn. All I need is a wallet. Put those key cards inside the sailor. I could take the car, because I do have some money. do have some cash. I assume the rogues are hostile though, which means they're gonna fucking pop me, dude. I'm gonna get popped. I can't believe I wall banged that guy. He's definitely mad. Trains here, but I... I don't know if I can make this car because the rogues have to be hostile, right? Like, I'm, I went into their building. They can't be happy. Well, they're definitely not happy now. Maybe he was chill. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. If I went into his building, there's no way he was chill, right? I feel like there's no way he was chill. <laughs> that is one nice thing about being a bear, is you can always assume that they're fucking gonna kill you. I'm going for it. I should have popped a painkiller. Let me out. Okay, I managed to cover. It's a hard cover. That's important. Right, let's just take a take a peek. on the bus. Players guys will be able to see that I'm leaving though. So somebody might run over here and try and take me out. Maybe I should sit behind the bus. I don't know. We're just going to sit here for now. Wait, you can extract from inside the bus? Yo, that's fucking OP, bro. What the fuck? I'm extracting from inside the bus. Standing up seems like a bad idea, though. Let me out. Nice. Hey, good raid. That wall bank kill was pretty fucking nice. I'll take that wall bank kill. That guy would have been so bad. I mean, I just decided to shoot. I didn't even hear him in there. Like, I mean, I knew he was in there, but I didn't hear where exactly he was. But I thought, shoot the wall. You know what I mean? Like, there's a chance. There's a chance it gets him. And lo and behold, there was a chance, and we hit that chance. Sorry, I just smacked the mic. Um, test mines. Yeah, I will test the mines now. Yeah, we killed Cross at the end. Master Bates. Okay. We killed Master Bates. What can I say, man? We got him. <laughs>
We got him. Then <laughs> job done. He actually brought in some big fucking gear. Weird gun, though. I'm not sure I like the gun, but I do like the armor. Armor is not bad. Not bad at all. I might switch out the alpha rig with the Zook. Because I don't really like the idea of wearing an alpha and not using it for the 30 or 40 rounders. Uh, why does everyone have those names? Motherfucker, you play DVD. Answer me that. Why does everybody have those names in DVD, huh? Answer that. And then I'll answer your question. is fucking big armor. Considering wearing the Corund instead. Like that. I got 10 fucking lives without seeing a name like that. Every other kill you get, the motherfuckers names are gargle my ball sack and shit like that. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a step back, okay? I ain't never killed nobody called gargle my ball sack, okay? I ain't never killed nobody like that. So, I think <laughs> you coming up with some bullshit. That's all I'm saying. I ain't never seen no names like that. Never ever, not in my life. Uh, that's probably fine. Literally just killed someone had a name like that. No, all his name was Master Bates. What's wrong with that? His name is Master Bates. I don't see any problem with this actually. I think you're creating something out of nothing. His name is Bates, and he's a master at something. What's the problem here? Would you like to clarify? <laughs> okay, Mr. Master Raider. <laughs> I resent that you are attacking the... Attacking the, uh, the Tarkov player base like this. Defending your strange Tarkov names. Uh, what you think about the SKS nerf? Still good. I'm actually not sure it was specifically a nerf. Um, I think that because I know I know exactly what you're talking about. The um, the patch note said that they changed shotguns, pistols, and SKS, and the pistols are like atrocious now. Like pistols are like unusable in my opinion. Um, personally, I, I would not use a pistol right now at all. I would just vendor every single pistol. Uh, or keep them in your stash until they're potentially good again. But, yeah. Pistols are real, real bad. But, um, I know that people are assuming that the SKS and shotguns got nerfed because the pistols also had, like, got nerfed. But I actually think the pistol thing is a bug. I, I don't think it's intended. I obviously could be wrong, but it doesn't feel intentional because the SKS and the shotguns don't feel that way at all. They honestly feel like they barely changed. Like, the SKS and shotguns. Like, I barely can notice a difference, honestly. So I really wouldn't say that it's intentional. Uh, until we get like some more info, I, I I think it's honestly just a bug. So it might take a while for them to fix it because BSG is really slow. But I don't know. I don't know if it's intentional or not. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But I wouldn't use I wouldn't use pistols right now. Absolutely not. Pistols seem really bad. Really really bad. Uh, but the SKS and the, to answer your question more shortly, um, SKS and shotguns seem absolutely fine. But pistols are terrible. They, they just don't shoot where your reticle is. It's really strange. Like, pistols that, like, aren't shooting where you're aiming at all. Which is really weird. Makes them pretty bad right now, I'd say. Okay, we are now 
going to be tagged by the rogues. So we cannot go anywhere near the water treatment unless I plan to kill them, which is very difficult. So I'm not really planning to do that. <laughs> Sorry for the long extended answer. That's just how I am. I like to answer things like in depth. Um, hopefully it's useful information though. I, I think they'll probably fix pistols in the future, to be honest. It doesn't feel intentional. It just feels like some bug happened. Something, something unintentional. Uh, let's do an offline raid. I want to test, um, I want to test it. I didn't ask for a whole fucking paragraph. Can you believe somebody in my chat said that? How, how can you go to somebody's chat and ask them a question and then they answer the question and then you say, oh, I didn't ask for a whole fucking paragraph. It's like, what? What the fuck are you asking me a question? <laughs> and you're in my chat. What the fuck do you want me to do? Not you. you not, not you, Patty. You're fine. Um, is somebody who rarely watches the stream and then just kind of pops in occasionally asked me a fucking question. And then when I replied... In detail. <laughs> they said, oh, I didn't ask for a whole fucking paragraph, lol. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Don't ask next time, then. <laughs> Motherfucker. The <laughs> question permits a yes or no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, apparently. Asked the question, got Maddie answered, yeah. Well, I mean, I did answer it quite, like... I did answer quite long, but I think I always sum up my thoughts. Like, I answer questions quite, like, extensively, usually when somebody asks a question. But I usually try and sum it up at the end, you know what I mean? Like, I try and explain my reasoning, how I get to this, like, point. Because I don't... I, I think that's important for when you're talking or when you're explaining or when you're teaching something. Is to explain how you get to that point. Or why you get to that point. And then people can be... Like, it's like teach a man to fish, you know what I mean? Instead of just giving him a fish. It's like that way they can come to those conclusions themselves and, you know, have good understanding of whatever you're talking about. But I usually try and sum it up at the end in case people get confused. Sum it up and then, yeah, yeah, the paragraph thing. I didn't bring enough fucking meds. Shit. That's annoying. People don't want to think, they want to be told what to think. Yeah, it, it really does feel that way these days. It makes me sad. I didn't bring enough meds. We also got a terrible... It's actually just better if I just do this. Like, I'll just reconnect. <laughs> we got a terrible spawn that's nowhere near water treatment. So I might as well just fucking disconnect and try again. I wanted to explore all the mines and see what they all felt like. I can try and go out to Zarachi, actually, or Zarachi, 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 I can't remember what, how it was. Um, but I still like to explain for people, even if, you know, even if they just want the summed up answer, I still explain. Also, I like explaining things, like, I think it's really a fun thing to do, because it really shows your understanding of the subject to yourself and to others, and it also makes you understand your subject better i feel like because you learn how to explain it which means you kind of like think about it in a different way you know what i mean and it also challenges maybe you don't know as much as you think you know what i mean and when you go to explain it you're like oh shit i don't know if that's actually true you know what i mean that kind of thing um so i don't know i like explaining things especially in detail i feel like it is a fun thing to do Okay, <laughs> I've got meds. <laughs> I've got meds. I could put like a canted on this, but I don't know. I think canteds are kind of bad. I used to love canteds, but I think they're kind of bad now. I don't think I'm going to use cantids anymore. I think I'm going to rely just on like normal scopes. Man, it's been five and a half hours. What the actual fuck? I've played like five raids. I want to play more raids. To be fair, I do feel pretty comfortable on this map. I don't know the rogues and stuff that much though. 
but I know the layout of the map. I know all the extractions. I know routes that I can take that are relatively safe. You know what I mean? Like I know hot spots, places to avoid, places that are dangerous. Like I, I feel relatively okay on this map, but there's some aspects that I don't know, like the finer workings of it, especially the rogues. That stuff I don't know. Uh, and I'm not super familiar with the spawns, but I can definitely feel like I, you know, I understand this map enough that it's not like a big deal. Um, like Ground Zero, I was like completely blind, you know what I mean? Just like everybody else was. But this, it doesn't feel that way, which is nice. Shoreline, I, I also, I feel like very comfortable on Shoreline now, I'd say. After like that day of hunting cultists, like I felt like I started to understand the spawns really well. The fact that I was able to run around as much as I did and not get killed a lot of the time was like, I was pretty happy with, about that because it made me feel like I knew what I was doing and uh, kind of reaffirmed that a little bit. And uh, I feel very comfortable on woods too because I just have played like honestly thousands of raids on woods. Like, I just love woods. Best map in the game, in my opinion. Best map in the game. Got a ton of meds. Let's try out some mines. I do also want to try if these guys are going to shoot me. Are they going to shoot me because I shot them in the last raid? The problem is they have mounted guns. I wonder if the tag thing goes off into offline mode. We're gonna find out pretty quick. Because I will instantly die, I think. Doesn't seem like he shot at me. Uh, let's go out the front of the building. I'm gonna keep my gun just in case. Actually, do I need my gun? Eh, if they shoot me, they shoot me. I'll reduce some weight. I'm gonna keep my- Oh, fuck, I should've kept my helmet, actually. I might die with no helmet. Mines. I wanna be able to run faster. We'll try the mines up on the hill in a second. I wanna try these mines first. I also want to try how close they get aggroed at. Is he going to blast me? Is there a guy on the turret? I feel like I saw a guy on the turret. Is there a guy on that turret? Is there mines here? There she is, isn't there? Isn't there mines here? No. I, swear there, I thought there was mines here. Are there mines out the front of this? No. Right. Hold it, you can see. Oh, there's mines here, I think. Yeah. Okay, so just this little corner of the road, I guess? Hands on. Well, this is the only way to do it. Okay, so it's just this little corner of the road. Is this gonna explode? Yeah, okay. So it's just this little corner of the road has mines. And this will have mines, yeah. How far can I go? Up to the sign? Close to the sign. Is this all mined up? No, okay, so you can go close to the signs. What about over here? There's a sign up there, so I assume this is mined. Not really. Seems pretty chill. Okay, can, so can you run across this hill here to get cover? 
When did the mine start? Okay, so you can immediately go to the rocks. What about up here? Can you go up here? No, no, I'm in an offline raid. I'm in an offline raid. Nobody else can be in this raid. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be dead. <laughs> Can you hug this wall? Mm, I already hit one mine, though, so. Looks like you can't hug the wall, though. Get up here. And you can run down here. Okay, that's very nice. Little route there. It's a route to get back, too. Kind of nice. How close can you get to these signs? Is there just like a thin layer of mines? That's what it seems like. There's just like a thin layer here. Yeah, okay. So it's just like a line. Right here. I shouldn't have done that. Blacks my leg. Dude. That's crazy. It feels so responsive to do everything. It's because there's no lag. Because it's going on like there's I'm not connecting to a server. That's crazy that the servers like create that much of a delay. Like I can immediately feel it. When I was pressing my heal button, I could notice it before. But like with that stuff, like it's just so noticeable. It just like it instantly does it. The response time is like instant. So I think there's just a ring of mines. But I think you can go up here, can't you? You can run across. Yeah. I know there's mines here. Ooh. Is that a scab or a rogue? Pause. There should be mines in these trees. Yeah, now that I blacked my leg, I kind of fucked myself. I guess I'll just leave it blacked, honestly. Pop a pink thing instead. Okay. Why do the mines stop over here? Okay, they stop pretty quickly. What the fuck is this sign for then? Where where are the mines? Just, just on this hill, I guess. You just can't sit on this hill or cross that hill. Okay. Oh, uh, now I have to heal more than just my leg, which is actually a huge pain in the ass. Okay. Next time I do this, I know how to do it a little bit more efficiently. Don't let my fucking legs get black. Take more than one of mine. Makes the whole process such a more pain in I don't think there's any more mines. I think it's just those. On this entire side. Don't think there's anything else. Pretty sure. I'm taking so little damage from sprinting on a black light like that. Can you go up along here? Oh, 
Can you go up along here? Or uh, shoot you? Uh, Dude, crap, I don't even know if there is ropes. Oh, there probably isn't ropes because I didn't enable bosses. There's probably no ropes. I don't know. I saw. I saw a guy. I saw a guy. Let's see. Again. That's just a scab. Is there any mines up here? I don't know this this area very well at all. I don't know what actually triggers the rogues. Because like you can't walk around with them. I don't know what specifically triggers them. There's going to be like a threshold, right? Maybe it's just the distance to them specifically. It has nothing to do with like where you encounter them, but it's just the distance to them. There will definitely be mines up here somewhere. Question is where? mine so far. It's not as mined up as I thought it would be. It takes you to the water. Is that reserved? Yeah, it is reserved. Let's go. <sighs> Can you walk across this wall? I didn't know you could go up here. It's an extra path. The mines around the edge here? But you can't get here without getting blown up by mines, right? You're pretty sure. This is the only map, other than um, Woods Usec Camp, that has mines that are like not out of bounds, basically. So you actually have to learn how to navigate them, which is cool. I like it. It's a cool bit of map knowledge that you have to learn. I think all of that is safe. No, maybe up to the building isn't. I'm not sure. But I want to test this, because if you can come up here to this lake, that's actually a really easy way to get to the train station. This is the big area, because you spawn right next to this. And you kind of have to navigate it, but I think there's mines all through here. Yeah, look, there's signs. Is it after the signs? Is this, is this all fine? Oh, okay, I did not know that. This is all fine. Okay. Where do the mines start? after the sign. Racing for impact.
came. You go all the way down here? Is it just up on the hill where there are mines? There's, there has to be more mines down here. so loud and abrupt. I can take the sound out for you guys. You don't have to hear the big explosion. It's like very shocking every time. What is the point of the mines up on the hill then? What are they like protecting? Is there mines here? Why is there just like a singular little patch of mines there? There's just writing on the walls. The rocks. But the rocks are safe. Well, you can just avoid the mines by going around then. But this this will explode, right? Yeah. God, I hate it though. It's fucking so abrupt. <laughs> So you can avoid it by going on the rocks. And once you get past this bush, you're fine. But you can just avoid it just by going down here. I thought that there was mines all over this place. So going up on the rocks is actually pointless. You can just walk down here. I feel like there used to be mines here, but maybe not. Is there mines anywhere else? I don't know, it doesn't feel like it. That's just like a weird little random patch of mines. Okay, strange. Okay, there's mines here. I should have brought cheeses, because they heal you faster. Okay, that one really fucked me up. <laughs> that one, that one hurt bad. <laughs> I think the next one kills me. Cheeses? Cheeses. Okay, so you can get down to this rock here. It's just you can't go right of this rock. If I go onto the floor here, is this all going to be mined up? Is this going to have mines? If I hit another mine, I'm pretty sure I die. What about this little bit here? Okay. Feels like a jump scare. Like, I want to, like, be prepared for it. It's, like, so abrupt when you don't know if it's going to happen or not. Okay, and how much of this has mines? Any of it? Look at a kitty cat. Hello. See, you bracing for it. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't like it.
Right, this is mine central right here. Okay, so it's after, there's just like a thin layer. There's just like a thin layer along this line here. Okay. What about up on this rock? Can you go up here? Any of this mind? I don't think that was a mine. I think I just got AGS'd. Because it blew up like far in front of me. I'm pretty sure that was an AGS, not a mine. <laughs> I was also full health. I don't think a mine would have killed me. Let's see what it says. It'll tell me what killed me. Was it an AGS? Or was it just a mine that just exploded weirdly? It was just a mine. Okay. Um, Interesting. So a lot of the mines are just like thin layers. They're not actually like... They're not like big minefields. They're just like a thin like strip of mines and just to stop you like, hey, don't go through here. You know what I mean? Um, but a lot of them can be avoided if you just like stick to the sides and stuff. Interesting. So you can just go from that spawn straight to water treatment or straight to the, um, the train yard. So that spawn is actually really nice. But if you get that spawn, you can't go northern checkpoint. So you're basically forced to take the car and if somebody else steals your car... You're fucking out of luck, you know what I mean? I did kill a rogue, so I think it was for the next four raids. I am gonna be tagged. So for the next four raids, we're gonna be We're gonna be getting shot by the rogues. Um and since we're just playing Lighthouse, I, I can either spend four raids avoiding it, or I could do some factory. Maybe next time I die I'll do factory. Just to get it cleared so we can play play a little bit more passive again. Because like Every time you kill the rogues, then you're resetting the timer, right? So it's four, it's back to four raids again. I don't know. We'll see. All right, let's uh, give Ragman his fabric. I did not mean to accept that. <laughs> We are good to go. I might take that stuff into a factory run next time we die. Just to, I want to get that uh, cleared up. I feel like so we can play the map a little bit differently again. Um, we need to get this insurance. no insurance for three and a half got no insurance for six and a half and some armor and a rig that's perfectly fine all right cool 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 let's do another raid so we are tagged now so we do not want to get within range of the mgs and shit um i could still go to the train yard we'll see where we spawn obviously and then we'll figure it out it's always how you should play it i feel like Super respawn, figure it out from there. Interesting to know about the mines, though. I'm, I'm happy to do a little bit of exploring with that. I might need to do some more as well. I do want to check out the mines near... Um, I guess that's most of the mines checked out. Um, I didn't check out the mines near the front left of the water treatment, but to be fair, you don't really go over there that often. It's mostly the mines up here in the mountains that you want to know about. Um, you don't need to know like perfect details about the other mines, but it can be good check them out but i'll check them out as i need to if that makes sense i think it's really nice just to have that offline mode just if anything like if you get killed by somebody and you don't know where his spot was if you know like i got killed by that guy 
on factory and I was wondering you know oh where was he sitting you know what I mean that kind of thing and then I got killed by a guy on customs and I was like okay you know I, where was he sitting how did he get up there you know what I mean and you can go and test those things out yourself or right there you know what I mean I was like okay where are the mines actually located it's nice to do that stuff when it pops up I think trying to like go out of your way to do it preemptively is like a bit too much and you're not really going to know what you're looking for but if something ever pops up that's like hey I don't really understand that part of the map that well Hop into an offline raid, run over there real quick, check it out a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it just helps helps your map knowledge. Right? And I mean, with the way Tarkov is, I mean, like, you could fight anybody anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just about knowing the hotspots. It's also about knowing your paths. You know what I mean? How you get from place to place. Like, you know, with good cover. Little cheeky spots that you can hide. Just in case you need to, like, heal or CMS or something. You can hide in some cheeky spots. Um, or maybe you're super injured. Maybe your chest is blacked and you need to wait out the raid a little bit. You know what I mean? Wait for things to die down. You can find some, some nice spots where you're not really going to get spotted. You never know. You never know. Every little bit helps. Helps that survival rating get higher. This rail on the SKS is really interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about it. There is a... There is a, um... A cover like a front cover that is black the monte carlo and i really wish i had it because i hate putting the fucking opsks one on there but it's fine but it's like a little bit of, a little bit of tanness on my ak don't or my sks don't worry about it i mean to be fair you could put a tan scope and a tan buttstock and a tan foregrip make a little tan sks kind of kind of look a little bit wicked i'd kind of like that actually kind of look sick I might build one after this action. That could be cool. Little ACOG scope, little tan buttstock, little tan foregrip. Look kind of wicked. I really don't think canteds are that good anymore, sadly. Which uh, is a bit of a shame because the PSO is the only, like, the PSO is the big one for me that, like, really wants a Canton. But I'm starting to think maybe PSO is, like, cheap shit. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I should use PSOs on, like, cheap runs. Just slap a laser onto the gun and use that for close range. You know what I mean? PSO laser. Like, instead of PSO Canton. Because I think PSO Canton is just not it. I'm really, like, getting used to one times a bit more now. I think one times feel a bit better with the new recoil. And, like, with single fire guns. So I, I like the kind of one-time zoom on some of these scopes. Like, TAC-30 is all right. Um, the Spectre is all right. Um, I used another one that wasn't too bad. I kind of liked. And then there's other scopes like the Hammer and... Oh, God. Okay. This is not a great spawn. If I'm targeted by the Rogues. <laughs> they can pop me, like immediately so we're gonna have to kill a couple what am i hoping to accomplish though killing them. i don't know but we're gonna have to kill some i can see him but You almost got me. <laughs> I don't know the range on that. Oh, I got him. Okay, it's one down. I didn't bring any extra ammo. Fuck. I brought an FMJ, but not any good stuff. Okay, that's that guy dead. There's that building back there, though. Is 
There's another MG emplacement on the right. I think it's behind the truck. I can't really see it. No, okay, there it is. Okay, I think we're mostly chill to move up a little bit. That is at me. I don't know if I killed him there. I did not kill him. Shit. Not shooting though. <laughs> tried to shoot my toes, bro. He tried to shoot my motherfucking toes. There you go. Surprised he didn't kill me there, to be honest. But that's fine. Oh god. Okay, I thought there was somebody on the turret. You really should have killed me there, I feel like, but that's fine. I survived. You know where the mines are now, so we can get across safely. Do I need to climb up here? Fuck, I don't remember. I think I do. That was very close. Fuck. Hey, we're faith. I thought I was about to die. That was very close. I almost just got fucking popped. It's, uh, he's on the first building. He's on that building. Where is he? That's a one shot, by the way. If any of those bullets hit me, I fucking die. <laughs> so, I'm very lucky to be alive right now. They're not as good of a shot as I expected, honestly. I, w I would have expected to be dead already by now. Got me locked in. <laughs> he's really got me dialed in, dude. Yeah, he's got me fucking pinned, man. He's got me pinned. Fuck, how is how much is FMJ? 775. I need to get out of here. If I run though, I think he ices me, dude. I think he ices me if I run. I wanted to get a little bit further away, try and get him from a little bit further. He's dialed in, though, dude. Like, he, he's really got me in his sights. I don't think I get out of here safely. I gotta fucking head tap him. Dude, it's so awkward on this rock. I should have taken the opportunity to run away. Got me hardcore pinned. 
Um, shit. I should have taken him out first. Right, we know for the future. I'm gonna wait a little while and then I'm gonna try and um I'm gonna try and get away and take him out from a different angle. This is where he's got me right now, I'm super pinned. Right, I'm gonna go for it. Barely alive, my god. Is there anybody on that post. Nope. Fuck, he's behind the billboard. I can't see him from here. Can I go under the bridge and come up the other side? No. I can go the other side of the bridge and come up the other side, though. I don't think he'll be able to see me from here. I try and shoot him from back here. I just don't have the angle though. Oh god, he might get me here. He's still behind the billboard for here? Barely not. But... This raid is so quiet. It makes me wonder if I loaded into an offline raid, but I know that I didn't. There's no way across here. Gotcha. up here. It's only in that thin, like, patch. Is that at me? Or is that? That's a player. Fuck, I'm in danger though, dude. I'm trying to smoke grenade right now. I've got. Got him. I got killed by the fucking MG, dude. The fucking MG got me. I climbed up on the rock and he got an angle. Fucker was dialed in, man. He fucking had me. Shit. I got one of those players. I got one of them. I got one of them. I should have kept the MG in mind. I was like, ah, he won't be worried about me anymore. But no. as soon as I got within range, he fucking iced me. It's all good. It's all good. Honestly, nobody might even know that I died.
a thorax upper back. He got me. Those were scavs? Were they just normal scavs? One of them was definitely a player. So that makes me think it was two player scavs. They had road gear, maybe? Killed Kentucky and Snake. Killed one with a 237 meter shot. God damn. Fuck, man. Got me with the B32. 12.7 by 108 millimeter. All right, let's do some, um, let's do some factory raids real quick, just to, like, kind of, like, get rid of the, uh, the rogue aggro. Um, I think it's best, probably, to do that. So that way we can have, like, a little bit more, like, free walking territory on the map. Just, like, some really quick factory run. Because it's four raids, so we can just run some factory raids. I know it says lighthouse all day, but I guess I'm lying. <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to aggro the rogues, but I killed that one because I was a little bit scared. I had all that loot from inside, and I didn't want to lose it. You know what I mean? And it's really a commitment if you go into those buildings, if you're playing Lighthouse. I mean, Lighthouse, I guess Lighthouse isn't really a map you should, um, like, play back to back to back. Because as soon as, unless you're, like, committed to fighting the rogues every raid... So it's either you're committed to fighting the rogues every raid, or you just throw Lighthouse in every now and then. You know what I mean? Like, it's an every now and then kind of thing. Let's just fucking take an M1911, bro. Oh, no. Pistols suck. Never mind. Fuck that. Fuck that. Pistols are trash now. Well, it's going to take a little night. M1911, but... Lying in your title yet again, yep. Yeah. It's just me, fucking liar 108, dude. Always lying. Always fucking lying. Alright, let's uh get some trash gear out of insurance, maybe? I don't know if I have any trash gear left in insurance. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I think I've used pretty much all my bad... I sold all my bad gear. I got Mosin's. Tier 5. Yeah, I, I went through and I sold all my uh, really bad shit. Oh, I have this. Uh, we'll bring that with a shotgun, though. Block 18. I'm going to wait until they buff that. Buff the pistols back up, man. This thing's fucking sick. A little 3M. Really? I have one hard drive in my stash. Use it up for a backpack. Uh, what kind of ammo do I want to run? I do have some... I'll just run FMJ. Actually, SPBT can one-tap, so let's use that instead. Has the possibility of one-tapping. And I need meds. We can also get some gear this way. Bless you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really need a factory key, though. To be honest. Mm, I do have some trash gear, actually. I have some of those armored rigs that can only take plates. Armored plate carriers. Those can just be trashed. Those are great for some factory runs. If I survive a raid, we'll go off factory. If I die, 
do factory again. I want to just not get aggroed by the rogues again. I didn't really want to fight the rogues today, <laughs> to be honest. Because uh, I want to just be able to like explore the map a little bit more freely. And I can maybe explore the, uh, the water treatment facility tomorrow. I need to, like, this map honestly has a lot to uh, explore, though, and stuff. Like, Shoreline, I was, like, pretty familiar with it, but this, I, I'm not, I'm, like, less familiar. Shoreline's been around for a long time. But... This is newer. Like, Shoreline was, like, the third map in the game, I think, but it was so small back then. It's crazy to think how small it was back then compared to how it is now. Is everybody? Where the fuck is all the people's at? I tried to ignore the scab, it didn't work. I wanted to just go for the player. I didn't think about the fact that he was right there and gonna spot me. That was stupid of me. <laughs> that's my bad. I just wanted to go for the dude because I was like, oh, that's a PMC. Let's fight him. You know what I mean? We didn't see anybody else, but the scab just fucking iced me. Got me with the armpit shot, man. Armpit shot. My armpit. 545 five, SP. Hit me three times blunt damage, but then one bullet. Pend, I guess, or maybe just that much blunt damage. To be three times applied a bleed. Interesting. Three levels of blunt damage. And then one tap me to the Wait, but my chest was already super damaged. That's what I'm confused about. I guess that was just that much blunt damage. I guess because it's it's a big high flesh damage round. SP is pretty pretty big big rounds. Big damage. Interesting. Interesting. Surprised it applied that much blunt damage. I mean, I'm not surprised I died to the. I mean, honestly, I think it might have one tapped me, dropped me in the armpit to start with. But I'm just surprised it applied that much damage without going through the armor. Because it only said I got hit once, so that means only one bullet went through the armor. But, well, one bullet didn't go anywhere near the armor because it hit me in the armpit. Um, honestly, the armpit shots. You definitely can't avoid them by like turning your camera like i definitely have not got armpit shot as much by scabs once i've stopped giving them my sides um but you can still get armpit shot from the front it is possible all right we'll wear this and we'll bring a shoddy kind of a shit shotgun though let's bring this thing A quick scav backpack 
This will be two raids. We can go back to Lighthouse on like the third or fourth one. I have one more armored rig that I can use up, so we'll do we'll do three at least. Oh, that's so annoying. I didn't realize that was an issue. I put all my wallets at the bottom of my backpack stack. Thought it'd be better than having the Jinji keychains down there. I will also bring some flashbangs this time. lighthouse as much as reserve to be fair with the player scabs because you can actually extract on lighthouse like it is kind of a shame it is kind of this like the similar thing that player scabs get an advantage over pmcs which is really silly that they can kind of get a little bit closer to the rogues and stuff actually it might be the same level as the usex to be fair so it's not that much of an advantage um i don't know i, I don't know i don't know i feel like they get more of an advantage though than that also, they don't get tagged for four raids, right? So there is an advantage there. But um, it's not as much as reserve for sure. But I think there's a little bit of an advantage. I mean, there definitely is because they don't get tagged. But I think they can also get closer than USEX can um, before they get shot. So you can kind of get close and get like an easy kill usually and then go from there. Um, and also you spawn in later so usually the pmcs have had to do all the work taking out the mgs and stuff like that one raid i was in i got into that building and the player scav didn't know that nobody else had really cleared the mgs so he was on the roof and he was getting fucking lit up and then he ran down the stairs and got destroyed on the side of the building because the mg from the other building just fucking demolished him um because i hadn't killed any of the mgs or the turrets like i hadn't done anything i just snuck into the building which honestly seemed pretty fine. I'm not even sure if they were angry at me, to be honest. Um, so I don't know. But that was a good raid, though. Killing those uh, scabs through the door was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty satisfying. Pretty satisfying. He 100% reported me. 100%. Which is pretty comical. I mean, the fact I'm a standard account and I shot him through the door, that's a report. My stats don't look suspicious, though, in my opinion. I mean, I do have like 16 sur survives in a row, which some people find suspicious for some stupid fucking reason. Um, but other than that, I mean, like I like 55% survival rating, 7 KD. I mean, that's pretty normal. Well, apparently it's not normal, but I think I there was like a post and... A lot of people said they have like between two and four KD. But I mean, I don't think seven is particularly high. Seven's pretty lackluster. We got some Tagilla action.
fuck. Good kill. Good kill. I should have aimed there, dude. I don't know why I don't aim. Like, that is an aim for sure. I thought he was back there, but the door was closed. So my mind was like, he can't be back there. But he was back there. I should have aimed. If I aim there, I fucking destroy him. Like, I'm quite shit. <laughs> Careful, Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Oh, we had the little ketter. Hell yeah, I respect it. I respect the ketter. GG. GG. He has done 350 scav raids. 350 scav raids. That's insane. 350 scav raids. That's more raids than most people have done the entire wipe so far. <laughs> He had no armor, too. I could have just destroyed him if I aimed down sights, dude. He would have been literally just falling over. I need to aim more, man. Like, hip fire is so much worse now, especially without a laser. Like, I just need to aim. If I aim there, just delete it. Like, he is deleted. Even if he has armor, I, like, he peaked that pretty easily for me to kill. Like, I should have gotten that kill. His head was just, like, just right there to aim at. I could have easily fucking aimed at his that sucks. I need to aim more. We'll do one more raid because I have one more of those armored rigs that I can just get rid of. Um, they're quite trash. So we'll do that quickly and then we'll go back to Lighthouse. Because we'll only have one more raid at that point. We won't kill any rogues in the next one. We'll do one more because I have this thing. I can just get rid of. Put stuff in there. This does have um, some some soft protection underneath, but it's still terrible. Is there any weapons I have in my stash that I'd like to use? A little 9x19? Well, we could use the revolver. Oh, but pistols are so bad now, right? Let's at least give it a try. Let's at least give it a try. In the hideout. Oh, which one is it? Did I say thank you for the bless you, by the way? I think I did. I think I did. Hopefully I did. Uh, HP is better than SP. These are a hundred and... Man, those ones, these tier four plates are so cheap. Eighteen thousand for tier four plates. That's barely more expensive. Shows that like plates aren't really expensive at all. They're super cheap. scab bag. What the fuck? If I do this. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. real confused now <laughs> wait a second i'm really confused <laughs> what just happened <laughs> okay i have to go back in here that's what happened <laughs> that was like way too confusing 
Oh, I know what I can do. If I do this into this. How many backpacks are in here? What have I done? I've confused the shit out of myself. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, I'm never doing this again. Okay, yeah, I have to, I have to do this really awkwardly now. Give me time. Give me time. <laughs> okay. I just need to open this kind of one at a time. <laughs> can I open two at a time? I can open two at a time. Achieve greatness. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's try this in the uh, hideout real quick. See if it works. Backpackception. I honestly, that confused the shit out of me for no real reason. Uh, well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't know which stack was which because they all looked exactly the same. I wish you could tag backpacks. I wish you could tag everything. To be honest, it's kind of annoying. You can only tag like specified containers. I mean, the revolver seems okay, to be honest. I think it's because it's not shooting fast enough. We can use the revolver. We can use the revolver. I have one in my stash. I can just get rid of it. It's not a big deal. It's a really shit factory weapon, though, to be honest. Like, possibly one of the worst. Because it just takes so long to reload. Like, I'm almost certainly going to get pushed. Let's flashbang it up. Good armor isn't expensive either. It's like, they've made armor so cheap. That's the thing. They made armor so cheap. Like, because, like, the good armor platforms are really cheap. Like, you can buy Karasa for, like, 30k or some shit. Um, and the plates are really cheap. I mean, you can buy tier 4 plates for, like, 20k. So, it's like, everybody's running around with tier 4 armor. Absolutely. Tier 4 and tier 2. So, I mean, I think, honestly, genuinely, I think you get tier 4 pen. And uh, tier, people are going to be running around with tier 5, though. You're going to need tier 5 pen eventually. Yeah, I think that's the point where the wipe starts to get sale, is when everybody's running around tier 5 armor. Which I think is approaching. I mean, the sweatier players already are, but most of the non-sweaty players aren't. I think that's when the wipe starts to get stale, though, is when everybody's running around tier 5. But... Tier 5 pen rounds are a little bit hard to acquire, but... So are tier 5 armor, but I think that it's just going to be abundant. That's the thing. I mean, it's normal because of the economy, right? The economy is going to reach a point where it gets abundant. I'm having fun with the game right now, though. I think that um, that will go away at some point when the game gets stale. But I think that... Um, I don't know if I'll play Next Wipe. It depends if Next Wipe has fresh stuff, like I said. Like, I don't really enjoy playing new wipes of Tarkov if there's nothing new to, you know, fuck around with. Like... There's a new map, new mechanics, all that good stuff, new boss. I mean, I don't have to, ex like, experience everything this wipe. You kind of do, though. It's like, 
if you play a wipe you're going to experience everything in it basically so you're kind of kind of get up to date with the content just by playing the game i mean i could just avoid streets entirely and then next wipe i could play streets not a bad idea actually but then i can't get kappa I almost had him. I hit him twice, and I popped his stomach, I think. Fuck. Fuck. I almost had him. He had a nice headshot. He just hunkered down. I would have thrown a flashbang. I didn't think he was outside, though, but I heard him coughing, so I was like, oh, he must be close. I'm gonna play a little AKS 74 u Jeez, that was fucking fast. It was, it was. Fuck, I think I penned his pack. I think I, if I had hit, hit him in the chest, I would have killed him. I aimed too low. Should have aimed higher. Aimed higher. Yeah, hit count two. Damage dealt 178. Man, I missed that headshot. That last shot could have been a headshot, man. So close. So close. He just hit me with one bullet to the head. Got lucky. If he doesn't hit that, I think he's in fucking trouble. Honestly. His recoil would have been jumping up. I would have had an opportunity to land another quick headshot. And honestly, I feel like I would have hit it. I was feeling it. Like, I felt like I, I barely missed that first one. I was ready for the next one to fucking connect. To be fair, it had it would have had to have been a face shot because he had a helmet. Oh, he's probably doing Punisher, actually. That's probably what he's doing because he's wearing the pack on the 6B47. Oh, you might have to use a AKS-74U for that as well, actually. So I think he's doing Punisher. I could just avoid streets this wipe and then be excited to play next wipe. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to commit you guys to that much Tarkov. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I don't want to commit you guys to that much Tarkov. It's not a bad idea though, actually, because then it, it means that there's still um, fresh stuff for me in the future. Do you have to do any streets quests for Kappa? I assume you do. I assume you do. He's only tier three, but I want to keep that. Um, all right. Actually, do I want to keep that? Not really. I could I could run this into a factory as well. Do I have any other guns? Foul? I could foul on factory. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Let's do that. All right, last factory run. I'm not going to do any more for today, either. I feel like we haven't already gone through your Tarkov phase, your World of Tanks phase, and your Marvel Snap phase. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. I don't have phases. It's not a phase, okay? Not a phase. This is who I am. Um, uh, this is true. But I don't know, like, I want to keep the stream exciting and stuff. As long as I'm keeping up with the wheel games, I think uh, it's okay. I obviously have fallen a little bit behind with the wheel games right now, though. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter. I can just take any of these backpacks. I have so many. Um... But I will, I will catch up and take care of that. I can't buy tier 5 plates. So I might skip out on streets this entire wipe. I might just not play streets. That way I have something fun to do next wipe. Because I think the thing is, is that once I get around to playing streets, I think streets is going to be stale. I think that the, like... 
the um the what you call it's gonna be stale the wipe kind of so i think i'd rather wait Um, and I want to play the map when it's, like, exciting, you know what I mean? I don't even know if I can run the map, to be honest. I really shouldn't get my hopes up. Do we have a test? Can we see if I can run streets? Let's give it a try. I'm not going to play it, but I just want to see if I can run it in an offline raid. Let's just see how, how bad it runs. Supposedly, it's pretty awful. My computer is not very good. I might not even be able to play it. That would kind of suck. I don't know how long this wipe's going to last, though. I mean, I think some important stuff is locked behind streets. I could just do everything but streets, so. And save that for next wipe. It could be kind of fun. When the map is, like, kind of fresh and exciting. Like, people are, like, using terrible gear and stuff again. see how bad this runs i mean to be fair offline games are easier than real matches but we'll see Hello, Darko? <laughs> I think it died. <laughs> Oof, it is... It is struggling. It is most definitely struggling. I just want to go out on the street. <laughs> It's it's kind of bad. What's my? There you go. <laughs> it's a little bad. <laughs> kind of a bit bad. <laughs> I'm playing on old gen consoles. When I look over here, it's great. Look, look, I'm getting 60 frames, guys. I look this way, down to 30. <laughs> this way is great, though. Can I just play this part of the map? I assume this is a wall. <laughs> yeah, this is the edge of the map. <laughs> oh, I can go back here, dude. I can play this area of the map. This is this is my this is my area. This is my area. We better watch out, motherfuckers. That recoil feels... What the fuck? Did they break the foul? That seems insane. Yeah, 
if I just look in this direction, I get like 30 frames. And this is in an offline rig. Um, the thing is that I can do the low resolution. We can try that and see if I can run it with that. I might actually be able to run the map with the low resolution thing, which a lot of people have to turn on apparently. Especially if you're streaming, you don't have a great PC. So let's try that real quick and see if that works. You have to exit the raid to do it, though. It will take a minute to get back into one. We'll get back to Lighthouse in a minute, though. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out my plan, because, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, I know I shouldn't plan that far ahead, right? I should just enjoy the moment, keep playing Tarkov as much as I enjoy it, and when I stop, enjoy it, just stop playing. It's not that serious, but I don't know. I like to have a plan, you know what I mean? I like to know what my plan is going forward and stuff. Like, it doesn't... I don't know. I don't like the idea of just, like, not knowing when I'm going to, like, switch and play something else. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I just I don't like that. Even loading out of the raid takes a while. Come on, man. Has to deload all of that fucking street stuff. Holy shit, Tarkov. Come on. You can do it. Load the main menu, Tarkov. Let's go. All right, let's try uh, Streets of Tarkov lower resolution, lower texture resolution mode. Let's try. See what my frames are like on this. So, I mean, that was pretty much unplayable um, because I can't really shoot people with 30 FPS. That's without a scope, too. So, if I scope in, chances are I'm going to go down to, like, 20 FPS. That's pretty bad. Um, not really playable. <laughs> so, let's see what, uh, let's see what this is like. <laughs> I'll probably have to restart the game after this, too. That was in an offline raid, too. Oh, God. Online raid would be even worse. I'd probably go down to, like, 15 with a scope in an online raid. Like, that's, that's like, unplayable. Motherfuckers would literally just, like, teleport around the corner on me, and my frames would barely update. I know that's not exactly how it works. Don't get me wrong, but, like, it would be unplayable. I would never win a gunfight. <laughs> So, I'm hoping this does, like, a massive amount, but I'm not that hopeful. Let's see. How playable is this going to be? If it's not playable, then, I mean, I just have to avoid the map anyways. I mean, I could still do my tasks on it, but I couldn't really play it. It's a shame, but it's just the reality of not having a very good computer. I just don't have the money to buy a better one. It's the sad reality. Still lagging pretty bad. Getting 40? Still 30 when I look in this direction. Yeah. Not very playable. I mean, I could play this. I wouldn't complain. But, I mean, I would complain occasionally, but... I mean, it's nobody's fault but my own. I just don't have any money. Um... 
not too, too bad. I mean, I'd be able to do my quest at the very least. Val seems insane. The stutters are kind of bad, but that might just be scavs spawning. What the fuck is this? That's creepy. The red riding hat, I guess? Oh, is this the wolf grandma? What the fuck is that thing? I think this is where the boss spawns. Yeah, it is. What the fuck? Even a mounted gun, yo! My 30 FPS, I'm gonna light some motherfuckers up! Oh my god, my frame! <laughs> That's so bad. Okay, this map is like nearly unplayable. Oof. I can like kind of play it, but not really. Um, it's not like I'm gonna get a better computer for the next wipe either. So, I mean, it's probably best I just don't play the map, to be honest. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, I don't know how much gets locked behind those tasks. I can check. I'm going to restart my game. Is there a list of tasks that is on streets? I wish I could see like a big list of tasks. It's a cool map. I wish I could play it. Without having like terrible lag. It's unfortunate. What I miss? Uh not too much, honestly. I was just thinking and planning ahead a bit. Let me restart the game. I need to restart the game so it deloads all of that streets bullshit. We'll do one more factory and then uh we'll go back to Lighthouse. We'll be cleared of rogue aggro at that point. Should be at least. It's been four raids. We did the Mosin one, we did the shotgun one, did the revolver one. How's it already been seven hours? Tarkov eats time, man. Eats time for breakfast, like a little bowl of cereal. Munches on it. We will do more Lighthouse tomorrow. I know I've not been like playing that many raids today, but to be fair, there was a lot to think about and test and stuff and um other stuff we'll try and get in a good amount of raids by the end of the stream though i don't know when i'm gonna get on good stream a while today i do have stuff to do tomorrow though but i have so much to do man fuck me
Our stream might not be able to be that long. I'm bringing mags in the backpack because I think I'm going to need them. I think I'm going to need them. I have level 5 side armor, but only level 3 in the front and the back. That's fine, though. I need to remember to aim down sights. Even if it's bad, I mean, it's better than hip firing. Yeah, I think I just won't play streets this entire wipe then. And then we'll see what happens in the next wipe. If the next wipe is interesting, then I can play then and play streets then. I think that's probably for the best. I don't know if more RAM would help. Because I can't get any faster RAM, that's the problem. I can't get DDR4, so. I basically need a whole new computer. It's pretty rough. Building is such a pain in the ass, too. It's okay, though. I think it'd be better just to build a fresh one than uh, try and, like, build off the one I have, because... I mean, switching out the motherboard just seems like... I mean, if, if you're... If you're switching out the motherboard, I say you just build a whole new one. It's like, that just seems like such a pain in the ass. I mean, taking everything out... I mean, you're basically taking apart the whole PC just to put it back together again. Like, that just feels like... Just take the parts out of the current PC that you want. And then build a new one. It just doesn't seem worth it to try and take everything out. I mean, like... Also, I, like, I feel like you're more liable to break things in that situation, you know what I mean? More liable to put it together wrong or break something taking it apart. somebody oh he was just dying to the wire I thought it was Tagilla I thought Tegilla was meleeing somebody. But he was just killing himself on the barbed wire.
about my leg. I want some. Give me the smoke. Give me the action. Good kill, good kill. Fuck, I almost got him, man. I almost got him. Nice job. Good kill. We got two, we got two. Oh, I got him with an armpit shot, man. Fuck. An armpit shot. It's because he was aiming up at me. Because he was aiming up at me. GG. GG. I wonder how much I fucked him up. I wonder how much I fucked him up. Damage over armor 80. So. Almost fucking got him to be honest. He must have been pretty fucked up. The FMJ. Man he got me with one shot to the thorax. Because of the fucking armpit dude. My thorax wasn't on 100% health. It hits the fucking armpit. So the armor doesn't reduce the damage at all. It's because he was shooting up at me at an angle. Fucking armpit hitbox. I don't feel like I die there if I get if I get shot in the chest. I think the armor slows the damage enough. I mean, BCP pens, but it doesn't have that much damage. But maybe my chest would have been low enough health. I mean, BCP only has like 30-something pen. Does it even have 30? Yeah, it does, it does. Check. It should have like 34 maybe or something. Maybe that's enough. Maybe I would have died. I'm not sure. It's definitely a question of if I die or not. I think it's a yes, though, probably. Armpit probably didn't change too much there. It's 35 pen, 85 damage. Ooh, I'm not sure, actually. Because what? He would have pen He would have hit my arm. And blacked my arm. And then what, like the 23 damage would have been redistributed? Which is like 1.5? Something like that? I don't know. I would have to do the math and I don't care enough. Let's just say I would have died anyways. Alright, let us do Lighthouse again. Let us do Lighthouse again. What do I want to bring? I could bring an M700, but like... No, actually, M700 is not a bad idea. Let's do M700. Because I can do, um, I can do an SMG. Let's do a Keter. I'm gonna bring a Keter. I have a mechanism that isn't that one. I kind of want a mechanism.
Man, mechanisms are so good. Mm, I need a bit more space. Fuck. I just want to buy a fucking mechanism, man. Here we go. And let's buy everything we need. Let's take some flashbangs too. Nah, eh, let's take grenades. <laughs> Never mind, I changed my mind. <laughs> Really now? Like a ball sack mask. I need a stack of ammo. I really want like M62, I feel like. I have an actual scope. Take this thing. Fuck it. Go full on. Full on zoom. Kind of annoying to have to buy a little parts for this thing. I have to buy this thing from Skier. And then buy this. I have to buy the gun from Prapper, that thing from Skier, the sight from fucking Jaeger. And the X400 from Peacekeeper. I use the presets, but the presets are like so laggy, man. So laggy. Oh, you know what I can do? I can unload this and then I can load it with you. What? Because I have 97 bullets. Why can it not top up? Oh, because of the down and raid. Gotcha. Gotcha. That should be fine. That should be good enough. Good to go. Nothing too crazy. Pretty simple little loadout. Pretty simple little loadout. Cool, 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 cool. This armor is still very good. It's definitely not as good now with the blunt damage and the penetration changes that they made, um, which were good. I mean, those seemed like bugs, honestly, but they apparently weren't bugs. They didn't say fixed. They were changes. So supposedly those weren't bugs. Which kind of concerns me on the fact that they wanted the armor to work that way because it feels a bit unbalanced <laughs> um but to be fair it, it could have been a bug i mean we just didn't say it was a bug but um but this armor is a little bit weaker now because of that but it's still good like very good for how cheap it is and how like shit everybody views it as still very good armor i mean this will save your life for sure it ain't no joke i'm feeling a bit burnt today to be fair um i don't think on tarkov specifically but just in general i think it's just because i'm so stressed out um i got a lot of shit i have to do so i should probably get it done but i want to stream but it doesn't help relieve my stress <laughs> Because I'm just thinking about all the stuff I have to do. <laughs> uh, that's okay. I'm going to hopefully get it all done and uh, 
After the 15th should be chilling. Hopefully. I'll try and relax a little bit. Procrastination? It's not really procrastinating. I need to stream. Oh. I mean, I do procrastinate too, don't get me wrong. I think everybody does, but not in this specific scenario. Hopefully they rogues. I mean, I, they should not aggro us anymore because the wiki says four raids. So we should be chilling now. Hopefully we don't get shot because <laughs> I did those four factory raids. It doesn't have to be lighthouse specifically, so. I'm a high functioning procrastinator. Hell yeah. I think we're waiting for other people to load in at this point. Seems like other people have a hard time loading this map. I do have an SSD. So, I load maps relatively quickly. My frames just aren't great. DDR4 helps a lot from what I've seen on Tarkov. Upgrading your RAM. I wish that my fucking motherboard could take DDR4 because that way I could just buy DDR4 and that'd be like a huge deal. Because that's honestly like that and a graphics card is all my computer really needs. But I can't, uh, can't put DDR4 on my motherboard sadly. Not compatible. Um, okay, we can just go this way. We can go to the train yard. There's no other spawns on this side of the map, so. You're at the farthest right spawn. There's nothing in the train yard that's particularly exciting. We can go to the drug room, though. There's some good stuff in there. There wasn't any mines up here, right? Yeah. They shouldn't shoot me. If I'm wrong, that fucking sucks. There was four factory raids, so... We should be fine, though. That's the only way out of here, actually. I have to go so far. Actually, I've got the shoreline. Shoreline's not too far. Are they gonna shoot me if I go here? I don't think so. an earlier way in? They swear that you can get in here easier. <laughs> I guess not. Because yeah, the wall starts right here. Where if there's a med spawn just on that single barrel? Hmm, 
climb up here. Is there a reason to climb up there? Just show us how much they're going for? No, yeah, they have gone down to like a reasonable level at this point. And that is nice. For fun. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go to the drug room. Check out the drugs. Whoa, what the fuck is up with that? Did you see that? What the fuck was that? I guess it was just a shadow? Yeah, that looked fucking weird, dude. Looked like there was some kind of fucking shadow monster. I think I've inhaled too many fumes from the fucking drug room. I don't know if where shit spawns in here. I found two melodonin before. Or melodonin. Nothing this time. Nothing at all. A little bit disappointing. Absolutely nothing. Oh. Yeah, I was just double checking. I was open last time and I could loot it, couldn't I? Pretty sure. Oh, maybe it's this one. Yeah, it was this one. I swear there was one more crate, but. while I got nobody else around. I have a place to myself. I mean, this is... <laughs> you want to snipe, this is the scope to do it with. are insane. Shit is so far away it's like barely even loading in. They'd be over there? I don't know where they'd be exactly. Sector clear. Kinda empty. 
It feels like there's a lot here, but there's really not. Like, not even just talking about, like, loot. Like, there's just, like, not much going on. Kind of a strange, strange area. They don't expect you to come out here very much, but it'd be cool if there was better loot out here. You kind of like got something for not killing the rogues, or you got something for killing them, even. So you can kill them, you can come out here. Might be better for map design if, um, can't come out here unless you kill them. And I think it's fun to come out here, but it might be better for gameplay to make it so that it's not accessible unless you kill the rogues. And then make it like kind of like a loot area, you know what I mean? You can even make it defendable, so that way the person who kills the rogues isn't at like a big disadvantage because they get swarmed by other people. You know, it's like, you know, accessible. You can make it have, like, mounted guns and shit, and, like, make it kind of like the inner sanctum of the rogues. Like, you know, that's where they keep all their goods and stuff. That could be kind of cool. Maybe just, like, a lot of loot. And, uh, containers and shit. Ooh, thermite. What does that mean, Lackey? What does that what does that even mean? Arkov, okay. Sure. What's up, Lackey? How you doing? Can you um can you run Lighthouse now, by the way, Lackey? I remember in the past when you used to try and play Lighthouse, it like you would like get disconnected. <laughs> Does that still happen? <laughs> yeah, I can. Nice. New PC. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I broke back in January last year. Gosh. Gotcha. Oh, a good excuse for a new one, I guess. On the bright side. I just want to wait for the train. Must be people up in the hills, right? Well, maybe not. It might just be all player scavs killing the rogues. Might be the player scavs doing the dirty work. The scope has so much zoom. It's so hard to spot people up there because the trees don't even load in, like, correctly. Maybe. Under plus in streets. Wow, that's pretty good. Not too shabby. I think it's more than not too shabby, dude. <laughs> that is definitely more than not too shabby.
trying to look on the roofs. I'll see anybody though. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Still, even 70 to 80 on streets is pretty good. God, my M700 looks so stubby. <laughs> it's because the scope is so big. I kind of want to wait for the train and try and kill some raiders. Did I crash for you? No, Lighthouse is mostly fine. I mean, I don't have great FPS, but I mean, I can't. I mean, I get like 30 FPS on streets. I tried it earlier today, and that's at an offline rate even. So it's kind of unplayable. But Lighthouse is fine. I could just leave. Actually, I can't just leave, to be fair. I could leave through the car. <laughs> no sight M700. To be fair, that's just what he loaded into the raid with, not what he actually had. Because he could have had his scope in his backpack. I'm starting to think, um... I'm starting to think about bringing all of my gear in my backpack. So that way when I kill people in a duo, they or like a, a squad, they don't know what I'm using. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But it doesn't mean he actually had that when he killed you. Could have had a sight in his backpack. Could have had a thermal for all you know. Honestly, yeah, if you bring a thermal, holy shit. It's actually really important not to put your thermal on your gun. That's so stupid. But it's actually really important to bring your thermal in your backpack. Because if you kill one member of a team, then the whole team knows you have a thermal. That's so stupid. They really need to make it so that uh, in a squad you can't see the player model until everybody in the squad is dead. Nobody's really talking about it though. But it's pretty important, in my opinion. Sucks. I like to kit out my PMC and stuff, but honestly, bringing everything in your backpack is a better strat. We're we shooting at boys. This part of the map is so empty. I thought like something would be happening over here, but there's fucking nothing. I might need to add some more sharpness to my game. I, I do have TAA on, but without TAA, I feel like the game gets so ugly. I'm just chilling. Hello, Chad. A fucking Giga Chad. Chilling on the gun, keeping watch. Look at this guy. Giga Chad. Wanted to wait for the train. How long until the train shows up? 
It should be here somewhat soon. Let's go wait for the train. I want to try and kill some raiders. I got gunned down by a raider earlier. They might not spawn, though. If they don't spawn, I'll just take the car. Let's just wait a little bit. Let's hold it down. F, yeah. It's that time of day, so my internet's starting to die. God. I just pee so bad lately. For the yeah, we're gonna wait for the train. I don't know, sorry for the, uh, not super, super happy mood today. Like I said, I'm just kind of stressed out. And, uh, frustrated about some things. It's my bad. It's my bad. I'll try to be a happier fellow. Do I have any water? I don't have water, do I? He's a jolly good fellow. Um, I can drink this, actually. Pop open. Let's go. I got some decent loot, actually, to be honest. Definitely not bad loot. Wanna wait for the train to show up. I'm gonna wait for the train. If it's starting to get bad my internet, I probably should get off soon, to be honest. sit in this corner and wait. <laughs> now this is a fucking rat spot. <laughs> sit up here. Wait. I want to wait for the train. I know this is not a particularly exciting raid, but I want to wait for the train. This the last time I got killed by uh, raiders. Seems okay for right now. Yeah, not right now. It's not too bad. I had that one little hiccup, which I mean might be nothing, but who knows? It's been bad consistently though. Even like the last couple of days when I didn't stream, I could still like tell that it was bad. Loading websites and stuff. Sometimes they just wouldn't load. Uh, it's just in the PM. It's really bad. 
I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. No gone yet? Yeah. What the fuck are, What do you mean? You've seen me walking around. <laughs> How could you not tell it was gone? <laughs> Is gone though, yes. I have some pretty decent loot, so I didn't notice. Okay. It's pretty green out there. Go rat on woods? The snow, yeah. I do I do kind of miss it. gonna give it some time. I, I really want to see if the raiders show up. I really want to fight them. Even though I there's the train. Go time. Where did they spawn last time? They spawned like near the middle of the track, I feel. Like. Middle of the compound. They got fucking annihilated. sound pretty cool. I hate lighthouse? I don't mind it, actually. I'm actually kind of having fun on it today. Player scaps haven't been too bad. Had some nice slower paced raids. Found some PMCs. It was raiders last time. It doesn't mean there'll be raiders again. It could just be a chance. Got raiders in the road camp? Yeah, it's pretty rough. You got quests in the road camp, not raiders in the road camp. Fix the scope FOV thing. So many people said it was intended. <laughs> so many people were like, oh, it's intended. It's intended because, you know, your left shoulder, you hold it closer to your face. Obviously, it wasn't intended. Not seeing any raiders. I do some grenades. There is loot on the train. Come in. At least on reserve, there's food on the train. Guess there's no loot on this train. I don't think there's any raiders this time. You just camp out on the train, I guess, then. 
It'll leave soon enough. It's a good spot. That's a good spot. Sounds good enough. Alright, pretty boring raid, but I was kind of hoping there'd be raiders. We did kill a player scav, but there also was nobody else out here. Which, I mean, I kind of expected that, but I also was kind of hoping that somebody would come out here. I really didn't expect nobody to come out here. Seems a bit like rough that nobody came out here, but I mean, it kind of makes sense because this map is kind of a bit empty on this side. I usually just want to go to the the road, the uh, yeah, road camp. Water treat. It's like a little bit of free loot back here though, which isn't too bad. Loot back here isn't terrible. I need to up my sharpness because I do have I do have TAA on, which adds like a bit of a slight blur effect in the distance. Um but the game looks so bad for me without TAA on. Like, it looks like absolute garbage. So I feel like I kind of have to have it on. I like I did some testing. I tried turning it off to see what it looked like without it. And it's like, gross. It is like gross. So, I might want to add some more sharpness. And maybe that'll counteract the blurriness a little bit. I'm not really sure. Or maybe clarity. Somebody's trying to get to my train. Somebody was trying to get... Somebody's getting lit up. Somebody might show up at the last second. I think he just died. Do I be greedy? Let's be greedy. He might have something real good. Fuck, I have one minute. Can I loot him quick? Where is he? He's not around this corner and I don't see him. We're leaving. There is. Actually, wait, I have cash. The extract's still here? It is. Oh, he wasn't even. He was a fucking player. <laughs> okay. We can take the car. We don't need to take the train. We don't even need to worry. have looted him so aggressively, but it's fine. Might get a free air airdrop, too. I have a bad feeling about this? No, 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 it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Stop worrying. Nope, a free airdrop. Alright, let's get out of here. I grabbed everything I needed, right? Check. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I can see the sleeve's blank. Wait, the car was there, right? I might have to book it to path the shoreline. We might need to hurry, actually. Car might not be there. I don't know if it's a guaranteed spawn. Let's 
This is a question I did not consider. Ooh, I hear silent shots. That's not good. Hop over the wall here. Pipe. Fuck. This guy might be trying to take the car too. Where's he shooting him from? Did I see him there for a second? Fuck, I gotta go. But if he's on that building, he's gonna have the angle on me. Car there? I feel like I don't see the car. Fuck, I don't think the car's there. It's not there. Oh shit, boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. We gotta go. We gotta fucking go. Do I even make it? I'm not sure I make it. So about that bad feeling. Yes, yeah, so it looks like the car is not a guaranteed spawn on this map. Didn't know that. I think we make it. I think we make it. You were right with your bad feeling, though. I wonder how that scav plans to get out. I guess he has northern checkpoint. Oh, there is some scav. Thanks. I assume it's a scav, actually. It could be a PMC who has northern checkpoint. Uh, maybe I don't make it, actually. This is gonna be pretty close. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know if we make it. Fuck, I don't know if we make it, actually. Gonna be pretty close. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty close. I think we make it. It's. <laughs> Uncertain. Okay, I 
I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. I didn't even need to drop the SV-98, probably. But I did. We good. We good. Barely, but we're good. That's a nice, easy route to get out, though. In the water treatment. I mean, you always have path to shoreline, so... Nice little easy route. Nice. Honestly, I'm not hating this map as much as everybody else is. I think the problem might be that everybody else really wants, like, the big loots. You know what I mean? They're not satisfied with, like, a longer raid for, like, mid loots. They want the big loots or they want quick raids. But I don't think you can really get that on Lighthouse. Like, I mean, you can't really get a quick raid that has decent loot. And you can't get really... Like, you might not always get a long raid that has good loot. You might get a long raid that just has mid loot. Um, the player scabs are a problem on this map, though. Absolutely. Look at movie. But honestly, I feel like the extracts are fine, which means that you can play the raid however kind of you want, which is kind of nice. I'm actually enjoying this map more than I thought I would. Like, Reserve is fucking awful. I really love the concept of Reserve, but just the player scabs fucking ruin it, man. And the extracts are a bit shit. Like, I understand, like, really tough map is a cool idea, but the reality is, is that it's just, like, all of them are just so campy. Like, because it's so tough to extract, people just camp like little, little bitches. Which is kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, that's the player base's fault, though, not really the devs. But they could definitely make it better. I mean, D2 is real bad, man. Like, it's just badly designed, I feel like. We made some money, though. That was not a terrible raid, honestly. Not an amazing raid. We didn't, like, accomplish that much, but... TTVs are trash, wow. Well, you got fucking owned by a bot, dude, so... Not sure you should be talking. <laughs> Your bad feeling was warranted, but we got out, so it's fine. I got a free G36 and some armor and a helmet and stuff, so not bad. It was worth. Can I sell this stuff to fence and reach a million with them? Oh, 4k off. I'm gonna take this G36. I'm gonna take that off, though. Should have a... I want like a little bit more suppressor action going on here. Actually, can I switch out the barrel? Now that I have like higher level peacekeeper, can I switch out the barrel? I need to take off the two vents. Pick on the four vent, or I guess six vent. I got a little bit of a better rifle now. I don't think it was that expensive either. There is a four vent, but that's unlocked later. That's kind of weird.
Oh, you can't put a laser or a ore grip on that. That's interesting. Or a hand stop. Interesting. Just want to see what the fuck I can put on the barrel. Cut it close. Yeah, it was a little bit close, but that's fine. Fine. I do want a suppressor. Can I buy any kind of suppressor from Peacekeeper? Can I buy a 556 suppressor? I don't think I can, right? Uh, I can buy an AUG suppressor. Buy 5.7 suppressors. I can buy 7.62 suppressors. And 9x19 suppressors. And an ump suppressor. But I have to go with the multi caliber one if I want a suppressor for anything else. Load something else. Uh, I don't really have good ammo of anything else, though. But you know what? Let's do it. It's only one stack. Like that. And grab like 30 more bullets, so. Oh, 45. We're good to go. I think they might have fixed uh, repairing with other people. I have to find a damaged helmet to really check. I should be fine for one raid. Go. Go again. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm going to stream today. Probably only like two more hours. And, uh, try and be in a better state of mind tomorrow. I mean, I'm not too bad, but I'm just stressed out. A little bit stressed. But, uh, try and be a little bit less stressed tomorrow. I'm gonna get some shit done that stressed me out, hopefully. I'm gonna play some lower lighthouse tomorrow. I know we haven't done that many raids today, but... I don't know, honestly, I've had fun. It's just been like kind of relaxing, which is weird, which is not what I expected it to be at all. But the raids have been kind of relaxing. I think I'm just kind of in like a a more zen state of mind because I'm a bit like mentally exhausted. <laughs> I'm just like, who cares? Who cares what happens? You know, we're just here to, we're here to have a good time. I uh, maybe could have changed out the stock on this thing too. I can feel like my uh, my head though. I don't know. I don't know if other people get this, but like when I get stressed, like my head like feels like tight. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? Like the inside of my head. Like my brain's being squeezed. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens. I, I'm, I, I'm enjoying. Um, are you focused? Focused on what? Focused in general. Uh, that does not sound good. It happens. It usually happens when I get, like, pretty stressed. Pretty normal. What's up, Wolfsey, though? How you doing? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're having a good day. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I always worry when, like, Fluffkin uses chilling with the stream. Hell yeah. 
always glad to hear. Um, like, Flopkin uses a lot of emotes. And I always worry that, like, what if people don't... What if people join the stream and they don't, like, see the emotes? They'll just be like, what the fuck are they saying? You know what I mean? Like, randomly, just bing bong. <laughs> hmm, guh. Does guh. <laughs> yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure it's happened a lot. Yeah, no, it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> what is that one called? Tuh. <laughs> Just tuh. I worry about it, but I mean, like, I can't do anything unless they say something. You know what I mean? Unless they say, like, hey, what the fuck? Fuck are all these words? What are you saying? <laughs> Fucking weird ass. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, um... I've heard from an older relative of mine, like, they joined the stream and they were very confused. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm sure it happens to people who aren't even older, who are just, like, not, you know, familiar with Twitch. They join up and all people are saying just fucking weird-ass words. They're like, what the fuck are they saying? I just look clinically insane, yeah. No, nah, it's fine. If they if they don't understand your emotes, then they're just not cool enough. That's that's what it is. Not they're just not cool enough. Or what is that? No woded. What's that mean? Like what the fuck is that supposed to be if you don't have emotes enabled? No, true, true, yeah. <laughs> that's just <laughs> it's just a whole bunch of words <laughs> or a whole bunch of letters thrown together. Can I see Zarachi or Zarach, Zarach, Zaracha? I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> Zaracha? I'm gonna call him fucking Zaracha from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sriracha sauce. Hey, that's actually really nice. Got another ammo case today. Hell yeah. Wasn't even trying. Got a rolling R. Zarachi. I, I got the R part. I just don't know what the next part is. I forgot. A little horse. What the fuck? That is a box that you normally can loot. But you just can't loot it, apparently. Good to know. I wonder if really annoying people camp the island like because they have to leave eventually right the people who go to the island so you can just like camp here and wait for them to leave right where's the boss at oh look there's a guy there should i shoot him if i shoot him i'm gonna die right He's just chilling. Should I shoot him? Maybe I should shoot him from a spot where I have cover. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Maybe like from back here. <laughs> then I can hide behind the building, maybe. I don't know how it works. Like if I shoot him, am I just gonna instantly die? Like, how exactly does it work? He's just chilling. I think he has like more head health than normal enemies Should I try it okay, I died. <laughs> how many times did I hit him though I want to know how many times I hit him how many times did I get him was it actually was it actually Zarachi or Zorach, Zorach, Zor, Zoraki. There's a rock. Okay. I don't know. Was it actually him? 
I was. He got me with a head face shot. I hit him six times. I was actually hitting him quite a bit. 235 damage. I didn't get the headshot though. Or he has a higher head health. Gunshot wound. Okay, so he just fucking kills you. He just fucking kills you. One sec. I'm back, sorry. Internet's definitely acting up. Somebody's harassing my cat for no reason. <sighs> day is not my day. I mean, nothing particularly bad is happening. I'm just in a great mood. Um, <laughs> that was kind of fun though. Um, so he just instantly kills you. I don't think you have a you have a choice. Um. I mean, does it work exactly, though? I mean, there is apparently ways to, there is apparently ways to, um, to farm him or whatever. Like, some people actually, like, farm him up, which is kind of crazy. Oh, apparently they can respawn as well. He has 150 head health. So you have to shoot him, like, many times. Yeah, they respawn up to three times in total. The easiest strategy to killing Zarachi and his guards requires at least three players. Crazy. Not Zarachi, I just can't remember how to pronounce it. If you just shot him once and dashed into cover, would you still have shot or killed you? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Bring an SBT. You know what I could bring? I could bring the night mask. Death Knight. It's not that good of a mask. So yeah, fuck it. Let's bring it. <laughs> Just for fun. I wasn't going to wear a helmet anyways. Interesting that his bosses or his guards respawn. Because that's not used anywhere else in the game. If you kill him, supposedly the others don't respawn, though. Shit. 
I'll probably get my stuff back. Maybe not, though. But I don't think many people go over there, to be honest. Um, but I might not get my stuff back, but it's fine. I wanted to give it a try. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I died on the right side of that building. Yeah, I probably don't get my stuff back. <laughs> Chances are I do not get my stuff back. That's fine, though. Dude, we look wicked, though. Look at this fucking mask. Are those cables or are they, I mean, they're obviously not hair. It's part of the mask, but it looks like they're cables, right? We kind of got like a predator look going on. Yeah, look, they're like wires. You can see the little like wire bits coming out of the ends. Look terrifying. Yeah, it is pretty fucking spooky. We look like the predator. Looking pretty fucking sick. Can other people see you die to him? Yeah, yeah, it'll say his name on my dog tag. Wires. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll say his name on my dog tag. But he doesn't shoot at you unless you damage him or you try and go across the bridge. But if you... How it works is um, there's a traitor over there. Zorachi, like, defends the island. Or Zorach... Zorach? Zorak... Zorak. Zoraki. Is Zoraki. That's what it was. Not Zorach. Zorak. Zoraki. There's a rock guy. I don't remember. Fuck me. I wish I remembered, but I completely forgot. Let's, let me see if I can do it again. Zrechi. 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 Okay, there's no Zrech. Zrech. The A is actually an E. Zrech. Zrechi. 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 Zrechi is good enough. Like, I can say Zrechi. 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 Zrechi killed me. Zrechi. That's as good as I can do, realistically. So people think, ah, oh, you didn't know, he fucked around and find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, I almost got him. I did like 150 damage. I just didn't headshot him. Sarechi. Stretchy. No, it's not. It's not stretchy. It's stretchy. 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 You gotta, you gotta, you gotta roll the R. Stretchy. I prefer Knight, Big Pipe, and Bird Eye. <laughs> those are easy names. Those I can remember, and those I can pronounce. <laughs> Good old Big Pipe. <laughs> Big Pipe, Bird Eye, and Knight. Honestly, I really like the goons. The goons like have a cool vibe. I really like their vibe. Like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be a goon. <laughs> Not like in real life. I just mean like I don't know. Like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna fight them a lot. You know what I mean? Like I want to. Um, how can you so easily remember Big Pipe? Okay. Don't, don't, don't get started. All right. Don't get it started. I <laughs> just needed a fifty cal sniper. Yeah. I mean, what's the highest damage bullet in the game that actually goes a distance is there any way you could 150 head tap him i don't think there's any bullet in the game i think that's intentional they don't want you to be able to one shot him so you could hit two shots back to back what would be the most simple two shots you could hit i mean i've seen people apparently farm with an adar so i guess you go like hp ammo adar two tap him try and go for like a simple two tap Can I see him out there? Huh. 
don't think he's always in the same spot. But um, there's a traitor out there that Zretchi, Zretchi protects, um, called the Light Keeper. And if you finish a fucking load of quests, then you can get an amulet, which when you wear it, it transmits a signal that basically means that they won't shoot you. So you can cross the bridge. You can't kill them with that on. Because if you shoot them, then it'll disable. But... But it'll let you cross the bridge for free. Do we have magical powers? Well, you can say that it does. Who's stopping you? that it just emits a signal. Nah, nah, it doesn't actually. I made that up. Made that up. It's magical. Isn't there underneath? I feel like there is. Magical amulet, exactly. Your PMC a magical girl. What the fuck does that mean? Is that a reference to something? What does that mean? Why would I be a magical girl? <laughs> you know, like Sailor Moon. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. I've never seen Sailor Moon. I don't know anything about it. Not. I don't think I'm really the uh, target demographic for Sailor Moon. <laughs> and there's magical girl costume. Yeah, again, I don't know what that is. I don't think I'm quite the target demographic. <laughs> Don't think that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> pretty pretty princess. I do know that's a quote, but I have no idea what from. No idea what from. Again, not really my demographic. Oh, look. There's somebody right there. Can I spot the others? Like a little game of hide and seek. Ah, there's another one. Where's the third? That a guy? Can't tell if that's a guy. Need a bigger scope. That might be something right there, too. That might just be a tree, though. They're can you just have to have magical amulet, yeah. Yeah, I died like right there. My shit is gone. <laughs> I died way too out in the open. Okay, so I kind of see what people mean that, like, there's no loot on this map unless you get the good spawns. Because the loot on this map is quite low. But I also don't 
really care. Like, for me, I kind of enjoy just, like... Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I need great loot. I feel like everybody else kind of feels that they do. If people are like, oh, you know, what's the point of playing the other maps? Oh, wow. Roller. Kind of nice. What's the point of playing the other maps when you just play streets? And it's like, well, because the other maps are fun. You don't need to play just the map with the greatest loot all the time. I get the complaint, don't get me wrong, but like... It's more of a like, oh, this sucks because Streets has great loot, so it feels pointless to play other maps. Not, oh, you know, I don't play other maps because it's, <laughs> the Streets is so good. Which is kind of how some people are about it. Not everybody, don't get me wrong, but some people. But if you're not at the um, main houses, yeah, I think it's kind of low. The um, sniper scav that used to shoot you used to shoot you when you got even like remotely close to the island or the bridge. Not even like on the bridge, but just remotely close to the island. Um, I don't know if that's changed. But now I can just loot up this and then leave. Not really anything else to loot around here. I could always just reset. I feel like if, if you're just playing to go to the... Uh, I mean, it'd be cool to have some goals on this map. I think this map would be pretty fun with some goals. But I think without goals, it's uh, kind of just more like a chill map, to be honest. Like if you're not going treatment plant every single time... Which is what most people on this map do. But if you're not doing that, this map's pretty chill, to be honest. It doesn't really have much going on. Ooh, airdrop, though. That could be fun. Shit, there's a weapon crate up here. It's kind of cool. Somebody already opened it? They did that like reopening thing. Good bong. Oh, that's not dropping anywhere near here. <laughs> not a chance. At that angle? No. Not happening. That's dropping like super far. Yeah. I thought that was a problem. Yeah, that's like path to shoreline. That's nowhere near here. Some night vision raids on this map could be fun, actually. I feel like most people are going to go treatment plant, but you can take it slow and have some fun with it, I think. Thermals are kind of an issue, though. Thermals on this map at nighttime would be pretty fucking strong. You can see, like, how blurry it is, like, down at that road. I'd like it to be a bit sharper, but I don't know exactly how to do that. Not a fucking... 
I don't know much about like image images images like effects or quality or anything like if I chill here for a second and I turn off TAA you'll see how different the game looks like it, it, it looks grossly different <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. Everything's like really spiky, it feels like. It's like really like jagged and like, I don't know, just doesn't look good at all. I think it's easier to spot people, but. But this adds like kind of a blur effect, which isn't super fun. You know what I want to use today? For a bit of fun, I want to use an MK16. Silenced MK16 nighttime raid. I want to do that. Next raid. Next time I die, we're doing that. Silenced MK16 nighttime. Put on a hammer, probably. Because that will be fun. Do I have the automatic ram cleaner on? No. I can definitely see the blur, but the thing is, like, I just, I can't play the game with TAA. And FXAA is a bit better than no anti-aliasing, but it just looks so ugly. The game feels a lot smoother though, I feel like actually. I just want the blurriness of TAA to go away. That's kind of what I want. Can I up the sharp or can I lower the sharpness and this looks less jagged? Yeah, actually. It looks a bit weird though. I like TAA better, but that probably is killing my frames a little bit. If I turn it off and have zero. Now the game just looks like shit. I just don't want it to be so blurry, but I don't know how I, if I can fix that. But you can see the blur. Like, it just feels like... It feels like... Like those bushes right there. Right where the tip of my gun is. They just feel a bit blurry. You know what I mean? Like that tree past it. it just feels a bit blurry. Like I need glasses or something. But I don't know what I can do about that. I mean, if I up the sharpness, it gets like way too sharp. Kind of ugly. Maybe I should turn TAA off. Even if I up it to just like one, it's like still a bit blurry. It feels like a bit too sharp. I could turn TAA off and just turn down my sharpness, but I don't know. I don't know. It's so quiet though. I mean, I am in a real raid. <laughs> There's nobody around.
I just think that, um, I do think, I do see what people are saying about this map, though. I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be, though. I just think you have to play it a bit differently. And also accept that you're not always going to get a great raid on Lighthouse. Which, I mean, like, kind of sucks, don't get me wrong. And it's kind of bad map design, because depending on what spawn you get. But, like, if I go to the houses at this point, if I, if I went to the houses at the start of the raid, I'll, I'll talk more about it at the start of the next raid, actually. Depending on where I spawn. Um, but if I get a good spawn, it's not going to matter, right? But, um... But like, if you try and force your way into a good spawn, you run into a shit show. Like, where people already have the advantage on you. And you're kind of already running into, like, camp locations. Actually, there was another map I was playing, which is kind of like... I guess resort, like, the shoreline. I might break my legs here. Okay, fine. I actually do need wrenches. I need to start picking them up. Give me that wrench. They trade for MP153 shotguns. I need to stop picking up elite players. Well, elite players are good to sell. I need to stop keeping elite players. Today is just a chill day. We're just chilling. Just chilling on Lighthouse. Having some slow paced raids. Exploring the map a little bit. Not sweating the little stuff. We're just here to have a good time. And you know what? If you want to chill out here with me, I appreciate that. I'm not doing anything crazy. Chill day at Lighthouse. They could probably spawn some people at the train yard. Honestly, the train yard's not, like, that good of a location. I think, honestly, you could very easily fix this map by just spawning some people at the train yard. Or, like, outside the water treatment. Because, like, it, it's not like the water treatment itself is the point of interest. It's the rogues. And that means that you have to kill them. It's not just about getting to the location. It's about killing the people at the location. And if you take away Northern Checkpoint as, a, like, an extract for those people that spawn at the train station and stuff then even if they spawn there and kill the rogues, they still then have to travel across the entire map. You could even take away Path to Shoreline, add maybe a little boat extract that is there most of the time, and you could call it a day, I feel like. Um, uh, like, add a boat extract near the Lightkeeper building. You know what I mean? Like, so they don't have to go to that back left corner. They can go, like, over on this back right corner somewhere, too. You know what I mean? So they have a couple options. Honestly, you can make, make both those extracts 100%, which, I mean, one of them already is, but add the new extract, make it 100%, spawn some people by the train station, spawn some people out on the coast by the water treatment plant, and then now you have more of a natural flow of gameplay. You have some people over here on the left side of the map, they spawned at the water treatment, which is good for them, but then they have to go across the entire map. These people spawned away from the water treatment, but they can just extract as soon as they get there, basically. That seems pretty logical. So I'm not really sure what the problem with that is, because I feel like there would be a problem with that, because if there was that easy, then why would they have done it already? <laughs> um, but maybe it's, maybe it is that easy. Maybe it really is just that easy. Go ahead. Seems like sound logic. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any problems with it, but a lot of times you don't, you know what I mean? Like you come up with an idea and it doesn't sound like there's any problems with it, but once you put it into action, there is, you know what I mean? But I mean, anything is better than what we got right now, I feel like, because the map does have problems, don't get me wrong. But I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would based on how much everybody complains about it. But I think that's because I don't mind a little slow placed raid where I don't, you know, 
get to the hot spot. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really bother me. But I think a lot of other people, it's like, oh, well, if I'm not going water treatment plant, what's the point of playing the map? You know what I mean? Like, um, there is the, the houses up in the hills, but again, like, I didn't explain this before, but I was going to if I got a spawn. Um, if you don't spawn there, then assaulting those houses is pretty tough. But you can do it, but it, it's, it's pretty tough. You know, it's not like an easy thing to do. Um, so if you don't spawn there, it feels kind of just like, well, what's the point? I'll just rather die and just get it over with, you know what I mean? Um, or like die or uh, I'd just rather extract and run another raid and see if I get a better spawn, which is what a lot of people are saying that they're doing on that map. I want to make a, um, I want to make a SKS preset. Is this barrel any better than a normal SKS? Are they the same? Exactly the same. I want to make an SKS preset. This better. This gives sixty-five one oh nine. Sixty-five one oh nine, so it's exactly the same. Unless that one's cheaper, it really doesn't matter. Fifty-five K, I don't think it's cheaper. Yeah, that's exactly the same. Uh it might be heavier, but is 0 0.35 0 0.46 is is a decent chunk heavier but cheaper eh, the sks one's cheaper sks one's probably fine i do really like that wrapped muzzle though with like the tape wrapped around it, it does look kind of sick it does look kind of sick This gives minus one. What does the TA-51 do? Okay. Does it look better, though? Got those two big bolts on the side. Yeah, it's got smaller bolts. But it will mount the scope in a different position. Look, it mounts the scope a little bit further back. Whereas this one probably doesn't. Because, look, that's in line with, like... It's in line with the U, right? This one's a little bit further back. Yeah, you can see it's it's further back on the scope. That's interesting. I wonder if that's less in your face, though. I feel like that's a cool-looking gun right there. I'm not gonna use it right this second, but actually kind of a cool looking gun. Man, look at how much armor I have. <laughs> Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> it's like nine of those armors. Right. Do another one. Next time I die, I want to do a nighttime with an MK16. Okay? Remind me, next time I die, nighttime MK16. I want that in my life. It'll probably end badly, because that's how Tarkov is, man. If you like, oh, I really want to do this raid, or I really want to use this weapon, you know what I mean? And you get excited for something, then you die. You just die. You just, like, get one tap from nowhere. You get, like, the server bugs out, and you die. Just something shitty happens. And you're like, well, 
Thanks, Tarkov. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me that I don't have control of my fun. Also, when I when I tell people to remind me things, don't ever this goes for everybody. Don't ever feel actually pressured to like remember or anything. Don't it, it's no pressure, absolutely not. I don't want anybody I know I say it a lot but it's just because I have a terrible memory so it's helpful to have people remind me but nobody has any responsibility to remind me of anything no pressure whatsoever just if you want to if you don't want to don't worry about it it's more so like I say it out loud and it's easier for me to remember you know what I mean but there's absolutely no pressure for anybody to, like, actually remind me. Just want to make that clear. Because I know I say, like, oh, remind me of this, remind me of that, like, quite often. But it's just genuinely my memory is that bad. Like, I just, I just move on to something else and completely forget that I ever, like, said something or remember, like, wanted to do something. Tarkov gods, you're welcome, yeah. It's Nikita, man. It's Nikita. I think it's just him up there with a little scale, and he's like, alright, here's your fun, here's your bullshit. We gotta weigh them out. Make sure they're even. <laughs> he's like, it's like everybody has their own little scale, right? And if you're having too much fun, then Nikita's like, that scale over there looks a little uneven. And so he just throws a little bit of more bullshit on the other side. And it's like, okay, now it's looking better, looking better. Leave you to it. And he goes off to check some other people's scales. That's how it feels. That's Tarkov for you. But it's the bullshit that makes it so fun. You know what I mean? Hey, wait, you're having fun? Yeah. No, I mean, like, Tarkov is a fun game. Like, all jokes aside, like, some people take that shit way too seriously. So, like, this is a good example. If I go up to the, um, the house up here, by the time I get there, there's already gonna be somebody inside the house. And so, I would have to assault the house while they're in it to really, like, get inside. My endurance is leveled up. 25. Let's go. Um, but... I can go up here and snipe around a little bit. I don't need to go to the house, which I'm not going to. But this is something people are talking about, which I, I think is it's fair. I don't hate the map though, actually. Like if people are talking about it being like the worst map in the in the game and it's awful and it's unplayable and it's fucking atrocious or whatever. I'm actually kind of having fun. Dude, that first shot looks so good, man. How does that first shot not connect, man? Fuck. I think it hit the rock. I couldn't tell. I, I, dude, I felt like that first shot was a kill shot. I was like, oh, that guy's dead. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Nikita followed through. No, I mean, I don't mind that. Dude, I almost had that guy. I got shot at by another guy. I wonder if they were teammates. They might have heard the binaural audio. That guy looked like he knew what he was doing. Brax upper back. Interesting. There are 92 hours. 61% survival rating. Very low KD though. I wish I could just look at their PMC stats. I guess I can look at it in the top left. Nighttime raid. No, yeah, it is. It, we can do a nighttime raid now. He had a PDW stock. Wow, he would have had really bad recoil on that thing. 
I hit him once. I wonder if that was a headshot, that one shot I hit. I only hit him once, wow. He hit me once, twice in the arm, then once in the chest. Oof. Man, that shit's fucking... That shit hurts. Twice in the arm and then once in the chest, and that's enough to kill. SPD drops people, man. Well, it's more of the bullets. A lot of people are using the SPD right now. And the SR-25, those are like big popular weapons. Alright, we can do a nighttime right now, anyway. Honestly, I don't really mind dying there. It doesn't bother me too much. It does not bother me too much. I can get another ammo case, actually. Let's do that real quick. It's actually kind of exciting. 